All right, hello everyone. Today we are going to be playing Venusaur in Pokemon Fire Red, and with me I have Exceptional. Yes, who's back? Back again. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> uh, great, great intro. <laughs> Yep. Hello. Yes, I'm back again playing Venusaur. Um, very excited. Haven't yeah. processed many thoughts beyond that so far. What do we What do we got, Scott? Yeah. So let's go through Venusaur as a Pokemon. I haven't done this one um, starting fully evolved. I did it as uh, starting as Bulbasaur, then evolving. I'm pretty sure that's who you did it as well. Yes. Yeah. So this is, I guess, our first experience with it uh, in full full form. Uh, let's uh, for base stats. It has 80 HP, 82 attack, 83 defense. They break the formula there, and they go with uh, 100 special attack and special defense, and 80 speed. Pretty good stats, honestly. Pretty good, pretty good. Yes, uh, especially um, looking at our move set going into the game. Um, this is definitely one that, again, you see that sword stance that's waiting for us in round two, and I see growth. So uh, yeah. I highly suspect that we're going to be growth sleeping through round one and then swords dance perhaps sleeping through round two <laughs> yeah oh, i'm the mic. yeah i i love i was mentioning to you before we went live i was mentioning this to you but uh i love grass starters mostly because they get sleep inducing moves because <laughs> i don't know i'm a i'm a sleep addict i guess i i like spamming sleep i like putting my pokemon to sleep with rest if i can just get sleep into a play i'm i'm really happy with it but you said that water starter or grass starters are generally your least favorite starters. That's correct. I, I tend towards my my water boys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting. We have the cuz water are my least favorite. Um <laughs> interesting. Yeah, which like yeah. you wouldn't think cuz generally I I uh, say how much I dislike fire types and plague fire <laughs> types and things like that, but it's mostly that I don't think fire types or electro types are as good in solo playthroughs. Mm -hmm. Uh water types feel a bit better to play but um yeah i don't know why I, the water type designs never never spoke to me i guess right yeah no and that's that's fair it's kind of like the exact opposite for me in that the the grass type like the designs are always very cool like like we were saying earlier chikorita is objectively one of the cutest pokemon ever but it's also it useless is. which is why i don't like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah. okay a couple of questions so I'm just showing my current results. So my last time with Venusaur was one hour, 26 minutes and eight seconds. What was your former time with the line? Oh, and you do boy. You do league round two. So mine is league round one time. Yours will be a league round two time. I can give you a that, moment if you want to. I was going to say, up. let me open up my, my spreadsheet real quick for True. you. Wow. Well. <laughs> um... Bulbasaur line. My, do you want first compared to second or only second attempts? Uh, give me, yeah, sure. Give me second attempt. Your most recent result. Uh, most recent result would be a round one clear in an hour and just under nine minutes, and okay. then a round two clear in one twenty-four. Okay. Wow. So your round two is actually faster than my round one. Great. <laughs> Um, that is with a slightly different rule set, though. I do go for true. hidden power and allow the pickup, but, you know, yep. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I have some questions about how you are going to set up your Venusaur, so I'm going to show everyone my software behind the scenes. I've made some upgrades since last time as well, so hopefully you'll notice some new stuff on screen today, <laughs> if it works. Um, this morning, what? first thing Scott says is, I'm running late, I decided to add <laughs> things. Yeah, I wake <laughs> up and then I'm like, what if I just added this feature quickly before the stream and then I get to programming and realize that there's more bugs than I expect and I have to take time to <laughs> think through stuff. Um, what nature are you going to go with for Venusaur? So kind of leaning into what we discovered with Blastoise last week, I'm going to be going with Mild again. Um, once again, simply because Swords Dance in round two pretty much means that round two is not going to be a huge issue for us. Um, that Mild nature is going to be taking down our defense and uh, increasing our special attack, which I feel is the more important one to lean on going through the first round and the game as a whole. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. I was unsure of what nature to pick, but I think I'm going to go... So you're going minus defense. Minus defense plus special attack, yes. Okay. Yeah. What is Venus... Venusaur is weak to fire, 
ice. Uh, fire, ice. Flying, uh, and one other one. Flying, Psychic. but you don't, aside from like the Psychic. Pidgeotto, you don't get a ton of... Flying, I guess. Flying. Yeah, so maybe defense down is the best. I, I like initially, I kind of uh, alternate back and forth between, I guess it's Rash and Naughty. Those seem to be my two go-to natures in Gen 3, but that's mostly because I want a lower special defense because I'm thinking about Steven in... Uh, right in emerald and he's terrifying and lowering defense never seems like a good idea <laughs> yeah just yeah. because of him just because um, of him yeah i don't know maybe maybe i will go mild today i think that does make more sense the more i think about it the only time when i'm really worried about like reducing my defense to that is honestly when uh and, and this time i'm, I'm not going to be like pumping myself up i'm grabbing substitute heck yeah i'm grabbing substitute but uh <laughs> um one thing I've noticed with the defense stat is that when you're going with the substitute, the biggest yeah. thing is just making sure you survive that rock tomb. If you survive rock tomb from Steelix and Heracross, like you win the league. <laughs> pretty yes. much. Yeah. yeah. Or if your decoy survives the rock tomb, I should say. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Um, that's it. That's all the questions I had. So. Okay. Um, I'm pretty much ready to go. I just uh, want to mention to my chat that uh, I will try my best to pay more attention to you this week. Uh, I did. I did neglect you pretty heavily last week. Hello, <laughs> Philip, Pedro, Chris, Biz, Kevin, Miss Cheeky, Rick, all of you. Welcome. Um, other things to comment on before we start? I don't think so, honestly. I think I'm ready to go when you are. Okay, I'm probably going to neglect my chat. I'm sorry for all of you. <laughs> it's like, I have both of our chats on screen in the game, and like, uh, it's going to be a lot. I'm probably just not going to be able to do it, so. Yeah. Yeah. I have like half of your chat open, so, you know, I'll, I'll see like an at exceptional, and then I'll ask you what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best. No worries. Uh, okay, so also, you're, you're in the lab, oh, yeah. so I have to catch up to you. Yes. So I'll yes, do that yes, while yes, you say yes. something. Yeah. Um, also, I, I, I did. Uh, I mentioned to Scott uh, when we were talking before that I did watch back our VOD from the last one. A, because it was just so much fun to relive the experience for me. But B, I noticed that uh, you could hear me breathing a lot. So I am much further back from my microphone today. <laughs> yeah. That's like that. But I'm really trying to capture the full ASMR experience here. So you helped me out, actually. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I, I could go back in and just full competitive. We're going with the one character nickname. Okay, I'm in the lab. My oh. timer is twenty eight ninety six. Yeah, I mean, I stack mine at thirty seconds. So okay. again, close enough. Sure, uh, I'll count us in. Okay, three, two, one, go. I forgot All something. Right. Okay, I'll have a small disadvantage here. Let's do it. There we go. Now we have. Your stream I decided. On, on on my stream, but everyone, I recommend you go and uh, watch on his side of things because there will be a slight delay on my side. So, what we're seeing on this side is going to be a couple seconds behind, at least. Yes, yeah, same for more. my side. That uh, what what you're seeing of Scott's stream in the corner is uh, definitely not live. He's uh, he's a few seconds behind me. Not in the race, in just. Always behind. Life, though. Time. No, I, not will be behind. Oh, actually, I had a, I had a, oh, I had a question for you. Okay. And you know, this is this is like the perfect time to do it. Like, just immediately get off topic. <laughs> yes, yes, let's do it. <laughs> so, with your relationship, we mentioned the uh, the other day how like I'm in the position that you were, where you know my my girlfriend has not yet evolved. Oh and yes. So, I had to ask you, what is like the optimal process to evolving a girlfriend? Is it just time oh investment and leveling gosh. up? Uh, do they need an evolution stone? Uh, they do need an evolution <laughs> stone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, a, I guess, a diamond and gold stone. That's what you yeah. need. And then, and then, and then the evolution takes place. That there evolves to fiance. Yeah. And then there's a. It's like a, an event that you have to do, and then the event will evolve to the final <laughs> stage. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. I don't need an antidote. I'm a Venusaur. Why am I picking up antidotes? Yeah. I, I luckily oh, did not buy antidotes in Viridian City. <laughs> Occasionally, I do that, and then we forget to remove the footage from the video, and it sneaks <laughs> in, and then people always comment on it like, you're terrible. Why are you buying yeah. antidotes? It's a poison Pokemon. I buy antidotes every run I do, and the vast majority of the Pokemon need them, so it's just, uh, it's muscle memory at this point. 
Oh, I know. Yeah, I know, Miss Cheeky. I did pick up a second antidote after saying I didn't need the first. I can't help it. <laughs> this uh, this Weedle's kind of it's annoying. Pritting a lot. If you do, if you do minimum battles, I feel like the Weedle is very, very, very problematic. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it can't defeat you because you're poison true. type. If Venusaur was, I actually think uh, in from when when I played it in Generation One. The insight that I got was that I think they made it a poison type to improve it as a defensive Pokemon. That would make sense. Because it, uh, it takes less damage in the early game from mm -hmm. a whole bunch of like the bug types that are just everywhere and the poison types. Right. So it's like you don't ever feel like you're going to lose using this thing in the early game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely true. Um, like with Bulbasaur, like obviously we have Vine Whip today. So that just solves Brock immediately. But um, yes. with Bulbasaur alone, you you can just jump straight into the fight and just it's a slow fight. But with nothing but Leech Seed and a, and a Dream, you can win that one. Don't buy antidotes. Oh no! Don't buy antidotes. Yeah, don't buy antidotes. <laughs> <laughs> As I was about to. Oh, I forgot HM users too. That's okay. I, I, I'm a scrub. I I don't have them either. Um. I usually try and have three... When I'm leaving Pewter, I usually try and have three Antidotes and three Paralyze Heals, and that will generally last me for the rest of the game. Yeah. Generally. Just for those odd times. Yeah, it's much more like uh, Red and Blue, because in Red and Blue, you want to buy in Pewter City in, instead of Viridian. There, there are no potions in Viridian City Mart in oh, really? Yellow Version. I don't know if there are in this game, but... You also can catch a uh, Pidgey in the forest in ver in uh, yellow version, but not in red and blue. Hmm. So it makes more sense to just skip it in Viridian City, and then you can also sell the TM for Bide after you get it from Brock. Okay. Okay. I, I'm about to learn Sleep Powder, so I'm a really happy man now. We're doing that thing again where it's like, now I'm feeling like you're the speedrunner, and I'm like, how are you so far ahead of me? Are we not playing the same game? <laughs> 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 it's okay. Uh, what I what I realized actually, I thought about that more because we talked about Oops. it on the last stream, and I also recognized yep. that that was something I experienced when I played a lot of StarCraft Two. Oh gosh, the last got me. Um, when I played a lot of StarCraft Two, I would always see really, really, really good players, and playing the game up until about five minutes in the game, all of my build orders would be faster than theirs, right. and I, I'd be like right on top of my execution. I'm like, wow, I'm doing really well. Like this feels great. And then as soon as we would get like to like eight or nine minutes, they would be so far ahead of me that it was ridiculous. Yeah. And Oops. so the conclusion I have come to is that like it, it's okay to have ex exceptional mechanical execution. Like that'll that'll uh, do really well for you. And I tend to be strong in that area, I think. Uh, that helps in the early game. But then once you get mm -hmm. to a lot more decision making, uh, like the decision making really uh -huh. does separate people. Yes. Yeah. Well, even looking at, like, the mentality of repels, right? So, like... Yeah. How many did you buy? Seven. Seven. Uh, four for Mount Moon, unless I'm going after Thief, in which case I need the fifth. Um, okay. Three for Rock Tunnel, unless I'm going for Rock Slide, in which case you need fourth. So nine covers everything. Nine would cover absolutely everything. Okay, so it's one additional repel for Thief and for Rock Slide. Yeah. Okay, because I've just been buying the full, uh, what's it called, like 11? I just right, yeah. go to the side and buy 11, but I should probably get no. more precise with that. I dislike the first step with after my repel runs out. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it, it gets you? Yeah, yeah I dislike oh, no. repels to the point oh, that, no. uh, or like the base level repels to the point that... Uh, I made a boo-boo. Uh -huh. I didn't heal at the Poke Center, and I have no Vine Whips. Uh-oh. I, uh, I I might have to escape rope out, honestly. I have, like, no health left over before the Super Nerd. And I so, don't have a well, potion. Welcome, everyone, to top-level gameplay from Scott's Thoughts and Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. <laughs> it's always top... What are you saying? It's always top-level play on my channel. Are you kidding oh me? Gosh. No mistakes <laughs> over here. <laughs> we don't stand for that. Okay, if I, well. How much PP do okay. I have? I have one tackle. I'm, nope. I don't even have an escape rope, so. Oh, uh, we go. I uh, I lost because I was addicted to sleep powder. And then you know the what? coughing crit me. <sighs> this... 
That's better. <laughs> There's bullet seed at the front of the cave. That would have helped. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there is bullet seed. Yeah. Bullet seed is pretty okay. So everyone who tells me get bullet seed, no. Bullet seed is trash in Gen three. It gets yep. better in later generations when its base power is twenty five. In this generation, its base power is ten. <laughs> it's so bad. It's pretty awful. You have to hit so many times for that to make a difference. Dude, it's like, dude. if you don't get, like, four hits... Oh, it's not very good. <laughs> Anyways, As yeah. I watch, I'm just watching you, like, enter the Cerulean Mart as I'm spamming Sleep Powder against Zubat while Leech Life slowly takes it down. Yeah. That's... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I have enough Leech Lives to get out of here, so that's that's good news, I Don't guess. worry, this is how it was last time. I felt so ahead. I was like, yes, I'm gonna do this. And then, like, slowly but surely in the mid-game, you just completely outplayed and then by the end it was just my choice to get substitute that yeah one of two things is going to happen here i'm going to white out or i'm going to win <laughs> that's it that's my options oh, white out or win, yeah is that did you forget to save or intentionally not save um both both yeah <laughs> Um, I, I think I'm fine here. I think I am, but gosh, what a... Just starting off with a really bad mistake already. It's good. Don't pick up that. Do we learn Mega Kick or Mega Punch? I can't I don't see think that so. I, I don't think so. I don't need it. I can just wait till oh. Secret Power. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's get some Power Points, shall we? Uh, do I bother with the person? I'm not going to. I need to make up some time. Let's go risky. Ooh. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah. I got... I almost got wrecked by the rival's uh, Charmander. It's alright. I'm getting beat up by Staryu. Did, did you try to sleep it? No. Don't try to <laughs> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> did you? It's always the mistake. I did not. I I I, I knew that one. Also, uh, uh, something else weird about this is that once you get Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf is generally more powerful than Tackle, even yep. if it's resisted. So like against Pidgeys resisted. and stuff like that, it's only when it's double resisted that Tackle is the better choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try my best just to... Uh... Sleep and leech seed my way through this guy. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, something else you have been doing that I've noticed is that you've been skipping more optional trainers. So, like, I fought both of the people in Misty's gym. And then I fought <laughs> okay. Misty. And I fought yeah. the junior trainer in Brock's gym. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Um. Yeah. That's... Oh, no. Yeah, speaking of skipping those trainers, I'm now regretting not having that experience for Charmander. I just, um, yeah. I don't know. I just, maybe maybe, maybe that's just something I need to investigate more uh, in my first playthroughs. It's just like I, coming in with zero plan. <laughs> is that, is that, that's how you do it, right? Uh, for my first playthroughs, yeah. I kind of take a cursory look at the moveset yeah. and then I just yeah. go for it. Yeah, that's how I do it. And then uh, I get a lot of comments that are like, maybe you should reevaluate your approach. I'm like, okay, that's <laughs> fair. Um, oh my goodness, Charmander. And the burn! Why? Burn is the worst. Gosh. Uh, the second run today, if you look in my thumbnail, you just might find the answer. <laughs> I'm just over here. No clues on my side of things. <laughs> you have to go over there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, be oh, sure works. to absolutely destroy my algorithm by coming into my video for all of a second to look at the thumbnail and then leave. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do that. Please yeah, don't do watch that. Watch time. Watch time is important. <laughs> the luck is awful today and me just not playing well, super well uh, again already. I don't know. I think that there is... I think it's a more complicated situation than maybe uh, it seems in this case. It's always the case when you get bad luck or things are not working that it seems like you're doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is a lot to be said for skipping all of the trainers that I am fighting. Like, mm -hmm. I did not necessarily need to fight them. So, like, you're... The potential for your run to go faster is higher. Or, like, there's, yeah. like, a higher, uh, like, ceiling for it to go. 
maybe it's yeah. less likely to get there, but it it, it is uh, there's a higher ceiling. Right. Yes. Um. Gosh, I'm wondering if I have the powerpoints to get me to secret power. Um. Hello, Lucy. Uh, what was I gonna mention? Something along what you were just saying. It'll come back, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll give it time. I'm along Nugget you Bridge after all. You don't Bill's have to think house, much. Right? I don't believe so. Uh, teleport te is another one that I have to um, perhaps think about more in my runs. I know it's not available until the Celadon, really, with Abra, and I don't know how useful it is by then because you can fly, but... Um, yeah. Where's the soonest place you can catch an Avra in this game? Can you catch one around Cerulean? It, it is like, yeah, like the this Route 24, is it, I think? Um, yeah. Like the I one that's kind of parallel, like the grass that's parallel with Nugget that's Bridge. Nugget Bridge. It is technically yeah. Nugget Bridge. Nugget Bridge is actually Route 24. There is no place in the game called Nugget Bridge internally. Yes. Yeah, All I the did. Cerebi.net. Uh, uh, Taught me that when I was like, "Where is Nugget Bridge?" N, hello. I see. Oh, thank you, Miss Cheeky, for the two dollars. I see we pronounce that website name uh, differently, and then Which everyone one? always tells me uh, Sarah B because I say Sarah B, oh. and you said Cerebi. something else, and, and then Cerebi? someone else told me it's Celebi. Celebi. Yeah, I I think the person who said it's Celebi is correct, uh, but uh, I still say Sarah B. But it's an R. <laughs> And an S. I don't know. Anyways, anyway. that's uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone in my my chat is one hundred percent gonna comment on this at some point. <laughs> well, it's like uh, what is it? The Asperberry? I have no idea how to actually pronounce as as peer is spear something. I don't know. Asper yeah. sounds oh, more I'm fun. Get it? I'm terrified. It's the Japanese spelling. Okay, okay. Oh, it's the yeah. Okay, that's what it is. Oh, Serebi is the raw romanticization. Roman romanization isn't that romanticization? I don't know something like that of cool. the Japanese Celebi. Very cool. That's neat. Thank you, Pedro. Okay, can I? I did it. I did it. Did you see that, Scott? Did you see that? No, I didn't see it. What was it? You got uh, secret power. I got secret power, and I made it by. Um, Youngster, what's his face that patrols up and oh. down? I've I've hit him in both of our races. <laughs> I so didn't far. get by him. He got me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Comes from Roman, like the Roman alphabet. Okay. I should have gone slower to get by him, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should mention oh. that here. We were playing with uh, slightly different modifications in the game and slightly different rule sets. Um, I am so avoiding like pickup. Okay, you're avoiding pickup. I think last time you used leftovers a little bit, but only at the end. Yeah, when I was um, desperate. Yeah. I I like have spinners are turned off for me, so that is the difference on my side of things. I think we both have perfect IVs though, right? Yes, I went with perfect IVs. Okay. So if I I'm not going for a specific hidden power type, then I will always have uh, HP dark max 31s. Yeah. So everyone, we can now see the IVs in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. And soon I will switch that over to EVs to show Ooh. you the EVs that I have collected to this point in the playthrough. <laughs> Look on my side, guys. If I hit this button, my rainbow badge shows up. Whoa. Wait, are and those not automatic? It, again, it goes away. Are those no, not automatic? Not. No. Oh, I have to. Okay. I'll, after the stream, we should sit down. And I'll make those automatic for you. <laughs> How so, often do you forget them? Um, not super often. It tends to happen when I'm streaming more than when I'm actually yeah. doing a run. It's it's oh very gosh. much become muscle memory. But uh, yeah, that that and like an auto splitter, so that I don't have to manually type wow. in all of my like. Okay. Yeah, I can make and you an auto splitter. That is the f that is the first frame that Brock says, or like the P in player defeated Brock yeah. that comes up. Yeah, I for uh, a while now, I've really wanted to find an automated way to annotate that portion of the footage so mm -hmm. that uh, on the video edit, we always know where that frame is, but I have not yet yeah. found an extremely reliable way to do that. We could do it, but it was within like two frames accuracy and that wasn't good enough for me. Right, right. 
because I was being picky. <laughs> two frame accuracy at 60 FPS is not good enough. No, no, at 100, uh, at 240 FPS. So oh, at 240, even one, better. Yeah, yeah, one frame at 60 <laughs> FPS, but it was not good enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, please. Oh my gosh. Um, so I remembered what I was going to get into. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh. No. Come on. <laughs> Did it get you? It got me. The rival, the rival is kind of, uh, I would say that out of everyone, like, because Venusaur is very good at, against the early gym leaders, the mm -hmm. rival seems to be the strongest trainer against it. It's all sand attack. Yeah. All sand attack. Oh, sand attack. Um, but I did remember what I was going to mention earlier when we were discussing uh, the training and how yeah. you tend to be going after more trainers overall than I am. I do try to leave as much like uh, grinding to later in the game as possible just because of the increased experience yield. Yeah. But 100%. something that I've been thinking of a lot lately is the fact that like, yeah, getting over a damage rounding threshold very well might be faster if you're like facing Mi Misty at eight at 20 instead of 18, for instance, um, as well as there's always the perpetual argument of EVs yes. uh, to be had and we're experience versus EV, like optimizing EVs versus optimizing experience. And yeah. just, oh gosh, this is why I love these games because there's just so uh, I much. I know. <laughs> uh, Snowy made a post on uh, Twitter the other day or X depending on how you want to name yeah, it whatever it's called yeah. um and it was really interesting because you can essentially derive evs their post was mentioning that you can essentially derive oh. evs from stat experience okay so there's a direct analog between the games however the way i i then commented like the way in which those stats like while you can make a direct analog between the two within the games the way in which they are accumulated is fundamentally different so okay. evs are accumulated like one two or three at a time when you knock out right. opponent, uh, an opponent pokemon in only one or i think two stats sometimes but, sometimes two yeah uh but ev uh sorry uh, stat experience on the other hand is accumulated all at once and then it's also using a square root function, which is logarithmic. Uh, and because of that, you actually gain more advantages from e, uh, stat experience gains early on when the value is low. So like if you have like four stat experience, it will increase because uh, it's a square root. I think it uh, increases by two. But then if you have nine, it increases by three. Uh, but then right. if you have uh, 16, it increases by four. So like... The, it gets further and further away before you get your next increase for right. when you're gaining stat experience. <sighs> mm -hmm. uh, right. Which I think is like a really interesting uh, distinction between the two systems. Mm -hmm. So like training early on in a game like Yellow makes more sense than training early on in a game like Fire Red because of how that EV system works. Right. I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And yes, some Pokemon do give three EVs, but it's like uh, what we were saying is only in two separate stats. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a Pokemon that gives EVs in three separate stats. I don't think so. Maybe someone in the comments will probably know if one Pokemon's like, hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like this one Pokemon, <laughs> it's Mew or something. It's like, oh, okay. Gosh. Didn't yeah, know yeah. all these Mews that I've been knocking out. <laughs> Should have been aware of that. Stop cheating, Scott. <laughs> I know, right? I gotta, I gotta put somewhere now the EV yield on my enemy Pokemon so that people can see what they actually give. Yeah, isn't it like, um, or am I misremembering that? Is that later that they start getting like IVs set to ten or something like that, as opposed to zeros? Or am I misremembering that? Am IVs I mixing up game to mechanics? 10? Um. Oh no, no, no. in Generation One. All of the IVs are set to eight in everything except for attack, which is set to nine. Okay, and then, yeah, 15 is the max in Gen 1, yes? Yeah, 15. Okay. It's a four bit integer. Ah. So it's the I'm... maximum number that four bits can store. Learning, learning, learning. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, I had the privilege yesterday of uh, watching Scott just zip through some code. And uh, I just have to take a moment to oh, no. appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a good thing. Uh, I have to take a, a moment to appreciate just like it, it, it. I think it I feel like it's similar to like watching us playing Pokemon right now. Like it's there's something 
just inherently interesting in watching somebody who has put a ton of hours into a certain thing doing their work. And, like, just, you can see, like, you can see the hours of work that it takes to get to the level, to, like, to that kind of level. And I, I just, I had to say that it was just, it was a, it was a, it was a treat. <laughs> well, well, thanks. I, I I'm like, I, it makes me happy that I can at least do stuff with code now because mm -hmm. two years ago, I remember thinking like, it would be great if I could, could code, but I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it, for me, coding always felt like, like, how do you get started? Like, that seems so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't seem like there's a, a good place to start and like it's literally named code it's like yeah you, you often talk about like cracking the code and it's like <laughs> if you don't know how to crack the code then like what are you doing yeah well i mean they're different languages right and yeah. I mean, once you kind of get the basics of that language then you can like well yeah it just becomes easier to understand right like two yeah. plus two equals four is incredibly simple but it's not if you have no idea what two plus two represents that's true yeah. I just want to comment on something quickly here while my EVs are showing on screen because I have forced the game to show us EVs when we were in the rocket hideout so we can kind of get a sense for what they are before I could buy vitamins. Uh, in this case, you will notice that I have significantly more uh, speed than anything else. My Venusaur has 51 speed and the next closest stat is defense with 36. So... Uh, you just get a lot more speed EVs in this game, plus Surge's badge now correctly boosts your speed stat. So this is a reason why going for a minus speed nature is sometimes a good idea in these games. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Yeah, generally I find, like, unless Aerodactyl is a big problem, you really don't need to outspeed it in the league. Um, mm -hmm. Like, unless it's going to hit you with Scary Face or something that's going to absolutely destroy you... Uh, yeah, like taking yeah. a minus speed nature, especially if you have, like I mentioned last uh, last run, being at that 90 threshold is usually when I start considering it. But by the time you're hitting, like we'll be running Riot, uh, a Pokemon with 110 base speed, <laughs> perhaps yeah. in some time, future talks. Um, uh, it's good that you're talking about this now because I didn't even think about that. So Yeah, um, but it has 110 base speed. And so for that one, like I am absolutely happy Minus to take speed. down yeah, yeah. our speed because you do not need it. And um, I highly suspect that at the level we're going to require... Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's going to be... Speed is not going to be a problem. Very high for the second league attempt. Yeah, we are doing the second league today. I am doing the second league as well, so... Yes, uh, uh, Theo, Teo, we are uh, kind of running under the same rules. So um, Scott obviously has a lot more tech than I do. So I'm just kind of adapting my typical rules to meet his a little bit. Um, we're we're pretty easy going with it. Like we're just here to learn, yeah. have fun. Um, the races are competitive to a point, but you know we're we're just having fun. It's like it's like friendly competitive, but we're not taking it super seriously because we didn't spend a ton of time making sure we were on the exact same version of everything. <laughs> um, and also, it's just fun to hang out and play Pokemon. Exactly. I oh, managed God. to get myself two flyers and no uh, dig user. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a dig user either. Oh uh, I just gosh. don't have one at all. I don't even. I don't even have two flyers, unfortunately. I have two flyers. I don't know why. I don't have a good answer. Destroy him, Egg? No. <laughs> Make beat, maybe. I, I could handle the victory. That, that'd sure be nice for my confidence, but you know. <laughs> I don't have to destroy anybody today. So, uh, a long time ago, Oops. When, my, when I was like five, I was fascinated with my dad's chessboard. I <sighs> really wanted to learn chess. And uh, he was like, okay, I'll show you how to play chess. I was like, yeah, great. And mm -hmm. so we started playing chess. And then my mom was like, hey, like, you going to let him win? Like, and my dad was like, are you kidding? No, no. like, I'm going to just <laughs> crush him over and over again. And I remember he crushed me for years, mm -hmm. uh, maybe four or five years. And I was like nine, 10, something like that. And, yeah. uh, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, really Executor. Oh, gosh. One oh, of the rare gosh. times when you get caught by the rival, or like the rival four battle. <laughs> oh, well, the exec you gets me. Are you kidding me? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's him. Him and uh, in rival five, him and his stupid wow. stun spore. Oh, it gets me so much. Oh, oh I did read anyway. that, by the way, Burn Samurai. But yeah, I was like, uh, I was just like 
so happy the day I actually beat him. So yeah. this is kind of my own philosophy as well. Like I'm not going to go easy on anyone. Oh, and I, I, I agree with that, right? Because like, obviously, like if the kid is driven, oh. they're going to keep trying and trying and trying. And then, yeah, once you finally get that victory yeah. and it's a legitimate victory, yes. like there is nothing sweeter. Like, uh-huh. And, and the... If, the look yeah. on my dad's face when he was like stunned that it happened. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh <laughs> yes, I actually did it. How dare you use the open Sicilian against me? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, for sure. And I mean, like that, like if 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 there is ever a lesson that emphasizes put in the hard work, then like something like that, like for a kid. <laughs> yep. Do, do, do. Oh, by the way, I do have Soul Silver music running today for a little bit of variety. I have been thoroughly enjoying it. Mine is uh, mine's Let's Go, and uh, if you don't like the reverb on the orchestral tracks, sorry. <laughs> Some people always comment <laughs> to me about that, telling me it just sounds really washed out and and bad. I'm sorry. That's interesting, actually. I, I would have thought that like the more orchestral would have sounded like fuller. No, it's like the reverb that's put on it. So it's like, oh. it's it like feels kind of overproduced in some ways. Gotcha, gotcha. And and like like it's not like uh, listening to an orchestra. It's like listening to an orchestra that is obviously computer generated and like yeah, really touched up to make sound like as studio as possible. But real orchestras right. don't really sound like that. Oh, you don't hear any music coming through. Uh oh. Um. No Trying to fix this on the fly. Just the music of my voice. Exactly. I also got comments last time that we supposedly go. we sound really similar, and I think it's because we're from both from a similar part of the world. Yes, uh, both from the same similar part of the world, and uh, I've kind of noticed that uh, yeah. the low end in both of our voices that comes through seems to be yeah. similar. Like, not that we have the exact same voice; it's just that low end seems to come through more. Uh, yeah. Fix now? Yes, I yeah, I thought I fixed it before stream. I did not. What am I doing? Going left, going right. Oh no. I'm I'm really surprised they did not make Mr. Fuji give you the Poke Flute automatically in this game. Just because you're able to oops, skip it in the yeah. gen one? Well you can just walk away. Like when he teleports you back to the bottom of the house, you can just leave the house and then leave and then you never get the Poke Flute and you can't go south and that's that. Like Right. Uh until you go back to the house, talk to him. Oh, yeah, you don't have to open your inventory to talk to the Snorlax in this game. That's nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm starting the Rival 4 fight. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize I was that far ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, candy is here. Please, Did you ever get the yes. PP up on the other side of Cycling Road? Um, I... Sometimes get it, I sometimes don't. Um, if I'm grinding Cycling Road, I will always get it. Otherwise, mm. I tend to just shoot down the rare candy path. Uh, grab it, grab the max elixir at the bottom, and carry on with my life. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But uh, I definitely grab it when I have cause to. I was getting it a lot early on in these runs, and now I've started to skip it. Just because it seems mm. quite out of the way. Yeah, especially when you're having to like backtrack. Like, if you want the rare candy and you have to backtrack back up the path, it's uh, it definitely feels like it takes longer. Yeah. Than it uh, needs to. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So I had another off the book question sure. that uh, it it, it kind of came up after the uh, last stream before between my girlfriend and I and. Uh, Okay. It's just been stuck in my head for the last week, so I have to know: is it is it true, Scott, that that you don't know? <laughs> uh, that song. Um, there was a. I had a friend when I was younger, and he would constantly say that when I was around. Like, I can't, yeah. Every time I would show off, and he'd see me, like Scott, he doesn't know. <laughs> like, okay. I was so ready to start going like that, Fiona and me. Yeah. Oh, I. Did oh, you get yeah. the Miracle Seed? Uh, I have not, no. I forgot that I can get that. That's a, it's available fairly early because it's only 20,000 Poké Dollars, right? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, never mind, I yes, don't that's have correct. enough money for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Venusaur is one where, like, I very much find that I lean more towards my vitamin spending than, mm. like, getting a Miracle Seed. Uh, and the, uh, 
I suppose that a Miracle Seed argument could be made just depending on what happens in the leagues, but I find that having my special all the time, and since I go for leftovers, like, that's, you know, that eats my held item slot, but... Yeah. yeah. What I don't does, know. Oh. The 10% the ten, the 10 always feels so lackluster. Uh, mm. The 10% uh, damage boost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, until you barely don't knock the Ludi Colo out. <laughs> and leech seed is the most in terrifying move in the world. Oh, and then it leech, leech seed. seeds you, and then the Milotic comes out, and you can never knock it out. I'm this is uh <laughs> recent, recent trauma that I've experienced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh I honestly like I'm so unfamiliar with uh Emerald. Like I think the last time I even experienced Emerald in any capacity was watching um Pokemon challenges when he was yes. doing his Kaizo run through it. Yep. Uh, watched that fairly regularly while he was um, doing it, but aside from that, like, I I have not... I don't think I've actually played Emerald oh. since I bought Fire Red. Interesting. It's been a while. <laughs> like 20 years ago, yeah. Okay, here's a question for you, and you might mm -hmm. not be able to answer this. I don't want to force you into disclosing plans if you want to keep them close to your chest, but <laughs> like, have you thought about oh, no. what, what games are that you're going to like play next on the channel, that sort of thing? Um, shoot. Cause like, I'm wondering like, is Emerald like something you're thinking about playing in the future or I know How that far you... Oh no. Sorry. Um, oh, no. I just rival four that sent me all the way back to rival four. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. Right. <laughs> the rival is scary in this run. Um, I was in Sylph, and oh, I no. wiped to the um, the guy that guards the heal bed on nine F. Uh, I wiped to him. Oh no. Uh... Oh, it only costs a thousand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, um, so I've been kind of um, oh my gosh, no, come on. <laughs> is he gonna get you? He got me again. This run is terrible. Yeah, I should be saving more often. That uh, I know better in Sylph. That guy can randomly mess you up with confusion like he did. Um, but speaking to your question about... Um... Hold on, I just need to it's get okay. this you, you focus. I'll, I'll talk about something else. Okay, you can also <laughs> see EVs are displaying here in Sylph. I'm trying to show them in locations where you typically pick up vitamins and <sighs> use vitamins. You can kind of get a sense for where the EVs are at at that point. And you can once again see that my speed stat is growing much faster than all of my other stats. Uh, which is like, it's actually an unfortunate thing for Pokemon that are fast by default. Because that's not an advantage for you anymore. It's just like, oh useless great. Useless stats. Yeah, it's like useless. I have all this. And speed is a stat where if you have extra speed, it doesn't help. So whereas like extra defense can sometimes help for like a more difficult fight or extra attack mm -hmm. can help for more difficult fight later on or you can go in at a lower level but with speed it's like if you have 50 more speed than your opponent that's not actually meaningful in any way yeah like like vin diesel says it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile yeah winning is winning like you just have to outspeed one more speed is all you need yeah um okay now that i'm not like slowly sure. seething inside of me <laughs> and yeah. it's a good thing i don't have a camera on me because i was definitely making a lewd gesture or two towards the screen but anyway <laughs> um okay first of all skull scully milk is asking uh do we both play on controllers or keyboard we both play on controllers yeah i think we both play on xbox controllers yes yeah is yours a regular uh, xbox controller or an xbox elite controller <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Does it have uh, one... little paddles on the back? Uh, little paddles on the like back? No. Buttons that you no. can push with your other fingers. Okay. No, it doesn't have. Uh... Yeah, it's just got like the the standard controller layout, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but okay, coming back to the question about games that I have planned in the future. So, um, I've been mentioning a lot lately about um, like. I love Fire Red. I love Pokemon. I love Soul Silver, but like I've been doing it for a year and um, yeah. I've told the same story over and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so like absolutely Pokemon is not going away on the channel. I will n probably never stop producing Pokemon content just because it's so much fun and especially with uh, 
with some help from, from Scott now behind the scenes, my capabilities and the time investment that I'm putting into every video, like capabilities are increasing while my time is decreasing. Yeah. So like things are good. Um, but I am just so in need of telling a different story. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like I just, it's creatively, I, I need something different. Um, to put out. So I have been working on a separate project, the, the name of which uh, I will keep under wraps for now. Um, but it is in a completely different game. It is not Pokemon at all. It's a completely different format to what you've seen so far on the channel. And uh, this is essentially, this is something that's been a, yes, yeah, save. Thank you, everybody. I, I will be saving. Um, this is going to be a creative project for me. So like Fun. if the video does horribly, that's okay because I need to creatively dump work effort yeah. into this and, um, and play with ideas because like, there's only so many different ways to edit a Pokemon run I've been finding. And I've been trying to find different ways. Like, you know, like a few weeks ago, I went like, you know, my solution is grind, 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 grind. And I like flashed to a different, oop punching the mic, uh, flash to a different, like, b battle scene every time, you know, and things mm -hmm. syncing up with music slash my voice more, but it's, a, uh, I, I find, I don't know, I just, I need to play, and that's, that's, that's what I'm aiming for, is playing. <laughs> Sweet. That's let awesome. Let it be StarCraft. Um, I'll, I'll let Scott teach me StarCraft before I jump in. I could do WarCraft 3 if we're looking for RTSs, but uh, uh, it's been a while for that one, too. I was thinking of doing some, uh original like uh starcraft brood war stuff at oh some yeah point. that'd be cool to yeah. see um uh, i was no. actually yeah same same nah. question back at you like you've been you've been doing pokemon a lot longer than i have and yes you are running six games now i yeah, believe yeah there are six different games that i play like actively on the channel oh, i'm also gosh. gonna lose here but uh yeah paralysis is brutal mm -hmm. um, yeah that executes yeah yeah, yeah. the execute a apparently the execute is like really bad which is so rare. Usually, it's not good at all. Mm -hmm. Uh. Anyways, yeah. Normally, like, normally every year I add a new game to the channel. Uh, I don't know why I decided that was like what I wanted to do. It's kind of the first year on the channel. I didn't know what I was doing, so I just, I, I people started watching a little bit more, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to put out a special video for the holidays, and I'll. On December 25th, I'll just release, um, I think it was Butterfree and in, in, uh, in gold, not crystal, gold, okay. yeah. And then ever since then, I was like, well, for the next year, let's just do another one and another one. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the Pidgeot knows Whirlwind, so when it wakes up, it switches yeah. you out if you've been setting up, which is really frustrating. It's such a pain. <laughs> like, who do you set up on? No one, apparently, or not as much. Uh, you viewers, just watch plus out. Three. Flashing lights incoming. I'm using a bunch of vitamins. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's visually very bad. Oh, no. Full heals. Okay. I there noted we go. this fight is Sorry awful. to interrupt. It's okay. Yeah, I'm skipping right by Rival 5. Unless you've already got your... No, Ooh. you have not been down to Fuchsia, have you? No. Well, I went down to Fuchsia, but I did not complete anything other uh, than the Safari Zone. I always do Safari Zone before Erica. I don't know why. It's just like... Gotcha. Kind of the flow that I have. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Um, but yes, we... Chad, you you've had some good guesses as to what game. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Uh, what project I'm looking at? I'm playing. I've been playing so much Soul Silver. I just go straight to the Gym Infusion instead of the Safari Zone. But um, um, yes, you've had some good guesses. I have played many of the games that you've suggested, but uh, I'm leaving you in suspense on this one. Okay, so it does it at plus three. I didn't realize that it. It, it does switch you out on plus three. I thought it would only do it after plus three, but I guess it's the threshold is plus three. Uh, oh, for growth? For No, for the... Uh, it's switching you out, the uh, like using Whirlwind to, to swap you. I mean, when you're set up to plus three with growth. Yeah, when you hit plus okay. three, then it tries to use Whirlwind on you to take away your setup. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big reason why I started uh, leaving my party in the box during the leagues. Um, because yeah, of... they can't do it. Gosh, who was it? Well, the Whirlwind obviously is nasty. I think somebody else can do it, can't they? I can't remember. I don't know who else... I don't know Excuse like me. the uh, Roar or Whirlwind users well in this game. 
I know Growlithe, Arcanine, and Pidgeot have been the ones that get me so far. <laughs> uh, yeah, Growlithe, like, Growlithe can, even in Gen 2, there's this one guy in, in the lighthouse who loves to do it. Yeah. Loves to switch you out. Uh, just learning growth myself. There we go. Wow, this is brutal. I, I didn't realize this would be this bad. Uh, I'm like programmed with Gen 1 sleep and setup in mind. Gen 1 sleep <laughs> and setup is really good. Uh, as compared to Gen 4, yeah. And Gen 3, yeah, it's just not as good. Because if they wake up on the turn, they still get to attack. That's bad. Uh, which one does more? This one. Oh. Get out of here, coughing. Uh, I'm kind of stubborning my way through the fight, but like, okay, like switching it up is, you have to, at some point, you just have to decide like, is it worth it to switch it up or not? Like, uh, yeah. Sorry, oh, um, it's okay. very close one shot on Muck there. <laughs> I'm going to stay stubborn on this one, unfortunately, for everyone in my chat, so everyone can just feel the pain. It's all right. Do I rely on 95% accuracy? Let's see. Sweet. And the crits, for no reason. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, we're kind of hitting that point of the game where um, I can't remember what the best route forward might be. Yeah. Uh, uh, I I'll can't growth, later, actually. I can't growth more because if I growth more when the Pidgeot wakes up, it will whirlwind me. So I can only growth twice. Uh, otherwise, the Pidgeot, when it wakes up, it, it whirlwinds right away and then I lose all my setup. Return so is greater than secret power. But, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm yeah. saving it. Trying return, to anyway. return is better than secret power uh, by the time you reach the the place where you pick it up. Yes, yeah, uh, in raw power anyway. That's uh, ignoring the chance to paralyze. Mm -hmm. uh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the, I think the issue here is like, the way it feels is that Razor Leaf oh my is not even very good. So like setting up growth is not helping because the threats right. that I want to defeat I need to use return against anyways. So it's kind of weird. Like you're setting up, but like the setup is not really helping that much. Okay, I finally beat him. So are you aware of Alakazam's moveset in this game? Yeah, it has no like psychic or anything. It just has future sight. Just future sight. That's yeah, correct. It's really bad. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yeah, the Charizard. I should have put him to sleep. I think you have to put the Charizard to sleep there. Yeah. I don't know if you're a higher level, but. I think we're about the same right now. Mm-hmm. But you've done Koga, right? I have done Koga. 42. Yeah. How was Koga? So, uh, not bad. Or... I um, I took him out in one shot. Or okay. in a single attempt, I should say. No, this is just not going to happen. Oh, gosh. What did I do here last time? Can't see my moveset. Can't see your moveset. Oh, there it is. Uh... I'm Return Sleep Powder Razor Leaf Growth. What are you running? Um, return, uh, secret power, razor leaf, sleep, growth. Okay. I think I will be going for return now just to try and get that higher damage output. Yeah. Since I'm relying on sleep anyway, it makes no sense to go for the paralysis. This Pokemon would be way better if it got sword stance right away. Like, like sword stance instead of growth would dramatically improve Venusaur. Yes. Nice crit. Um, yeah, what I'm trying to do is set up against the Alakazam. Okay. And then hope that that's enough to get me through Char yeah. Charizard. Because it feels like both the Execute and the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Pidgeot don't make sense to set up against. And my, right. my damage range was just slightly too low to one-shot the Alakazam, which is really annoying. Yeah. I think that it would probably be good to level up a little bit more before that fight. And I did consider using a bunch oh, of Oh, I didn't candies. sleep Charizard. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, how, how many resets do you have? Seven? Okay. 
seven, eight now. I'm definitely leaning towards agreeing with you on uh, getting some levels. I'm tempted to leave. I need to go buy some escape ropes. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm tempted to lead, leave and go fight Erica mm -hmm. and see if I can get just that little bit of extra experience. Oh, you haven't done Erica. I've not. No. Interesting. Yeah, I did Erica fairly early on and I fought a bunch of trainers in her gym just to get more experience, which is probably why I was a higher level for a little while. Yeah, I'm going to try and just lucking my way through this one. Forget the setup. Let's just go for sleep and hope. Yes. Hey, look, it worked the first time. <laughs> nice. Yes, pretty much every Pokemon would be better if they learned Swords Dance right away. Oh, my gosh. I What yeah, I was a... really trying to say is like Swords Dance in the place of, uh, in the place growth. of growth. Right, yeah. Because it feels like the physical setup is, is going to be better. Mm -hmm. Just because grass um, is not great coverage. No, this is part of the reason why I um, dislike the grass typing so far, be, uh, so much because offensively, particularly in Kanto, which is my game of choice, like it's yeah. just, it's so lackluster. Yeah. At least it feels that way to me. It, yeah, it definitely is. I, I wanted to mention one thing just about the games that we were talking about and like what, what, what is next. Yes. I have kind of come to the point where, like, I'm not necessarily sure what is next, uh, which okay. is which is exciting to some extent. There's a mm -hmm. there's a very obvious choice, and then there's like the potential to. I, I think like the the secondary thing that I'm I'm thinking of now is like, do I need to add another game because I've added so much, right. and there is so much happening on my channel that it's kind of getting overwhelming managing the number of games that I am currently. Like mm -hmm. if I was playing oh. two games, the amount of time Perfect. that I would spend coding stuff and like setting stuff up would be so much less. Whereas right now it's like, if I implement a feature in gen two, then I have to now like propagate that feature to all the other games and then test it in all the other games. And I lose a ton of time by doing that. Right. Uh, sorry. I just uh, said trick yeah. there to see, pull your eyes over to my screen. Are you aware <laughs> of a, uh... The uh, sticking your Pokemon in a box to heal it trick? Uh, you can do that uh, with the Giovanni PC? Yes, in the uh, president's okay. room, yeah. Yeah. So it's a nice little easy full heal. That's smart. I overlay if, uh, would if not you need like it. That. I need if to. You need it. <laughs> I need to make an a <laughs> edge case for that then. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not take on Sabrina while you were there? No, I didn't fight her. I forgot her. Oh, honestly. gotcha. Um, She's a lot yeah, scarier gonna... in yellow. Her speed is higher on the Alakazam, but it's lower mm. in this game. Right, because it's 50, 50 in yellow? in yellow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... No. Definitely faster. Uh, this gym you can dig out of, but I still don't have escape ropes, so... Let's just do this puzzle in reverse. Okay, before I forget... You Erica, can dig out of that gym. Beat Erica. Out of Sabrina's, yes. No way. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I, be I believe it's only Sabrina's gym, and my theory is the fact that she has the warp pads in her gym is the reason why you're able to oh, dig out. Oh, interesting. There's like a flag or something that's for the that's warp pads. That's my theory. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> I can see that. I forgot to get escape ropes, so I have to go out manually from the <laughs> mansion. Somebody's asking, uh, we may not see Scott playing Gen 7 and have to sit through 10 hours of cutscenes. Um, <laughs> I don't know about Scott, but for my part, you will not be seeing me play Gen 7 and sit through cutscenes. I cannot sit still that long. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see for me. Maybe yes. I'll do a video where I narrate every cutscene. I'll just read all the dialogue. It'll be like a yep. four-hour video. That That's some true ASMR right there. Yes. Yeah. I, I read the script of Pokemon Sun and Moon. <laughs> I'd watch it. It would take me like a month, but I'd watch it. You remember when Mr. Beast, this is like the only video I've ever seen of his, and I watched like two minutes of it, obviously, because you don't watch the whole video ever, but like the one where he counts <laughs> like 100,000 or something, he just sits there for like 24 hours and counts to 100,000. counts? Oh my Yeah, gosh. I feel like that's the video, but with Gen 7. Like, <laughs> I, you read the script of Gen 7, and it's just you're there for 24 hours. Yeah, that's so funny. I'd, I'd Yeah, I'd, I'd watch it. Yeah. I wonder no, what you gotta do is um 
you have to do one of those, uh, you have to go through one of those files that I was seeing last night, where it has, like, you know, of the 151 Pokemon, it's showing, like, all 18,000 instances that they appear within the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just have to, like, narrate that entire list. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I'm thinking of all of the ridiculous <laughs> content. <laughs> just make the content that's going to, like, tank your view count, but it's just going to be so fun. <laughs> yeah. It's like I sat in a room and didn't let myself out until I finished reading you all of the source code, <laughs> the disassembly for Pokemon <laughs> Fire Red. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine? Yeah, like, it would take a long time. There's a lot of files. Oh uh, I'm terrified of Blaine. Um, I would be. This is like I um, want to use rare candies, but I really don't. Like I don't really remember if. I'm gonna Blaine, later on. I'm starting to remember what I did, and it's a little cheeky. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what you come up with, but uh, I, I think I might be leaning into it almost immediately mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's a. Uh, I remember being stuck on Blaine for way too long. Sleep powder growth can work. It can, but you need a significant amount of luck to get sleep yeah. powder growth to fully work for you in Blaine's battle. Oh, and the Growlithe likes Roar, too. Okay, so this is yes. not great. Yeah. No, it is. Um, this is definitely one. This is actually the video where I discovered... Hello, Magneton? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um... Oh, my God. <laughs> gosh, where did this send me back to? Ooh. Oh, I know better. All the way back to Erica. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, if you can disable the cutscenes in Gen 7, I think it would be honestly a really good Pokemon game. Please. Okay. Woo! Gosh. Did it. Did you get did you get through them? I got through them. Oh, very nice. Nope, That's never mind. You're not using the strategy I used. No, I didn't. I... <laughs> or will use. Oh wait, I'm gonna go with him to the islands. You you go there the first time, right? I asked this question yes. last time as well. Yeah, I find it uh it cuts back on backtrack or cuts down on backtrack yeah. just because it's like part of the game right then and there. Plus you uh get that little bit of experience going towards round one. Yep. Yeah, because there are mandatory battles here if you're doing yes. League Two. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that Magneton. <laughs> I just <sighs> huh. Magneton, yeah, the steel types are it's also hard to fight them with the current moveset. Grass types in general, the move pools are just so limited. Mm -hmm. That's well, on this again, like it, it, it just, it just speaks to like I know better. I, I do know better, but I'm just not. I don't I'm know. Too focused on the conversation. <laughs> what, what, yeah, what do you do with uh, steel types, like with a grass type like this? Like, I don't know if there's like a good answer. Hidden oh. power fire. Yeah. Sunny day solar beam. Like you could run that. Uh, I did grab Sunny Day, and I will be grabbing Solar Beam if I ever manage to get this rare candy. Also, That's, fighting uh, poison types is not very fun. No, fighting a lot of types is not very fun as a grass type, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Save. Yes, thank you, Lucy. <laughs> um, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to set up this time, because... Crits now do take your stat modifications into account. So, like, if you set up with growth and then you attack, you will do much more damage than if you just set up and attack without growth. Uh, but not the enemy stat buffs. That's just correct. your own, just your positive ones. Yeah. So, if the enemy has like stat buffs, then you will bypass those <clears throat> successfully. Oh, I'll get that. Okay. Let's just heal my broken Venusaur again. Uh, I keep hitting all these optional trainers. It's fine. I need the experience. Have you been getting absolutely abysmal razor leaf luck this run, or is that just me? Uh, uh, I think it's just you. My sleep powder luck has not been good. Okay. This is the kind of run where it's like, if you take the approach of just fight the next uh, trainer as soon as possible and just hope for sleep powder luck, you can technically get through the game extremely fast, but the number mm -hmm. of attempts that it would take to do that would be really, really high. And I have yeah. not been getting anywhere near the luck that would be needed to for an oh optimal time. 
I need dig so badly. My routing falls apart when I don't have dig. How do I get out of this place when I don't have dig? What is going on? You have, oh my to, goodness. You have to open up the like the first lock, uh, the first pedestal that you talk to. Oh, right. On I the bottom base back floor, you have to uh, turn it off. Ways to tell that Very I have annoying. run this game with dig every single time. <laughs> Oh yeah, my gosh. Zergling, you mentioned Hidden Power Rock. Yeah, Hidden Power Rock is really good for grass types. That's what I ended up using in my optimized run was HP Rock. Yep. Yep. I've been finding that in uh, Gen 2. Hidden Power Rock seems really good for grass types. Uh, Gen 1 in general, HP Rock uh, is uh, one of the favorites for sure just because it covers offensively so well in the league. Yeah, I guess it covers Lorelei, and then it covers some of Agatha's Lance. Pokemon. You can at least hit Ghosts with it. Yeah, you can hit Ghosts, you can hit Lance. Um, shoot, is this what I want to do right now? The Rival's Pidgeot. It can help against the Charizard on the final team. Like, should help, I just help. go for luck like you did, or should I go for the reliable one? <laughs> I do rely. I think reliable. Like, yeah. the more and more I'm playing the strategy, the more I'm just like, this is not good. <laughs> Why yeah. am I doing this? So my uh, my holdup is the fact that I just replaced Razor Leaf with Giga Drain, so okay. my PP is in the toilet. But uh, setting up against Blaine, I actually found out that uh, you can generally out heal with Giga Drain as long as you get enough setup in. Uh, you can out heal enough with Giga Drain that it doesn't matter if he wakes up and tags you a couple of times. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So I'm just getting as much as I can against Growlithe and then Giga Drain. Bye. Uh, so that's the sentence I wish I had come up with. Which? <laughs> what was it? It was like, I replaced uh, Razor Leaf with Giga Drain, so now my pee -pee's in the toilet. That's yeah. A, <laughs> that was a good, <laughs> it's a good line. Can't help myself. Oh gosh, I'm... In trouble, actually, I might be. Come on, Arcanine. That's oh, looking Arcanine. good. Oh, the roar! I didn't deposit my party. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, something I'm noticing that... for this run. It actually feels like tactically depositing your party is makes more sense yeah. than trying to do anything else. Yeah, I guess the, the benefit would be that uh, I did just... Uh, lose all of those intimidate stacks so i could just come out and finish with intimidate yeah. or with return sorry but uh yeah still uh yeah the legendary birds and reggies they're they're all planned i i want to run them all but you know the reggies. time oh the reggies yeah have you uh done a lot of investigating into the reggies i'm not going to talk about the reggies right now that's fair i i just put them up put it out there yes Yes, these okay. are hilarious. Yeah, there was a, a also, bunch of discussion as to how to start that one because it's yeah. like, what do you do with explosion, right? But yeah, yeah. if you don't want to talk about it, then as a as a kid, move on. I have to say, as a kid, uh, I looked at them and I was like, those are some ugly legendaries. <laughs> I just remember thinking to myself, like, these are not good looking Pokemon. Yeah, they're so weird, and like, I really didn't like them. And then I remember catching them and putting them on my team because I'm like, I should try to like these Pokemon. Like, yeah. I should just try to see what they're useful for. And the more I used them, the more I was just like, no, these Pokemon are trash. I don't like these Pokemon <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh... uh, this one again, I'm saving in front of all these bikers because uh, they've gotten the best of me, and I have very little offensive option. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Also, thank you, chat, for reminding me to oh. heal. I did not have any PP. I hate this Pidgeot. <laughs> this Pidgeot. I know. <laughs> Stop. It doesn't it's have whirlwind so in this brutal. fight. Well, that's good to know. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, but you get to deal with Feather Dance. This is where, like... So I'm looking at that, and I, I don't... I didn't realize that the Pidgeot does not know Sand Attack in this battle. So does he go to, like, the move reminder to reteach Sand Attack oh, in between leagues? Wow, like, yeah, what, what's must. going on here? That must be the cannon. Must be. It must be. <laughs> Doing that. It's always nice when you have someone to help with your PP. Absolutely, uh... My my PP does need constant attention in this run, especially now that we've switched to Giga Drain. Okay, here's a question that applies to both of us, and it's from the <laughs> chat. So, okay, um, 
the Pidgeot needs to go to sleep first, and then <clears> I will ask the question. <throat> now that it's asleep, I can set up and win. <laughs> Maybe not actually. And nice it's help. awake, yes. <laughs> okay, so why not? Why did you choose to play Fire Red and not Leaf Green? Um, I want to say that the choice was actually just kind of made for me when my sister bought Leaf Green when we were kids, and I bought okay. Fire Red. So it's just always been my All game. Right. Like, uh, yeah, not like there's nothing surrounding version exclusives. I I guess I like Charizard more than Venusaur. Hmm. And for the channel, you just came back to the game that you had always played. Yes, yeah, I wanted to Interesting. have a game that I could at least talk about halfway competently to begin with. <laughs> yeah, that that was a smart smart call, I would say. Yeah. Uh, how about yourself? Like, gonna, like you started in yellow and just kind of uploading, but uh, clearly, yeah. like... It, it I was guess... similar. It was very similar. Yeah. Like, yellow was the game I had played as a kid, so I was just like, well, I'll play the game that I played first when I was a kid. And the additional factor was... Um, my driver and J-Rose were the two people I was watching at the time. And so yep. I was just like, I don't want to play the games that they're playing because they're they're playing mostly red and blue. Right. Uh, mostly red. And so I was just like, well, blue is not that much different, but yellow is significantly different. And I knew that back then. So then I was like, well, I'll just play yellow because it's different. Right. And then uh, at least like uh, my videos aren't going to be just like complete repeats. They'll add a little bit to like the discussion in the community, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. What uh, what led you to the decision of making your first versus style video? Uh, uh there was one viewer, and uh, you can probably go back and find this comment. It'll be like three or four years old now. But someone was saying, "Hey, please play Starmie," and they said this on a lot of my uh, older videos. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "It doesn't seem interesting for me to play Starmie." Like, the, like I looked at the move set, and I was just like, "That seems like one of the best Pokemon." Like this is not going to be an interesting video in any way. So right. if I'm going to make the video and make a Starmie video, like I feel like I need to bring something else to the table other than just like, yeah, I beat the game with Starmie. It was very easy. That's it. Um, right. yeah. It's like a five minute video or something. I, I didn't want to do that. So then I <clears throat> was like, well, it evolves. Um, it evolves with the water stone. Yeah. So it's like, it evolves with the water stone. So what if I just took another water stone Pokemon and I just put them together and then saw which one beat the game fastest. Like mm -hmm. maybe that would make the format just a little bit more interesting. So mm -hmm. that, that's what led to it. I would say that it definitely did. Um, like the versus videos that I've done on my channel have definitely been um, the most successful videos that I've that I've made. Like bar none, by far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did it again. I'm trying so hard not to laugh, and because I did that so much. It, it, I, it, my, I, I mentioned it to my girlfriend and she actually hadn't even noticed it for the entire stream. It's, it, she only noticed it when I pointed it out. So that mm, might just be me being overly critical of myself, but that's easy. Dang it. I want to be the best I can be. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, like overly being overly critical is, I find only a problem if it is like, uh, getting you like emotionally, like, like you, you take like emotional damage from it. If that's the case. Right. Then being critical is is not helpful, but if you're not like taking emotional damage from being critical, then I, on average, I would say it's it's an, actually an advent an advantage because yes, you, you analyze what you're doing. And I've thought about this a lot. Uh, like the fact that I was in music for so long, you get really good at taking criticism because mm -hmm. you like learn a new piece. What do you do? You go, you take it to your teacher, and then that person tears you apart because it's still not good enough and there are still things that you can learn. And yeah. then every week you go in and you just constantly get humbled. And then when you think you're really good, you show up at orchestra and it's like, oh, there's actually a hundred other people in my city that are all better than me at doing this. <laughs> and yeah. I am actually not good and I need to work harder. And it just like, you learn that, uh, you don't learn the no. same lessons. I think that I learned as a kid from online gaming. Online gaming taught me other things. Like I'm amazing. People just get frustrated when they can't win. That's how you deal <laughs> with your frustration. Um, right. Which I don't think is as productive. No. <laughs> the emotional damage is like recoil, but to self-esteem, exactly. <laughs> I am a struggling with a rival six battle right now. Yeah, I struggled. I used all my rare candies. <laughs> oh no, I froze and then I got defrosted right away. Okay, 
Not bad. I'm tempted to. Gosh, like he just. Uh, I might pay for it later, but. Two shots. This kind of that situation that we found ourselves in in the last. Uh, oh. The last stream, though, where it's like, I'm definitely being more conservative, but like. Yeah. You're ending up with the faster plate or uh, completion times, I guess. Currently. Currently, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's. I'm hesitant to say that I Attack. feel like I'm in a better yeah, position. Just... Um, I am not going to use my rare candies. So one of my favorite grinding spots is uh, right down the sea here. Oh, yeah. The um, sea is amazing. It's amazing. There's so many good trainers guy. here. <laughs> yeah, don't um, fight the Magikarp guy. The Magikarp guy is yeah, awful. Not, not, not that guy, but... The rest of them, yeah. Especially when you're running a physical attacker or a Pokemon that you intend to make a physical attacker. Like, this guy alone is worth, like, seven attack EVs. <laughs> the Goldeen guy? The Goldeen guy is, yeah. like, the best trainer to fight in the entire game in both yeah. Generation 1 and Generation 3. Right, yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's so go. good. Let's just put these ghosts to sleep. Oh, my gosh. This Gengar loves double team, doesn't it? Uh, Yes. It's either going to double team and ruin your day or it's going to put you to sleep and then double team and ruin your day. <laughs> uh, Philip Farrell with 50 euros. Scott's been showing up, uh, showing you up in these run egg. What's going on? I don't know. I just I'm I'm I need to get better, obviously. <laughs> uh, thank you. Very generous, Philip. Thank you very much. I hope you gave Maria every bit of spoiling that she deserved during her birthday week. I will say Austin was in chat earlier. Uh, Austin reported a VNSR playthrough the other day because I, I mentioned to him that we were doing this. I was curious mm -hmm. to see what strategies he'd come up with. Um, he ended up with 91 resets and still a decent time. I have no oh idea gosh. how this happened. I'm very curious. <laughs> like I had, I, when I looked at the screenshot, I had so many questions. Yeah. Ooh, synthesis. Oh gosh, what strategy do I go with here? This is, oh gosh. Okay, well, I'm so torn. I'm doing it. Oh wait, oh wait. I meant to not do it. Wait, I meant to do it, but I ended up not doing. Oh well. Oh, that's true. There's a, Fine. there's a, uh, there's like the Chad, um, uh, Goldeen trainer, and then there's like right beside him the awful Magikarp trainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the best trainer in the game next to the worst trainer in the game. Yeah. I never thought about it like that. That's amazing. <laughs> the yin and yang. Right yeah, next truly. to each other. Austin right. is quietly Austin is quietly doing a Venusaur playthrough right now too. Oh. Slowly oh. judging every decision yeah. that we make. <laughs> oh, we gotta stream with Austin sometime. He's also got his voice is deeper than both of ours. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like all bass. <laughs> Come on, Alex. You think I make good Don't ASMR. do me like this. No. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm intense and scared. It's and... okay. I'm also scared. No, don't do that. That's not the play. Okay. Just sleep. There's yes, two Charizard. Sleeps, two sleeps. <laughs> you can do it. Did you do it? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not out of the woods yet. Um. Come on. Sun miss. Yeah, we're we're good. We should be good here. Gyarados. Yeah, you got nothing. Whew. All right, I still have my rare candies, so let's hope that uh, Lance absolutely totals you. I mean, uh, he is. Don't worry. In it's a, like in a friendly. I get one sense. growth, and then the Gyarados just wakes up every time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what am I doing? The grinding helped. I yeah, definitely. Uh, the grinding and Charizard staying asleep for a whole two turns was uh, pretty much what I needed. <laughs> yeah. And no it crits from Pidgeot. Seems and... like Lance, you need to get fully set up and then... Or, or maybe I should just be returning the Dragonite. Oops. But I, I think I need to put the Dragonite to sleep. Yeah, this is one where I'm kind of... I can't recall how I solved the round one leagues. All I remember is that I went all oh. in in round one and then Sword Stance cured round two. But... Oh, that's my last repel because I spent more earlier. I think uh, round two is going to be repels. easier. It is significantly. Yeah. 
Um, you are aware that uh, Sludge Bomb is in the post game. I am, yeah. And where it is? Yeah, it's like uh, okay. I I played Beedrill. That was the first post game I did. So like the first okay, thing yeah. I was like Sludge Bomb and Swords Dance. <laughs> where, where are they? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there goes my repel. Mimic strats incoming. That's right. I did solve Agatha with Mimic initially. Oh, mm. this is brutal. So, like, it, it's really interesting because in Generation 1, it feels like Venusaur is by far the most consistent of the starters. Right. Like, it, it just kind of feels like like nothing. Like, the, the, the level of consistency that you have with this thing is just... Uh, unparalleled when you look at Blastoise and you look at uh, Charizard. Like Blastoise right. feels kind of like slower. It's it, it just feels like awkward in the middle. It's not really inconsistent, but it's just sort of slow. Venusaur feels like it can just go minimum battles, like sleep powder everything, just win. Mm -hmm. uh, in this game, it feels that has completely reversed. Like I, it really does feel here like Venusaur is the least consistent of the three. Right. Oh, that was a nice crit. Like, I, I think the redesign to sleep in Generation 2 is obviously needed for the games. Uh, mm -hmm. It's so surprising how much worse sleep is in this game. Yeah, well, because in Gen 1, you can sleep, like, what, five to seven turns seven, or something? Seven, yeah. And, oh and even, gosh. even, like, if you're faster, the turn they wake up, they don't attack. So you can put someone to sleep and then, and then set up at least once. And then put them back to sleep and then set up again. And like you're not taking mm -hmm. any damage this whole time. And that's the key. Uh, is because you can... Why? You get Whirlwind back in the league? <laughs> yes, he does. Weird. I, I, buy one I of hate those that. <laughs> yeah, I... No. That is not fun. No. You're gonna force me to set up somewhere else. Fine. Alakazam, you got Psychic now. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, Psychic is no bueno. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hit <laughs> Hello, little girl. Probably Would you like a razor leaf? Is better there. I'm doing this big gamble Ooh. thing that I do again. So, uh, yeah. wish me luck. Good luck. I <laughs> maybe it'll work. I don't know. I feel like everything I've done has been a gamble so far. Mm hmm. How do you beat Agatha with a mimic? Wait, are you using? I no, think it's sleep powder. I get mimic? rid of. I don't think yep. you use mimic in this. Do you use mimic in this? I do. Oh, or at least I did. Let's see if I can do it a second time. <laughs> That's really interesting. Um, you get Gengar to use Shadow Punch. Okay, and, then, and you steal Shadow Punch. Yeah. Makes sense. Because it's significantly sure. better. And uh, I think Mimic also gives you a couple of options okay. earlier in the league. I can't remember. Oh, gosh. This is either going to work or it's not. So yeah. let's go. I'll try Razor Leafing the Alakazam. I know it has higher special defense, but yeah, I do more. It's just the Charizard. I, the Charizard really does feel like uh, you just have to put it to sleep. If it doesn't go to sleep, you just lose. Right. In in yeah. all the fights. It hasn't yeah. once felt like uh, that Pokemon has been simple to defeat. Mm -hmm. Sleep or be slapped against the Executor. I don't think this. Oh, that did decent damage. Bring back uh, Gen 1 Freeze? No. <laughs> defrost. The ability to defrost is nice. Uh, it's only 10% too, so you can stay oh, no. frozen for a really long time. Yeah, at least in uh, at least in Gen 3, you can thaw. Oh, I messed this up against uh, Lorelei. Yep. Oh, no. It's because I went for Mimic against Jinx because I was trying to get clever instead of just beating her like I should have. I got put to sleep by Lovely Kiss. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, I, it was a moment where I was just like, oh no, is, is she actually going to get me? I thought return would yeah. do enough damage, but it didn't do as much as I was expecting. Oh come on! <laughs> I have to get Dugong crits, gets a freeze, and the hail damage finishes from full health. Oh, I have to tell him something. What is going on, Dugong? Two criticals in a row. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, so I've, I've finished the league. I'm yes. off towards the islands. I'm getting wrecked by Lorelei because I don't have sleep tactics. 
The luck is yeah. the luck is not here in this run, and I'm like. Okay, you ran return. Yeah. Interesting. It's really interesting because you talked about substitute, but did you run substitute for a bit in the mid game and then delete it? I have not taught substitute yet. No. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, so you're gonna say uh, for that's, later? That's definitely something that like yeah, sword stance and sub will pretty much win round two. Oh, um, cur interesting. Very interesting. Why am I doing this? Why am I suffering like this? I know this round. Two is won by Sword Stance and Substitute. I have 12 rare candies. Let's use, like, 11 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There we go. Yeah, because this should put us in, like... Solar Beam, no thank you. This should put us in, like, the early to mid-70s by round two. I try not to Which get seduced by Solar Beam. Every time I see Sunny Day on my set, and, like, pretty much every Pokemon has Sunny Day and Rain Dance... They started giving those to, like, all of the Pokemon. Everybody, and Starting yeah. in Generation 3. A little bit in Generation 2. It doesn't seem like as much there, though. Mm -hmm. uh, every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I should, like, combo, like, Hidden Power Fire with, like, Solar Beam <laughs> and Sunny Day and Synthesis. This yeah. is going to be an amazing set. And then, like, you try that, and it's terrible. Like, yeah. don't do it, that. It has worked for me once, and you'll never guess with who. Uh, well, I did Rain Dance Raticate, so, like, who's okay, your ridiculous okay. Pokemon? It was Meganium, actually. The, ah. the Solar Beam, Synthesis, um... Okay, I can see that. Sunny Day, yeah. Um, but I tried it, I think, on Venusaur, and Venusaur just, like, could not pull it off the same way that Meganium could, for whatever reason. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Is Scott glitching for anyone else? I don't... Oh, shoot. Uh, not Rock Tomb. That's not what I want. Uh... I hope I'm not oh, glitching. Oh, okay, well... Oh, he is for you too. Okay. Um, maybe that's something I'm doing. I messed Didn't up me? this Bruno fight. I didn't have to go to this island. I just went over here because it looks nice. Oh, and I've skipped so many PowerPoint restoring items. I might have hamstrung myself. Uh, his sound is going. It's fixed now. Okay. okay. Well, I didn't change anything. It um, might be. We could. Did you do the audio capture with the like application source or whatever? Yes. Maybe that's the thing that occasionally messes up. Has uh, Egg been sounding good on, on my side of the stream? Help me chat. Bad signal. Oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. Okay. What am I doing? I'm just like using all of my Giga Drains irresponsibly against um, Bruno here. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, um, what would be the alternative? Like, would it just be like a window capture? Uh, no? I modified my internal windows mixer settings so that like why is this happening i uh in modified my internal windows uh mixer settings so that i like lowered oh, the return. volume of not growth what am i doing music. stop it okay and then i just like captured desktop audio okay that was my solution um yeah oh they say the audio is excellent oh there you go well okay that's good that i sound good on your side um how's scott coming through on my side is he still a little bit wonky or no was it just kind of a temporary woo boo boo yeah i got cursed that's probably bad. temporary <clears throat> that's how it was for me last time okay He's fine now? Okay, okay. As, lo as long as things are coming through clearly, I was like, we could restart the Discord call, but, like, he's coming through fine for me. Yeah. I gotta I gotta get better at, like, audio management on my computer so that I can, like, separate things into separate channels, that, that sort of thing. I, I think mm -hmm. that's gonna be important to, like, take my stream to the next level. Which is yeah. something I'm always thinking about, like, how do I... How do I get the quality of the stream to be as high as possible? Because I've put a lot of thought into how to make the videos as high qual quality as possible. Right. Oh, this guy see what he has. Um, oh, no. Shoot, man. Um, yeah, no, that's definitely something that I... Well, I, for, the, for, well for the last year, um, my entire, like thought process has been get better at something every week whether that's yeah. voiceover work be that um streaming be that actually running the game like just try to be better at something every week yep <clears throat> i read a book every video it's called uh what's it called 
uh not outliers that's malcolm gladwell but i did read that book but i mm. read a different book it was talking about this uh breath is it no maybe broad something oh, i forgot what it's called anyways okay. it's uh, the thesis central thesis of the book is that like some people achieve excellence through being like really good at one specific thing and nothing else they, mm -hmm. they don't do any other things so they just like focus on one thing they make themselves really good at that and that's all they need but the, right there's sort of another way which is get kind of okay at like a whole bunch of things mm -hmm. the jack and of then, all trades kind yeah, of. yeah yeah and then you yeah. like understand how to like combine all of those activities in new and novel ways mm -hmm. uh, it's like you become what's it there's shapes for this like you become a is it t-shaped person or something instead of like an i-shaped person where like you're like oh, really okay. focused on one thing yeah but like uh, one of the things that it argued in, in that book was just this idea that like small incremental progress all the time is is really important mm -hmm. it, i would it, agree it with that adds up like it's like you get huge benefits from yeah small incremental progress mm -hmm. well and it's cumulative over time as well right oh by the way um yeah. lance one shot no problem mimic one. Oh, nice um, what do you steal so i I set up against the Gyarados using growth. Uh, I am mm -hmm. running Giga Drain instead of Razor Leaf. Uh, oh, okay. And the second he went for bite, I pivoted, got mimicked bite and kept going with my setup uh, hmm. so that my growth was impacting my bikes. And then I just tossed in the Giga Drain when I needed healing. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, well, fairly awesome. effective, but now I'm against rival or the champion and I can't remember what I should do. <laughs> Because yeah. I don't have sleep powder anymore. Uh, oh, yeah, no. that's scary. Uh, Mo, that, that's a question I want to ask. Also, uh, Drake, and thank you for the 199. I appreciate it. Question. What do you do in regards to move reminder? Because I know you can f give him, like, tiny mushrooms or whatever they are. Yes. Do you use him at all in the playthrough? Rarely. Oh, gosh. Okay. Rival. Or champion is not going to go well. Um, I do use him occasionally, but... Uh, not super often. Sorry, I, I have to like it's think okay, again focus, here. focus. Um, we can talk about the move reminder after. I just know he takes tiny mushrooms and I have no idea where any of the tiny mushrooms are. So every time yeah. I think about using him, I'm like, mm, maybe not. I think I'll just skip that for now. I'll deal the, with uh, him later. The easiest way to get ti tiny mushrooms is from uh, Paris in Mount Moon. Oh. If you have Thief, you can steal them from them directly. Uh, just make sure you're not holding anything on the Pokemon that's using Thief. Otherwise, you'll just do nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, the mushrooms. other way is to just toss Ultra Balls and catch a bunch of the Paris and hope that you get uh, hope that you get enough tiny mushrooms through that process. They're fairly common. Like they're they're not rare. I would say. Uh, there are hidden, hidden, yep. hidden mushrooms as well throughout the mushroom or throughout the region. Yes. Are there? Okay. I just don't know where they are. Mm hmm. He also takes uh, big I mushrooms. I do not okay. either. I don't. I have uh, no idea where honest. they are. Yeah. Crit fire blast. God, I don't remember. I have no plan for this Charizard because, like, if I, I tried. Oh, I guess you don't have sleep. That's right. I don't have sleep anymore. Yeah. So if yeah. I tried, um. If I try mimicking from either Pidgeot, Pidgeot doesn't really give me anything. My only, like, my best damage would be to mimic from Alakazam, who two-shots me, so I cannot mimic from him effectively, or reliably. Yeah. I think Sleep Powder was the wrong choice. I think I should have gotten rid of Growth instead of Sleep Powder. So, when I sat down to look at the moveset for this one, I mm -hmm. I realized, like, I'm trying to examine always what I think my own flaws as a player are. Yes. So, one flaw that I notice is there's a lot of moves that don't deal direct damage that I think are really cool. And I tend to over-centralize my play around them. Like, oh, yeah. like let's get like Sunny Day, because that's really fun, like using this tactic. Yeah. Uh, that tends to not be the best approach to things. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. Like, I, I can't... So... This Charizard without HP Rock, and it's HP Rock that I was running last time, and I... Mm, what the oh, hell right. do that's you right. do you... against Charizard yeah. now? Like... Sorry, uh, continue. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just I, like I'm. St I'm stuck again, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I immediately realized that I might get stuck in the place with uh, sleep powder, synthesis, and substitute on my set all yeah. at once, and yeah. I really did not want to get stuck 
with with that set. So I yeah. I was like I have to choose like kind of one of these moves that's going to be my like fix it move for the playthrough. Yeah. And I figured since I get setup moves that I need a way to set up. So either substitute or sleep powder. And then I was like, oh, yeah. well, I like sleep tactics, so I'll just go with that. Yeah. Ah, uh, sunny day, such a big risk. Yeah, and like I, I can't reliably set up against Pidgeot because of sand attack. I can't reliably set up against Alakazam because he two shots me. Yeah, like with Sunny Day up, she's just, like, Pidgeot is just that's the fourth sand attack in a row. Like, what do you do against that? <laughs> yeah. Um. My brain yeah, is like stopping I, now. I'm terrified. I'm getting scared. I'm going to the second league now. Yeah, and I'm sitting here in the first league, looking at the rival or at the champion, going like, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Uh, well, I, I think like my feeling. I could, oh, okay, Pedro, I'll try that. Sorry. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Dugong loves to set up double team. This thing really in round likes, two, yes. Really likes yeah. his double teams. Aerial Ace. Oh, it's no. gonna get me. I'll just Giga Drain. Yeah, me compound eyes. Giga Drain. Come on, sand attack me. Come on, now that I want the sand attack, of course it's not giving me a sand attack. I'm I'm being suggested to uh, mimic sand attack and just blast Charizard with a bunch of sand attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could do that. I mean, unless Pidgeot doesn't go for sand attack once during the like ten turn exchange I had with it. Oh. So funny, eh? When you when you want sand attack, you can't get it, but when you no, don't want course. sand attack, it's like here it is every turn. Yeah, yeah. Feather dance. That sucks. it always feels like that. I I want to talk about that in depth sometime in one of my videos. This like. Like the player's perception of things is really. Yeah. Oh. Stupid. <gasps> what? No, because that doesn't help me against Charizard. Sorry, I'm I'm like thinking. It's okay, you gotta you gotta yeah. think. I gotta think too. I'm messing up. I <laughs> skipped four stars and then went into the league. Oh no, I have no PP reco recovering items, but I'm fine this time. So as long as I grab them before round two, I should be fine. But like that is assuming I get through round one here, which is not going well. Right, round two, it uh, seems like we need all the sword stance. Okay, mimic that. Now, if we can just get rid of bird brains without too much strife. Bird brains. Of course he full restores. That's what I call him. That's like... Any crits. They made... The Pidgeot sprite in this game is amazing. This is a I great really like Pidgeot it. sprite. Yeah. Uh, the, the, and, Pidge um, the Pidgeotto sprite in Gen 1, in, especially in Red and Blue, is, is not good. <laughs> the, like, big, chunky, like, yeah. dirt bird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Aerial Ace. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, if Pidgeot doesn't decide to go to Sand Attack, I can't mimic it. And here we are against Alakazam, who's probably going to... Okay, 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 so... Please, 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 please go for the full restore. Yes. Okay, I nice. got psychic. I got psychic. That's that's something. We're seeing some might character be able to development on my side of things. I decided to unlearn rest. Isn't Not no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, now I just got to get through the rest. There's still a you whole fight to go through. Oh. Executor, what do you have? You do not have psychic in this round. You can annoy me with egg bomb. I'm gonna growth. There's my chesto. Nice. Get some health back. In one shot. Shoot. Okay. Now, let's go for so this Sorry, I'm getting very excited about it's like okay. potentially defeating this stupid I know. rival <laughs> battle. You can do it. Oh, I got it. Come you got on. It? Plus, nice. plus whatever I'm at against. Oh, yeah. There we go. The psychic finishes. Woo! That was rough. Well done. Okay. How's round two going? Uh, I'm on Agatha, but I have to attack her with Sludge Bomb. So. That sword stance doesn't care. I know. That, I, that's what I was like. I'm banking <laughs> on the fact that I can just like set up with swords dance and sleep powder, and then and yeah. then do decent damage with sludge bomb. But yeah, it's still effective. Power thirty three is not great. No. <laughs> oh yeah, because four time resist against four time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, does this have levitate? It does. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't try an earth. All of her yeah, Pokemon every... are so frustrating. <laughs> I have no... Oh, gosh. Um, maybe it actually does stuff? Yes, it does. Um, yeah, her her team, like, even her mischievous has um, yeah. has levitate, and it just drives me out up the bend, like, oh, it's my like, gosh. It's like, Arbok is the only thing you can hit with Earthquake. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like the best move for Agatha becomes uh, the worst. I know. It's so good. In Generation 1, it's so yeah. good. Well, that's why I wanted to to bring it in because like it's just it's such a cool move, right? Yeah. But, like, yeah. I didn't. The fact that you like uh, worked mimic in, it's really awesome. It's uh, it's what I did in my optimized strategy. I think maybe it was in my first playthrough. I can't remember, but I definitely used okay. mimic with Venusaur, and it was a really cool thing because it was just one of those like eureka moments where it's like, mm. gosh, Agatha sucks. Ooh, I can get Shadow Punch from her lead, which ignores accuracy, so her double team means nothing. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Lance's yeah. Gyarados has Earthquake and it crit me and one shot. Yep. Yep. Yeah. If you give him a chance to set up a few DDs, he uh he's not very friendly. No. And here I am grabbing the leftovers, realizing I'm grabbing it too late oh. again because Terrified. it's just a habit. Ah. Okay. Sword stance, sword stance. Oh, you're not going for substitute against him. I'm not, no. Do you have substitute? No. Oh. Uh oh. I just avoided it. I got the national decks, right? No I actually way. did that this time. Oh, yeah, don't forget that. Uh, All right, <laughs> so I need one more sword stance. Where are my max repels? Grab the ethers and elixirs. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, this guy. He gets me every time. Ethers and elixirs. Where am I best uh, suited going for ethers and elixirs? Yeah, that was like something that I wanted to... Like, I'm noticing I'm very close to being out of them by this point in the run. Yeah. Also, I should definitely be using a cherry berry here, but I don't think I have any more. I have a lum berry. Lum works. Where do you get? Do you get another cherry berry? Like, because the only one I know is on the SSN. Uh, it's the cherry berry directly outside of Mount or uh, Rock Tunnel. Excuse me. I think I pointed that one out last week. Oh yeah, I forgot about that yeah. one. Thank you for yeah. pointing that out again. I will remember this time. Yeah, that's that's one that's become a uh, a staple for me. There are yeah. other berry locations, but there there's something I need to work on as well. Uh, particularly the cherry Chesto and Lepa. Um, Lepa would be nice right now. Scott, why hold on to rare candies still? I only have one. I don't think it really matters. I'm hoping that I'm going to get one more level by the time I defeat Lance, and then so I'll get 76, but yeah, you're right. It doesn't Shoot. matter that much. I have two rare candies, not to brag or anything. Oh, yeah. I think I forgot one. Did you get Did you get the one from the like Lost Cave or whatever? No, I very rarely get that one. I actually don't even know where that one is. That one seems... Uh, there's like some complicated like up, down, left, right pattern where you have to like go through the cave jumping through holes and I don't know what they are. That's so. right. It was the um, yeah. the north, south, east, south, west, south, east, north, yeah, south yeah, yeah, instructions yeah, that we got on that. the other stream and it was just like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, I again do not have dig, so I don't know how to get out of this puzzle. <laughs> Which puzzle? Oh, this older puzzle. Yeah. What if I just backtrack? What if I just backtrack out of here? Yeah, that'll work. Silly. Um, yeah, just losing time because I have two flyers and no Rattata or Meowth or. Yeah, fine. It's fine. We're having fun. <laughs> okay, Celio. Oh. Relearn Sleep Powder or Teach Toxic? I have a completely That's different cool. plan for round two. And round two, I do actually have a plan. Yes. It involves okay, okay. coming to this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're on the champion now. Oh, yeah. There goes Tyranitar. Please stop, timer. Please. It stopped. Okay. Whew, we fixed that with the software. All right. We did it. One hour, 35 minutes, 51 seconds, 30 resets, level 77. Man. This is like... Uh, I honestly, I thought it was going to do a little bit better. I thought it was going to have less resets too. Venusaur? Yeah. I didn't expect so yeah. many resets. And I think it's just like my bias is really to generation one sleep and how good it is in those games. Right. And in this game, it's just not nearly as, as, uh, as good. Oh, wait. No, I yeah. don't want to do that. Yeah. I think that these runs on stream are definitely, uh, reinforcing the point to me that like the way that I run these games typically like when I'm recording mm -hmm. um in complete silence with zero things to like yeah. distract me from anything is definitely what's necessary for me to com post competitive times because like I just I can't 
yeah. process this much <laughs> all at once, all the time. <clears throat> it's, it's like, yeah, I find the same thing when I'm talking, especially when I'm reading chat, I just make small mistakes that I wouldn't mm -hmm. make. And those things, they all like, they all just stack up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and I still don't, I need, I should, I've mentioned, I've complained about my escape ropes how many times, or my dig how many times, and yet I still have not bought escape ropes. <laughs> don't worry, I would never, yeah, that's like, uh, <laughs> I I legitimately Wait, got stuck yeah. in Mount Silver the other day on stream because I'm just like, I don't know how to get out through the darkness. <laughs> and, yeah, right? and like, I genuinely like think I could wander around in there for like an infinite amount of time and still not get out. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, yeah. No, I um, I just bought like 21. Oh, shoot. Um, I just bought like 21 escape ropes because I don't need the money. <laughs> I've got them now. Yeah, that was also. Uh, <clears throat> do we we talked about max repels last time? You said uh, we did about max and super and, and how it's the, like uh... the max ones tend to like fit or, fit in better with your root. Yes. Yeah. As did opposed you... to uh, the other ones that are more money uh, money effective. But yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um. One thing that I wanted to mention, uh, and I think you you said last time that it's also like, did you say that it was the, like opening your bag and stuff and using them? Like you do it less time, so you save time through that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought that trying was like, to anyway. I thought that was such a smart point. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, you can bag trick those guys. I've tried the bag trip and I trick and I just I cannot get it. So I just like kind of wait for them to stop moving and it's go like for a it. <laughs> da 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 is the, the da, like da, da. yeah at okay. like that's like four times speed da da da. Uh, da, da, da. You you press B, but then you have to lift B up. So don't hold it down. It's a very like staccato B, okay. and then you lift up, and then uh and then you have to because like you don't want to press B too fast when you push down on the D pad because then you'll run and they always catch you if you run. So you have to yes. walk. Yes. Um, uh, it, so like if you, six, yeah. Six. Oh my gosh. I practiced yes. it a lot. I sat there for like a couple hours one night, just put on a TV show and just like did like da, 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 da. <laughs> Passing like one spinner over and over all the different directions. Yeah. I, I'm oh still gosh. not, I, I think I get by them maybe like 50% of the time though on four times yeah. speed. Like it, it's not consistent enough. The only game that I have put like that level of effort into, into like you know, mastering the timing and like getting like, you know, mastering a certain trick or a certain movement or something like that. Uh, the only game I've ever invested that kind of time into is uh, Super Metroid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Love that game. Tell Scott, instead of pressing B to get out of the menu, press the start button. That's smart. So then it's like start button B down instead of B B down. Mm. Yeah. I there is? Did I do a silly again? What? What did you do? <laughs> well, I have no power points. Uh, I have enough for this battle, and then I should be able to grab Sludge Bomb, and that'll take me through this area. Oh, nice. what a... Sludge Bomb and Getting... Return are a weird combo for physical moves for Venusaur, because mm -hmm. uh, also with Earthquake, it's like a, a really weird combo where it just like doesn't quite cover enough, even though you have three moves. Um, with Gen 4, every time I sit down to do a run, I try and calculate my type coverage off of 2, 3, and 4 moves, and like which type of moves should I be getting to get the maximum possible type coverage. And it always feels like with 3, you can get exceptionally good type coverage. Like only like, maybe in the worst case scenario, 10 Pokemon you can hit for not very effective damage. Oops. Uh-oh. Wait, do you have nothing? Oh my gosh. I have Sword Stance, Growth, Zero Return, and Zero Giga Drain. Yeah, oh, yeah sorry. Yeah. I just used a ether. No, wait, no, no one saw anything. <laughs> Don't draw attention. Oh my to gosh. You. Um, <laughs> what are we doing here? Uh, let's get Sludge Bomb on. And thank you for being so patient and waiting for me to catch up. No, no problem. I appreciate you being here. Like, again, like, I'm learning so much uh, because you have so much more insight into these games than, than I have. Yeah. Well, and like, I am obviously learning quite a bit too as we go through. Like, um, yeah. The, what, what did we discover last time? The, uh, the dude on the SSN to get Brick Break. It's definitely oh, yeah, better to, like, yeah. fight the dude instead of the last because it's yeah. one Pokemon instead of two. It's like, well, why haven't been fighting the last this whole time? I don't know. <laughs> start, start, be down. Start, be down. 
That's so smart. Start be down? Yeah, that's so smart. Speedrunner, that's really smart. Oh, um, for the bag trick. Yeah, the bag trick. It's mm -hmm. really smart. I thought for a while about timing it precisely with like a macro. So like, oh, yeah. make a macro where you press like like two but like hold a button, press another button, and then it activates the macro and the macro like like you hold the direction key and hold a different button at the same time and then it like it does that that sequence. It'll do like okay. like for me it would be it would have been before it would have been B uh pause for a certain number of milliseconds, execute B again, then wait for a certain number of milliseconds, then press the direction button. And that way, like, you're always going to get by. Like, press the direction button twice or whatever it is you need to walk by them so that it can okay. be consistent because mm, my, like, my approach to these runs is, like, the first run is, like, me exploring the game and just kind of playing through the game and having a good time, not worrying about it too much. And then I want to, like, tell the story of that run on my channel. And then the second run is more about evaluating things and evaluating my thought process around the Pokemon. Not so much... Mm -hmm. Um, th there's, there is definitely some like player mistakes and errors and stuff in second runs. And I try and talk about those, but I want to eliminate as much of that as possible. So I was considering that as one option to get by all the spinners other than just yeah, making them sure. always look away from you. That was the other option. <laughs> there's, there's, there's other ways to do it too. Like make them always face a fixed direction. So you know, which mm -hmm. direction you can walk by and which direction you can fight them on. Right. Okay, Substrat, oh, Substrat's so best dress. I'm I'm um, really curious to see how this goes because when I did my initial evaluation of Venusaur as a Pokemon, uh, yeah. my thought process was that like Substitute was not going to work particularly well in the league. Um, I feel like I, it I'm, is. Yeah, like I'm I'm probably very wrong. Ooh, but again, we're coming off of a year of me using leftovers. Uh, I don't need anything. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, leftovers as opposed to anything else. Um, yeah. I'm actually going to... Uh, I did it again. Steelix. Uh, um, if he's trouble, I'll put Earthquake over. Did I save? Sure. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, Earthquake is... Earthquake is how I beat Steelix. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Lorelei. It's been fun. I don't think... I Wait, don't the think... PP's restoring items. Yo, you're right. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, I should have gone oh, for no. sludge. Do you have lepa berries? Do you pick up the lepa berries? No, I've got nothing. Okay. I think I have a max ether. How um, many lepa berries do I get? Okay. Oh no. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Uh, no, I just have to rethink a little bit now. So, like, I'm going to be using less sludge bombs so that I can yeah. instead rely on earthquake to refill uh, my I PP. Think I think three turns of setup on Lorelei. I tried yeah. a lower number and the the Lapras <laughs> survived. And I was like, yeah. it's not good if the Lapras survives. Yeah. Uh, you want Hello? to knock it out in one hit when you hit. Yeah. Oh, the Dugong's so annoying. The worst. <laughs> Go Sludge Bomb for Cloyster because of the additional defense, but I don't think with the extra side up I needed it, but that's fine. Yeah. Hyla Swine. Yeah. I'm a little worried about Bruno, but not overly. If Return gets me through, I'm fine. If it doesn't, then I'll just teach Earthquake, and I should still be fine. I have no full restores. I have nine hyper potions. What is this run? What have I been doing this whole time? <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope everybody's enjoying the, uh, the stream and the everything so far. To... Oh, yeah, your Earthquake's got nothing on me, buddy. And three. Full setup. What does Return do? Oh, my gosh. That is bad news bears. <laughs> Sludge bomb. Yeah. I'm just bringing up the splits for everyone to see so that we can uh, evaluate my performance. Yeah. What do I do there? Earthquake's going to have to be used. Yeah, I think the Steelix is the Steelix is uh, way too defensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I saw that my plus six return did uh, a third, it's like, oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Good day, good day, everyone in chat. Ooh, Hopefully, everyone okay. can see the split data. 
So my like, I think the major flaw in the run that I did was battling the rival in Sylph too soon. I think what you did with fighting Koga first makes way more sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I I believe so as well. And and I think that like fighting some like fighting additional like oh, trainers yep. in the mid game is probably going to be the best the best choice. Uh, because like I, I was a little bit scared to use my rare candies early on, but I think if it's like, like if I can get the same level for uh this rival fight, what level was I finishing that one? I was, uh, oh my gosh, I level, have nothing. Okay, it's putting all these things in the wrong column, so I'll have to fix that. I was level sixty four. Oh, we just don't have a, we just don't have failures getting calculated, so then everything else moves over. That's why, um. Yeah, so like if I can get to level 66 for that rival again, I think that that'll get me to the end of the game oh. at a good level. Then I can probably use rare candies before the rival and Sylph. But just do the training back here. So that this hurdle doesn't have like 10 resets, which is what I had this time. And then the next major jump was kind of the rival here again. And then Lance. Then pretty straightforward from there. Uh, uh, cherry berry for the last lance or long berry like I did. That's that seemed to work well. I don't think I recorded plus, my held item. Plus six sludge bomb doesn't one shot the Gengar. That is rough. Oh, not earthquake. That is rough. Like, ugh. okay. Gengar does quad resist the sludge bomb. Yeah, it's it's pretty nasty. I'm very concerned with my power points right now because I did not grab anything in between leagues despite all of your reminders. Thank you. Um, I'm oh, in no. trouble. I'm in big trouble. Do you have do you have another use of like another uh, secret power? I do not have another secret power. I do not have Iron Tail. Where do you get Iron Tail? Uh, game Corner. 3,500 no. coins. Oh, it's not that uh, expensive. So it's then. a little bit cheaper, but not by much. Yeah. Um, What am I doing power points wise? Do Unless do every... No, I've, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. I have no Can physical moves aside race. from dig and Brink? steel wing, which I can't learn. And strength, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we should be able to make this work. Strength will have... be fine. Strength is the solution. <laughs> I love that. that. So far. Earthquake, which is pretty useless in this battle to be honest but five shots kingdra yeah i have to get rid of earthquake now i have to do strength now because uh, i don't have enough uh power points to get through this battle with sludge bomb okay sweet bye you earthquake hello strength you can't get rid of uh earthquake instead oh i guess i did get rid of earthquake yeah i guess you need yeah um because i want sludge bomb for charizard yeah. All right, and here's round two Lance, Thunder Wave, Swords Dance, Thunder... Oh, Dragon Dance, he's actually switching. Usually he'll just sit there going Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, yeah, Thunder yeah, Wave, yeah. Thunder Wave. That's fine. What Take I... your recharge turn. I'll get up a new substitute just in case. Oh, interesting. He oh, actually attacked. Not. Oh, because he DD'd so much. Probably, oh, and I'm yeah. not... Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, no. All right, never mind. Round two Lance, not free. <laughs> Apparently not three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, good point in the chat. Uh, second, second week in a row that I'm relying. Oh, I meant to substitute first. Uh, second week in a row that I'm relying on a HM move to get me through these leaks. Um, oh, what brutal. What item do you have? Lumberry. Uh, nothing right now. Lumberry, actually. Yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't have to reset there because I would have saved the lumberry. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. I wonder if it makes sense to let it hit you with Thunder Wave on turn one so that it doesn't set up. <laughs> then substitute on turn two. Gosh. So after you burn the Lumberry. Yeah. This is so strange. Like usually, this is really weird. Usually whenever yeah. he starts going for Thunder Wave, he'll just continue going for Thunder Wave. Like he just does not get it. There is an uh, AI document. Switch. Yeah, there we go. There's like a document for the AI. Yep. I'm gonna see yeah, if this I can time find he it. just went full in for Thunder Wave. Yeah, AI move choice analysis. I'm just gonna open this up and see if uh, 
I'll uh, I'll put it up on my stream uh, so that we can look at it as well as your footage. Yes. It oh wow. <laughs> oh, we got this. Nice. No Body slam is a tutor as well, yes, but uh, that would involve leaving the league, which I am adamantly trying to avoid right now. It's just like there's there's just a certain level of defeat in leaving the uh, of leaving in leaving the leagues uh, preemptively. Yeah, I've got two rare candies. Let's use those. Okay, and how much power points do I have? I have nine and one. Okay, so Sludge Bomb goes to Charizard. Hopefully, everybody else can, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. If the target is faster than the user, there is a 92% chance of a plus three score. A higher score means the Pokemon is more likely to use it. And the, well, to be fair, the, the move that gets the highest score will Shoot. always be used by the AI. So it gets plus three. That's a significant. Uh, oh um, my gosh. So if it, that's if the target is faster than the user. And it gets a minus one score if the user is faster than the target. No, if the user is, yeah, and the, or the, wait. If the user is faster than the target, it gets minus one score. Two, if 70 three. HP, a 70% yes. HP or less. Perfect Heracross. Who is that referring to? Okay, Tyranitar is the big question. Oh, wow. Plus six strength okay. does like nothing to Tyranitar. Holy. Oh, I'm scared now. That, oh, that Sandstorm. Three Pokemon left. Oh God. It's hitting me for 11? No, I lose, I lose. Oh, interesting. Uh, so uh, the if the type effectiveness, so if the Pokemon is weak, wait, doubly weak. Pokemon doubly weak to it, such as scares. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh my gosh. But if Gyarados is against the Gyarados, then it's going to increase the chance that Thunder Wave gets used. Um, I might, if you're fine with it, I might just break my rule or break the rules again and stick my leftovers back on because, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. use the leftovers for it. For the sake of entertainment, like, two streams worth of viewers don't need to sit here watching me smash my face against this. Let's just get it done. <laughs> It's okay, we're learning about AI over here. I have the giant document. <laughs> Just... I, I'm reading through it while I get yeah. beat up by Heracross. Um, and now Heracross is just spamming Megahorn. Oh, you jerk. I don't even know what my setup is right now. Um... Should only save outside of the E4? Yeah, but um, so many of these fights have so many lucky outcomes. Like, I, I am never, ever probably going to be doing the J-Row style of, like, never saving through my leagues. Like, I just have zero interest in playing like that. Mm. Yeah. It bloats game time to play that way. Like, like I don't say bloat as, like a like, a negative... I think some people sometimes think that I mean it as a negative, but like it increases game time. Your game time will be higher mm -hmm. if you choose to play oh, that way. No. The intimidate. Yep. The intimidate against Gyarados. No. The oh my gosh. And if I had a single elixir, everything would be fine. I could have just sludge bombed and won. Like, oh my gosh. Two streams in a row where, like, it kind of makes you wonder, like, does this exceptional guy have a single clue? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Save Sludge Bomb for Gera? Yeah, I might. I might uh, try that this time. I got to look up I where we find elixirs and stuff. I think that that would help me at least mm -hmm. figure stuff out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good berry locations, too. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I'm going to see. Elixir. With Titar, I need, I, I think I need to have my sub up for Titar, because, yeah, the, like, it's just, it's too much damage coming in. Like, yeah. I, need, I need Heracross to cooperate to, for me to get plus six, and otherwise I'm just having a bad day, because I'm using strength and one sludge bomb. Oh, there's the Megahorn. Do you get the Elixir in, um... I'm just stuck. <laughs> 
I think <laughs> and I like there's a way think through, I lost but it you needs for a, a second. lucky outcome. Can you hear me now? Okay. I can hear you just fine. Okay, now. good, good, good. We're back then. You cut okay, out for okay. a moment. Oh, I was I was just complaining. It's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just saying how like like three runs in a row and two weeks in a row streaming together, um, this has been the case where I just kind of like, I think I know what I'm doing, but then it turns out that I don't know what I'm doing because I'm confusing my runs, but then I also have forgotten most of the like actual intricacies of my second run, and like, like it just, it, it makes you wonder, does this exceptional guy actually, why are you using a full restore all of a sudden? Why didn't you use a full restore every other time? So now I'm going to lose again because, have a chance. yeah, there goes the sandstorm. I wonder oh what the chance is for the full God. restore. Or maybe you rolled better damage range Sorry. and then like it put him at a lower health. And then because maybe he's at lower health, he, he decides to heal. That's one of the most yeah. frustrating things when you level up and then because you leveled up, you... um you're less likely to win because they're more likely to use healing items. Great. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not at risk of leveling up at least, but like, it seems that I'm just hitting him into like the perfect ranges to completely not work. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm, I had a pretty good hair across this time. The crit was not necessary. Alakazam is going to go away. I'm going to heal up pretty much to full. I've got a decoy up for Titar. But if he goes... If he heals, I, I'm, I'm done for, because I can't take three aerial aces. He's going to heal again. So He's he, lower he than he was not before. Heal. Yep, there he goes again. I'm I'm over this. I'm sorry. I'm dropping an elixir in. I'm so sick of dealing with this. Yeah, I do it. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, where I'm just trying to figure files? out where other ones are. There's only It only seems like there's one in self. Uh, I believe so, yes. There's a PP up like right next to it as well. Oh, okay. Pokemon Mansion uh, has one. I got that one. Do you get that one? Uh, that one again. I missed this time. Okay. Um, that's that's another one that I only know exists because of watching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a Max Elixir in the power plant and an and an Elixir. Yeah, I I've gone go there, there once looking for those, and I I can't remember what run it was on, but it was like a run that I was just hurting. Yeah, there isn't constantly. a rare candy anymore, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. To go all the way out of your way to this. All right, let's see how this fight goes with a PowerPoint or two on my side. Elixir, save. Oh my gosh. That really um, doesn't give you that many in. I was half. Oh, I should have maybe added return while I was at it. Rock smash for T-Tar, but how does that help me win the rest of the fight? Three squares east of the southernmost sign, there is a max elixir on Cycling Road. I'm gonna go find that one right now. Oh yeah, it's right at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, why have I never found it? Like, um, sometimes so the ledge, I the always... ledge when you jump down, it's like the, there's the sign just above that ledge, and it's like just to the uh, right of that sign. Okay. Uh, two spaces, I believe, two or three spaces from that sign. I'm gonna go find it. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with Sludge Bomb, and hey, look, Titar is a two shot with Sludge Bomb. Imagine that, if I just had a little bit more yeah. power points. Like, just, oh my gosh. Three elixirs that I passed over <sighs> that would have saved this. Like, oh my gosh. Just so, it, I, another big part of it too is that I'm just so disappointed in myself. Like, just not playing well doesn't feel good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. What there we go. Say? Gyarados like, is out of here. Instantly the fight steps. is over. What is it? Three? Three squares south. And two squares west. Okay. Of the southern. No, no, that's not. Hold B to uh, like so that you three, yes. hold static and three go squares up. east of the no, southernmost. Uh, yeah. So like, go up so that your sprite is just above the sign, and then go like one or two tiles to the oh, right. Oh, cool. Just above the sign. Yeah, uh, well, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got it. Got oh, it. Shoot. Learning things. Oh right. Oh my gosh, okay. Where else are we having max elixirs? Let's Power actually plant, like berry forest. Get this berry forest. It's really in cave. So there's only two. Dinosaur. Berry forest is might be another good one to get. Uh ooh, berry forest would be a yeah. good one to know. Well, that's island three. Uh at the end of the yes. dead end path, southeast of the southernmost body of water. Requires gosh. cut and surf. Okay. Go find it. Okay. Um Okay, so that's 
round or run number one, but uh, we did it. Sweet. We had something else planned today, did we, we did. not? That we did, may yeah. involve slightly more pain. Than I think I think so things far. are gonna get more painful from here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go find this um, other elixir. Um, okay, so I could use just a quick stand up and please. just like shake it out. <laughs> please. <laughs> Um, I will not switch my overlay over. I'll just let my credits play out. Okay. Um, and I will be back in just a moment. Sounds good. I'll hang out here and try and find this elixir. Max elixir it is. All right, everyone, it's just you and me. This Thursday, I'm going to do another stream. It will be just me again. I've kind of decided that Tuesdays are going to be collaboration streams if I want to stream with other people. And then... Um, on Thursdays, it'll always be streams, me by myself. And then Saturdays will be the regular produced videos. This is, you have to cut four trees to get this thing. <laughs> Might just not be worth it because of that. But if, I guess if you used, if you know you've used a lot of PP restoring items the first time around, or you're running like a low PP mon, then it makes sense. Get this. And I think, so I think the ones that I, the one I didn't get is Sylph which I should be picking up. And then I could, I should be getting the max elixir on cycling roads. That would be two more. Larry on solo time. That's right. Cause the thumbnail's gonna be wrong. I wonder if there's more max ethers. Let me look for max ethers. Because those might, um, root 10. Uh, that one's by the power plant entrance, I think. So that's not going to be. South side on the tree east of the southern entrance of Fork Tunnel on the tree. Southern entrance of Rock Tunnel. Really? There's a tree? I don't see a tree. Wait, let me read that again. I'm not good at reading, by the way. I mean, I've always been bad at South side. On the tree east of the southern entrance of the rock tunnel. On the tree east. Well, let's go over there and see what that means. Yes. Okay, I'm trying to find one more max ether. Because I think we can get another one that's like fairly simple. It's in Gen 1 it's easier to get, but it seems like it's in a fairly convenient spot in Gen 3 as well. I hope hopefully there's no extra trainer that I have to fight to get to it. Yeah, there's the toggle button. I, well, I saw that. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> are we going to have like we got a mini race. exhibition race? A race between all the cities at some point, yeah. Okay, um, this is a tree. tree. Af after Am you I find this rare gen candy... One? I'm reading the gen one. Or not rare candy, sorry. Um, after you find this elixir, do you want to quickly do that race between runs while we both have fully evolved Pokemon? <laughs> Yeah, we can. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's see it's how long. It's gonna take like thirty seconds. Yeah, it has seconds. to be at four times speed. Yeah, it has to be at four times. Yeah, speed. I'm gonna try really hard not to. Okay, the other one. No, the other one's on the other side of cycling on the other side of this route, so that doesn't work. I'm just gonna look at the other ones. Route twenty three. Okay, that one I didn't get this time, but there's the one on route twenty three right before the um. Right before. What's it called? Oh my gosh. Right before Victory Road. You get that one. And then there's one more, supposedly, in Vermilion City. In Vermilion? Yeah, Max Ether. Oh, it's um. Four squares south is it in the one spot? Square with the Pokemon entrance hidden. Oh, I thought it was like where the Machop is pounding around the yeah, ground. Yeah, that's why I thought it was going to be too, but I think it's. Uh, Pokemon's are. Okay. What is it? Five square. No. Four squares south cool. and one square west. My chat's talking about uh, 
translation things between different languages, like uh, within the game. It's uh, really cool. <laughs> yeah, this one's great. Look at that. It's right oh. there. So easy. Right there. That's like I like that. I don't know, like sixteen steps or something that we have to take. That's extra just One, to two, like walk to this side and where, then where, walk back where over. I'm usually coming down. I'm coming usually from right here. So get out of here. Yeah, one, two, one. three, four, five, six, seven. Grab one, two, one, two three, three, four, five, six, seven. Down. Nine, <laughs> ten, Eleven. Yeah. Uh, max Which elixir at the left side at the dead end before the E4 building. Is that right in Victory Road? Uh, yeah. It's like it's on a tile in the water. It's like on the oh. little island in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I remember. Uh, I skipped that one too, but I remember learning about that one last week. I think I skipped it too. I don't remember now. Yeah. Let's see if I got it. Oh, that's also the Lepa Berry. This is Lepa Berry. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, you're aware of the Citrus and Full Restore? Yep. Uh, not path? the Full yeah. Restore. The Max E3 is like here. Yeah, I got it. The Max Elixir is in the Statue Puzzle. Okay. There's a Max Elixir in the Statue Puzzle? Where's the Full Restore? Oh, it's on the... Uh, so Full Restore is it. just after guard number... Okay, yeah, yeah. Literally, like, there's a boulder all by itself. Bet it's there. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did Scott walk on the pillows this run? I don't know uh, what that means. <laughs> I forgot to walk on the pillows. I did forget to walk on the pillows. Where is the Max Elixir here? Down. Uh, go to the start of the statue puzzle, then follow the path left. Over oh, here? right there. Okay, I found it. I will leave myself oh, there so you can see it. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, well, we have like way more PP restoring items now. And there's uh, a lumberry uh, over here. Think of all the PP. I know, right? We're never going to run <laughs> out. We can last for days. All right. <laughs> and yeah, so. that's the lum right there. Yeah. Told you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for pointing that's these sweet. out. Yeah. But, uh,. I've cheated oh, slightly. My it. my party is just Pidgey to try and. Oh yeah, we got to do the flying thing. Okay, uh, I'll <laughs> we start. start in... I'll start from. Oh wait, I should. I'll, I'll oh, put Pidgey at the start of my party. Yeah. Okay, okay. So how are we doing this? Do you have the fly location on Route Ten by the power plant? No. Okay, so I will skip that. Skip one. the power plant. Oh, and are we just go... doing it like yeah, chronological? We're... Uh, no. We just need to go to every city in the region. Every city in the so region. So however okay. you want to manage it, that that's fine. But like it has okay. to be every fly point except the power plant in the region. I think I'm not except for the power it. plant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The Indigo so, plateau as well. Let's start I, with the I menu and cursor. everything closed. Let's start everything closed. Okay. Just everything overworld. closed. Okay. Yeah. Overworld. You want to count us in for this one? Okay. No. Um. Are you ready? <laughs> Remember, you can't. Yeah. It has to be three times. Uh. Four times speed. The four whole times time. has to be four times speed the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I have to win one race. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's right. Wait, wait. Also in, in overworld. I'm in the overworld. Are you? Oh, uh, no, I'm just, yeah, I guess I'm just delayed on your side. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. No, no. Like, uh, okay. I'll Am take I it away. Everyone has to watch the other stream too. Cause it's yeah. going to distract me if I look at that. <laughs> okay. I, I'm ready whenever you're ready. All right. I am ready. So which button is my menu button? That button. I just want to make sure. Um, okay. okay. Three, two, one. And I'm already messing up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Gil. Not really, actually. Oh no. Oh, what? Okay, I got like the luckiest pewter. <laughs> uh, we have to go to Mount Moon. Uh, I, I don't have Mount Moon. Oh, you don't have Mount Moon? Okay, I'll go to one. So extra. maybe That's I'll good. go to the power plant? Or sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go both. to the power plant, yeah. Okay, I'll go to power plant. You go to Mount Moon. Yeah. This, oh, gosh. Now that I'm racing, I, I don't know why. I feel like I'm getting all of the best possible luck. <laughs> like, it's looking real smooth on my side. When I do a run, it feels so much clunkier than this. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good myself. I don't know. I can't. I can't even look at you. <laughs> oh, there we go. There is. Yes. Some I have two more. I have one more. Okay, I'm done. Oh, oh. I just finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh nice my gosh. Done. So close. 
Actually, yeah, that's a good point. I did not heal at Mount Moon, which was my first uh, PP issue during the run back when I like, yeah, yes. when I was beating Miguel with Leech Seed. I didn't know. I didn't know that you have to heal at that center to have it uh, set that waypoint so that you have it. Accessible. I don't think you have to heal there. I think you just have to enter the center. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But. Okay. But yes. So. Um. Well. Okay. You want to announce it? Where we're going next? <laughs> next, my fine audience and Scott's fine audience, we are jumping into a run simply because we love you. Um, we're going to be doing Raichu next. Yeah, I was going to say, and we hate ourselves <laughs> because this run. <laughs> oh, okay. In, um, in, in honor of starting with star uh, with starters, we 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 decided, you know what, Raichu just kind of fits so uh we'll do it yeah oh gosh um base stats it's all, honestly it's base stats are are okay 60 hp 90 attack and special attack 55 defense 80 special defense and 100 speed yes oh is it 100 not 110 oh i 100. think uh, see it gets upgraded that... it gets upgraded to 110 in gen 6 i believe there we go they were like hey That's... you know what pokemon needs to be faster the electric type. <laughs> the electric types, yeah. Um, you want to go through the move pool? Um, I'm just getting myself transferred over oh, sure. to my other ROM. I will. Uh, I'll go through the move pool. So we start with a terrible set, and because it's a stone evolution, we learn nothing by level up. So we start with Thunder Shock and Thunderbolt, and then, excuse me, Tail Whip and Quick Attack for Brock. Um, TMs and HMs. I anticipate that Iron Tail. Dig and Brick Break are going to see a lot of play, as well as Return. But unfortunately for Raichu, it does not get access to amazing tutor moves like Swords Dance. It does get Body Slam, which I actually don't know where we can learn that. Uh, nor do I, actually. I've never actually taught from up. the Body Slam tutor, tutor. Yeah. Body Slam Tutor. Where is this guy? Oh. Uh -oh. Because I know he's on the islands. Island four. He's island the man four. on the left. Island four. <laughs> man on the left. Inside one of the houses. Which house? <laughs> Which house is he inside? I guess the one on the left. <laughs> no, there's two men looking at each other, and he's the left man. But yeah. I don't know which oh. house he's in. Okay, it's a house on island four. Cool. Um, I I only bring that up oh, because I think that we may need RNG with paralysis and body slam to win this one yeah. at a decent level without going to like 95 because uh electric types do not well do well when enemy pokemon have thun uh earthquake and the one thing i've learned now with these from these two streams is that the second attempt at the league they have a lot of earthquake huge huge amount of earthquake <clears throat> do you know the number of pokemon that have it on their set I can't remember exactly, but it's it's roughly two thirds of all Pokemon in the league have Earthquake on the set. Um, yeah, Lorelei, I think only Piloswine does. Bruno, only Hitmonchan does not. Agatha, her ghosts do not, but uh, Arbok does. Uh, Arbok Crobat does. Obviously doesn't. Yep, Arbok has Earthquake. What? Um, for Lance, Gyarados. Definitely one of the Dragonites, the Aerodactyl. Um, oh. Maybe both of the Dragonites, more of the Dragonites. Um, the Champion, uh, Venusaur has Earthquake, Tyranitar has Earthquake, Gyarados has Earthquake. Yeah. Charizard has Earthquake, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if Blastoise does, but no, it's just there's so much Earthquake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. I think it's going to be pretty brutal. Well, I'm looking forward we... to it. It's going to be fun, but it's it's. I think it's going to be very challenging compared to yeah. a Venusaur. And Venusaur <clears throat> yes. was already not quite as smooth as I was hoping. Yeah. Um, Surge with Tail Whip and Quick Attack is going to be fun. No, we get Dig before that. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Do we? We get Dig. Yeah. When do we get Dig? We get Dig from the rocket outside of Cerulean City. Before Brock? No, no, outside of Cerulean City. Right, oh, but Brock. But Brock. Oh, sorry, I thought you said Surge. <laughs> no, oh, I, I might have said Surge. Sorry, I, I might have said Surge. But yeah, I'm Brock sorry. with Tail Whip and then uh, Quick Attacks could be real, real rough. Yeah. 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 Okay, um, uh, I assume you're in the lab. 
so I will. I am in the lab, and uh, na nature-wise, I went with quiet. Oh right, I forgot about Reducing that. Reducing speed and increasing special attack. Okay, yeah. Just a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna start again. Yep, yep. I wanna I wanna get my nature set to a good <laughs> nature. I'll start over on that. I think yeah, reducing speed makes only makes sense in this case. So you reduce speed and increase special attack. I was very tempted to increase our attack, yeah. given that they're even. Yeah. Um, That's something what tells I'm me though go that for. stab thunderbolt is going to pay off more, but okay. I could be very wrong on that. Because Thunderbolt's awesome. Thunderbolt does a lot of work, but it doesn't solve every problem. That's true. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and see if I can make a brave work with higher attack. Okay. Right, well, let's, let's get get to where you're at. Oh, the timer right. didn't start. Weird. An electric type without right. hidden power sounds like a recipe for success. That's sarcasm, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we discussed uh, Magneton last stream and uh, its lovely move set. Oh, all the electro types, set. they they feel very like like it feels like Game Freak. The the goal with like balancing around electro types was make them like good at what they do but bad at everything else. Right. All right, I need to get my timer set to like thirty seconds or or so. Since that's where you're starting. Okay, mine's thirty two seconds. And 90, okay. 92 centimeters seconds. Okay. I'm going to nail that to the millisecond. Okay. Or cent a second, I guess. What was it? 3292? Yeah, 3292. Okay, I got this. I got this. Takes all so there's no sand slash. I know, right? Uh, I'm feeling good about that. The lack of sand slash is. Oh, no! Too fast. I'm 20. Two hundreds of a second off. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Jumping into the are. run. And ready when you are. Okay. I'll count down. Three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, timer on. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Despite Thunderbolt being resisted, it's better than quick attack. That's immediately what I lit off with. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, prepare ourselves to yeah. see the incredibly rare Rival 1.5 fight because I, know. I suspect we're going to need all of the experience. Actually, I'm going to be knocking out everything along Me the way. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm just... already fighting the Pidgeys. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, I ran from one and I was like, nope, time to start knocking stuff out. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know. Mimic might take another... Mimic might be something in this one, but uh, I don't know. Ra yeah. Raichu is definitely... Mimic is hard to use because you you not only like you don't get a selection of the move. Yeah, uh, it's not like generation like you do one, in Gen which 1. you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes things <clears throat> you so have much to, easier. <clears throat> excuse me, you have to copy the move that was last used, and uh, quite often the move you're looking for is also one that hurts you a lot. So <laughs> yeah, I remember trying to use it. I think it was with Sceptile, or no, was it? It was with someone else. I was trying to mimic light screen or something from Flannery, and it just never worked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like the slugma was just like actually no I'm never going to use this move okay fine yep <laughs> thunder shock. oh wow okay thunder shock just so you know it does not knock out Pidgey in one shot oh so if you're going for effectiveness oh. go for the thunderbolt against the rival uh rival 1.5 yeah okay yeah because yours is pretty delayed then yeah. Isn't Dig bad versus Earthquake? Yeah, Dig is very bad versus Earthquake. Very. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to uh, be doing that. Ocean. Sometimes it pays off. Yeah, I'm uh any grinding I'm gonna be doing is gonna be in Viridian Forest for the hopes of the occasional cocoons that come up so we can get some defensive EVs. Yeah, what EVs do we get from those? Uh one or two, but they're other than that, it's HP from Caterpie. And speed from Weedle and speed from Pikachu. Speed. A lot of speed. A lot of speed. What and is speed Pidgey from Pidgey get? and speed Pidgey from Pidgey. Rattata as well. Speed oh my gosh, Rattata. no. I forgot to get my HM users. Tell me I'm poisoned and I'm not going to wipe already. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I mean, a little bit of input delay, but it's playable at least right now. Where are my running shoes at? 
Oh my gosh. I love Gen 4 music. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. Oh no. The bird. Too much. Yeah, it's nice that static can paralyze Brock. That's something mm -hmm. I didn't... It doesn't seem intuitively obvious to me, but yes, static can paralyze ground-type Pokemon. Mm -hmm. it, it feels yeah, hoping... like it shouldn't, but... Does Brock Tomb make contact? It feels like it shouldn't. I don't but... think it does. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this Pidgey. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is getting the ball. <laughs> oh. Uh, like... You may need level 100 for round two. Yep, that's uh -huh. possible. <clears throat> yeah, this feels like a fight every trainer you come across kind of run. Yeah. Um, good news, though, I can show you that Pikachu house, or the Chansey house and the Chansey dance in the late game. Oh, yeah, that's right. Chansey <laughs> dance. Even though so I'm assuming fun. that grinding Lorelei is going to be faster because... Yeah, you know, over and over. electric. Yeah, yep. but uh, still. Yeah, no hidden power is going to be rough on uh, on this one. I'm not even going to... Uh, yeah, what am I doing? I should just stay here and train. <clears throat> I wonder if this, a, this is a run where it makes sense to only knock out Caterpie in the forest. <laughs> Does Metapod that... give defense DVs or EVs? Uh, Metapod and Kakuna both give defense. Uh, Weedle gives speed. Caterpie gives HP. Yeah. I just put up the <clears throat> EV display for everyone so we can see the EVs that I'm gaining whenever I knock Pokemon out. You can see that like I'm gaining a lot of speed right now, but... Speed is not going to help us in the late game, and the late game is going to take a very long time, so this might be one rare exception where it does make sense to try and prioritize the EVs, because if we fight a bunch of Caterpie here in preparation for Brock, then mm -hmm. our HP stat will be higher for the late game. In theory. In theory, yeah. <laughs> it, it, That's the theory. Well, in theory, it's effective going for that. It will be higher, but in theory, that that in, in theory, that's the effective thing to be doing. Yeah. Well, um, it, maybe. I don't know. Because it, it might right. just, like, it might not be uh, nearly fast enough because I'm having to run away from a bunch of different Pokemon. Yeah, and if I was specifically hunting EVs, I would have fought one wild encounter by this point because I've seen one cocoon. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess defense makes kind of sense, too, because then you will... It's like fighting cocoons and caterpies. It's like... Mm -hmm. And then run from everything else. And Pikachu. What? I, I didn't want to make contact. Yeah, Spark makes contact. I, con, 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 yeah, contact. it's weird. I'm aware of that. <clears throat> it does get changed to physical in Gen 4, though. So, like, I, I yeah. feel like um, in Generation 3, they almost laid the blueprint for the physical... Excuse me, physical special splits in the uh, the contact mechanic. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, yeah. it's pretty darn close to the same thing, just yeah. different. <laughs> it feels like that's what they were going for with it. They were like, oh, we need to, like, make some update that's going to make... Like, there'd be a little bit difference here between the moves. Like, maybe some make contact, mm -hmm. maybe some don't make contact. And then they didn't go all the way with it in Generation 3. Yeah. And then in Generation 4, they're like, oh, we should actually make some of these physical and some of these special. <laughs> it's interesting Wait they didn't take away the contact mechanic. Yeah. Like, are there any well, physical moves that are... that don't? Yeah, there are. Like, rock throw and stuff like that. Like, I guess it makes mm -hmm. sense. Like, you're throwing something at. You're not making contact, so... They kind of pair, to, uh, pair together well. But mm -hmm. the system is quite complex now. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that that's why that it, it took them kind of as long as it did to kind of implement what we see today, because mm -hmm. like, it's just, you, how could you possibly come up with a system that's that elaborate on the first go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought Weedle was attack. Apparently Weedle is not attack. We have not earned a single attack. I no. haven't at least earned a single attack EV in this playthrough. Uh, you don't? When is the first attack EV available? Maybe Nidoran or something? Ma Nidoran Mail? Radatha? No, Might Radatha. Be... Oh, no, no. The attack EVs are actually Mankey in the grass outside oh. of uh, Viridian. Okay, yeah. So someone mentioned that to me that I should, like, train, I think, uh, west of Viridian City. Yes. Or EVs uh, before if, Brock. If you want attack EVs. Um, what run was it that I saw that I haven't finished? Um... It was your more recent Fire Red run. I think it was Beedrill. Maybe. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was the Dratini Dragonite one. Um, 
but I want to say I left a comment um, just suggesting that you try grinding those EVs if you're going with a physical attacker, just because you can soak up a fair chunk of attack EVs in that early section. Your comment is probably the one I'm referring to. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's funny. Where's the Venusaur? Yeah, the, it's finished. We did it the already. The fire red ones. I was, I was trying to, you know, give some tips here and there where I could. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I came into the gym to try and get a little bit of experience off of uh, Liam. Yeah. It's going badly. Geodude went quite well, but uh, Sand Attack. Ah, uh, yeah. Need I say anything else? No. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> this trainer, also, they made much better in the remakes. In Generation 1, he's got a Diglett, and the Diglett's not very good because it has the lowest HP stat in the game. So even if mm -hmm. you're weak to ground types, it doesn't really matter. And in Yellow, the Sandshrew does not have Sand Attack, which is... Uh, uh, okay. A big advantage, but that's yeah. not the case. Not the case if uh, in these games, because the Geo Dude yeah. is really good. It has defense crawl too. Oh, another thing I'm thinking about is taking our speed too high with EVs and training. Because if our speed goes too high, then Onyx is going to use two rock tombs. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, shoot, that is true. I didn't think about that. Um, I think I'm going to try for 15 before I start making Brock attempts. 15? Yeah. I, I think. I don't know. Based on how Liam it. went, but that was mostly sand attack? I don't know. Yeah. I'm just so worried about rock tombs because... Yeah, no, I'm already high enough, I think, at 34 speed that two it's going to be two rock tombs to be under 24. It's like 25%, so, like, you'll yep. go down to, what? 33 is 6, 9. You lose 9 speed from my current speed, so... I'll go down uh, to 26 after one hit. Yeah, so it'll use two. Yep, so it's going to be using two. So, absolutely, I'm going to be going to 15 to try and get uh, a little bit more punch <laughs> before I start trying Brock. Also, yeah. I uh, went with the nickname of Van Reynolds. Oh, nice. I yeah. don't know what it refers to. Uh, um, Van Wilder and Ryan Reynolds. Oh, okay. Yeah. I went with Soul. I saw that. <laughs> Thank you, Serena, for moderating and providing us with amazing art. Caterpie. Caterpie. I'm getting tired of beating Caterpies. Yeah. Are you fighting only the Caterpies as well? I'm just taking XP as it's given to me. Okay. Yeah. So we're taking different approaches here because I'm fighting exclusively Caterpie and Metapod. <laughs> and, and Kakuna. It's funny though because just like even considering the uh, delay between streams like you were you felt like you were ahead of me again and like you're kind of catching up to my experience but yeah. I've also gone and fought a trainer. Like an additional trainer, I should say. Yeah. Like, it, it felt like this happened last time. Like, I feel like all of our runs have kind of gone in a similar way. In mm -hmm. the in the early game, it seems that my play is maybe a little bit tighter or something like that. That, like, I'm mm -hmm. just streamlined slightly more. Um, or, I don't know, like, do you use, you use rapid fire keys? Like, because that'll change a lot. Um, I do, but it's limited. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, I, I only use it to skip text kind of thing. Yeah, got it. Um, that'll save you some time. Gosh. And then my choices, I think, in the mid game are, are worse than yours, and then you catch up. And yeah. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I just got beginner's luck for the late game. Okay, so one rock tomb takes me exactly to 24. He is not going to use another rock Ooh. tomb until I'm in kill range. Okay, let's go. My math was wrong. Oh, yeah. Quick attack. Oh my His gosh, I do is, so little damage. Stats yeah, here comes is the rock still tombs. 66. No, that's uh, accuracy is 75. No! Oh, I was one hit away from winning. Oh no. But that's level 15. That's level 15. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yes, we I'll moved on to Raichu it. after doing Venusaur. Wish you could get an Orenberry. Or yeah. I saw, again, I don't remember which video it was of yours, but I saw you hunting in that little patch of flowers. Yeah, and I was looking just everywhere. Like, I'm like, please, where is, it? <laughs> is there one around here? No. No, just outside of town. But not oh, I got here. turn one static on the Geodude. That's sweet. I got static on Onyx. Come on, this is bad. Yeah, I'm taking too much damage. 
It's kind of figuring out that point of like using tail whip versus or like how many tail whips are yeah. optimal. Yeah, yeah. Like hundred percent. Okay, turn one paralysis against Geodude is nice. Three oh, gosh. gets me a four shot, it looks like. Oh please. Oh my gosh. Miss, good. Okay, speed down. It's four. Ah, oh, bind is terrible. Oh, we don't have enemy stage modifiers. I just realized that. Oh my gosh. Bug, I'll have to fix that. This is going to be bad. Oh, um, where your opponent's stats are also dynamically... They're updating the stats, correctly updating, but the little modifier is not showing. Oh, uh, okay. Two... Uh oh Sand attack's annoying. I fought the yeah, I fought sand the attack. Sand attack almost cost me that battle when I defeated Geodude at like full health. That's <laughs> yeah, gonna get me. Geodude, stop critting me, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and I used Thunderbolt against Onyx. Beautiful. Oh, okay, crit. Whew. So, that must my biggest defense. issue here is the fact that if we grind any further, I uh, we will gain that speed back. Dude, man. And um, Onyx will be going for two rock tombs. Yeah. He will be. Like, if, if if we were a point higher in speed, he would be going for a, a second rock tomb. Yeah. Ah, gosh. Stop critting me, please. When do I get to critical hit? I'm just training again. I don't feel confident <sighs> enough at level 15. I got so close to defeating him on like the first try, and it's just been yeah. steadily getting worse since. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Might be better just using Quick Attack on Onyx. Uh, let me show you what Quick Attack does to Onyx without It'll do the like tail nothing. Whips. It'll do like nothing. It'll be like one <laughs> one HP damage. You see how much I'm doing to Geo, dude? That's how much it does. Yeah, like, boom. I think I did a hit point there, maybe two. Meanwhile, I'm You dead. definitely have the tail whip. I don't know what the optimal tail whips are, though. Like, I don't know if, like, five... Like, let's say, like... Let's say you max out your damage at, like, yeah. four. Like, <clears> it <throat> might be useless to just go for five and six because it doesn't improve the amount of damage you deal per hit. Uh, there's a lot of rounding when you're at low levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Especially, especially when you're dealing such such little damage. Like, yeah. the turns to knock out with quick attack might be the same when you have the four or five or six tail whips, but yeah, one, you definitely need like one or two, two, three has been not giving me great damage, but like if I could just get a little bit of luck, like yeah. that's all I need here is just a touch of luck. And I'm just not quite getting what I need. Smash oh my match. gosh. Yes. Did you do it? Ah, one hit point, baby. Nice. <laughs> Good job. No problem. All right, see you, Scott. Okay, see ya. Yeah, off to the races. <laughs> I'm going to heal. Holy moly. That um, was crazy. I uh, I did not expect to get that. Yeah. Two fully paralyzed in a row, and then Rock Tomb left me at a single hit point. Yep. Yeah, oh, that was with three Leers, by the way. Or uh, Tail Whips, excuse me. Three oh, Tail Whips, my... okay. Um, I have a Smash Math mentioned like what's uh, Onyx's HP and defense. I don't I don't actually know right now, but that's a feature that I want to implement for streams where like I can show you the like trainer we're working towards, the graphic on the right hand side of the screen while I'm doing the training, so we can be like examining stats while knocking out a bunch of metapods, something like that. <laughs> um Onyx's defense I don't know by heart, but his HP is thirty three and Geodude is thirty one. Yeah, they don't have particularly high HP stats. No, not at all. They, they but, like uh, balance that out with giving them just ridiculous defense. I was going to say the defense more than makes up for yeah. it. Oh, I can Thunderbolt stuff and it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can too, but they're just Caterpies. <laughs> that's, that's true, that's true. <laughs> the bug massacre. Seriously. Did I catch my... Okay, I did. What level am I aiming for? I'm gonna try 17, and if not, then 18 for the damage rounding. Mm, that's a lot of grinding, oh my a gosh. A lot of grinding. I actually have to like think through my thing. Uh, oh, I should have grabbed one extra repel, because I think I am gonna grab Thief this time. 
Wait, I'm... can I learn Thief? Can we learn Thief? Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, we can. Oh gosh, Sandstrew, why? Is, that no. use... is learning Thief useful anywhere to steal held items that can be helpful to boost, like a magnet? Can you st can we steal a magnet anywhere or like an expert belt? We can. We can steal yes. an expert belt. All of the people in Giovanni's gym. Oops. Sorry, I got so excited. Um, yeah. <laughs> we can steal an expert belt in Giovanni's gym because uh, all of the fighting types there, like the black belts, they their Pokemon hold the expert belt. Yeah, the uh, fighting dojo as well. I believe the fighting most dojo, of them okay. have fighting. Um, beyond that, and uh, beyond the like the starter elements, um, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure everything is held in wild. Uh, Never melt ice. Actually, you can get on island four. Okay. But uh, after that, you're quickly running out of options. Yeah. I can't Never remember if this guy's a sandshrew or not. I'm so scared of sandshrews. I'm saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like one of them Magnus catches you off guard. On... It's like, haha, I have sand attack. Like, oh yeah, no. Yeah. Magnus it's... found on wild magneton. Yeah. Man, it's on wild magneton. Okay. Oh wild yeah. By magneton? the way, this. Never yeah. find one of those. Okay, fine. Oh, I should have stayed before this Chantry guy. Very low percentage. Yeah, and that's a big reason why I do not end up going for held items yeah. a lot of the time, just because of the time investment and how random they are. Yep. Um. If you can't reliably get it within yeah. like this but, takes me three minutes yeah, or exactly. this might take me 30 like that's 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 a good way to kill a run yeah and that's also why i won't manip it because if i manip that it's like okay so like you got the one in 20 chance to get the good held item right away that feels a little bit extreme whereas like i'm forcing the patches of grass to give me the hm users it's not that extreme it's like this one is a 20 percent chance it's one in five mm -hmm. this one is like it's like, yeah, eventually the grass is going to give those to me. If I skip yep. two or three encounters on, in one run and uh, have what I would have normally had in the other run, then it's mm -hmm. it's better to just have the results adjusted for that. But with right. held items, it's like that seems like if I want to go out of my way to get them, it, there needs to be a major cost in doing it. Yes. I decided yeah. against level 17 also. I'm just going to keep training. Just go for it, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm continuing to train because my theory right now is that Raichu is really going to be bad at the second league and yep. EVs, <laughs> once you earn them, they're there and they're going to help you for the whole run. Yeah. And so I'm just like thinking that spending the intentional time now is going to be more worth it. Also, I think that my right button Roar, is broken. Okay, wait, I can't go right. It wasn't working very well. Okay, we're better now. Oh my gosh, I just like, I'm just, I'm just having like a whole like time of my own over here because when <laughs> I look over at your screen, you're like not ahead and yeah. that's something that I'm not used to seeing in the last few it's days. It's <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's so funny. I can't believe I beat, I lost that Pidgey race. That's so funny. I was doing so good. I was yeah, like, there's was... no way Scott's got nothing. I, I actually feel like for whatever reason, I don't know. It was like luck of the cards. Like, you, yeah. have you ever played Magic the Gathering? Oh yeah, I, I uh, well, it's been many years, but uh, I have played it, yes. Okay, yeah. I, I feel like really every time I went to fly, I just top decked the exact motion that I needed. It was like, okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. The only one that was bad was Cinnabar Island, which I kind of stumbled around for a, a second or two. Cinnabar, at least you can like, the bottom you know you have. Like you can yeah. just go straight to the bottom oh, of the map and you're fine. I didn't realize yeah. that. So I learned another thing. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> They're almost there, everyone. All right, rival two. Bulbasaur, the absolute. Oh yeah. Well, also we did a uh, we did agree to go with the Bulbasaur rival um, because our yeah. coverage against Bulbasaur is physical, and that means that we have also two Intimidates coming our way. So we made this about as awful as we could possibly make it. Yeah, maximum awfulness. Yeah, and by awful I mean this is just the Raichu experience. It is in all games. <laughs> Imagine if it started with low kick. Oh my gosh. Imagine if it started with Surf. I was so tempted oh, to like surf. just yeah, that'd be throw fun. Surf on my Raichu and be like, what? Isn't this what we were doing? Look at my guy. He's at the beach. Someone did mention that in my chat. They were like, I want Surfing Raichu. Like, yeah. yeah. Really, that would be so much fun. Okay, Gus. Yeah. Like you, dude. Good. But then you'd probably be ahead of me and I wouldn't be having fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm having a blast. It's okay. I used Thunderbolt <laughs> Regardless. on Onyx. Oh, nice. I did that once or twice. Yeah. Uh, that's the play, oh. the best play. 
the only play. Okay. Oh, stop doing that. Thank you. Okay. This is oh, this actually feels quite good at 18. I don't I know if I imagine. just got I don't know if I just got really lucky cuz I static activated but on both yeah. of them, but it, it felt so much better. It felt pretty sketchy at level 15. Oh, excuse me, but um, yeah. I just did not want to grind. Gosh, I I tried to grind or avoid grinding as no. much as I can. I hate it so much. A uh, grinding yeah. in the wild, I should specify. Yep. <clears throat> A lowland Raichu is best Raichu. There you go. Oops. So now we gain EVs and in, in other stats for the next little bit. I am teaching Thief. Okay. Because I have some Rock types coming up. Oh, I guess I guess Thief helps against Rock types. That's smart. Yeah. Still saving because I'm terrified. <laughs> Oh, you're on... Okay, I was just like, how are you fighting an Ekans already? You're already on Nugget Bridge? Teach me. No, like, no. Okay. no, no, no. I haven't made it to Mount Moon yet. <laughs> A little bit slower. Yeah, I was like, how is this possible? Come on. <laughs> I'm never going to win these races. Yes. Uh, um, let's go for the Thundershock. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, that's gosh. That's really relevant, but... <clears throat> Oh. I am so worried about this. The second league is going to be brutal. Oh, it's going to be brutal. Brutal beyond brutal. Yeah, static is pretty reliable. I didn't realize how good static is because it's a 30% chance if they make contact. Is that what it yes. is? Yeah, it's really good. I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but is this my first static user? Ooh. It might be. I've been so scared of playing yeah. electric types. <laughs> yeah, you haven't done this before. That's another thing to mention, because up until now, with all these runs we've done, you have you've done at least the line before, uh, like starting unevolved. But yes. we, we uh, I have done this one before, so the, it's, we're inverting what's happening down here. What's happening here? Mm -hmm. I've done this one. You have not. I have not. This is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> is there an HP up in Mount Moon? They removed that. Uh, no, not that I'm aware they of. Removed that. Okay. Um, another good bonk opportunity at the next level ladder where you get thief. Yeah. Uh, if you go forward and get and do the battle, you can then shoot straight yeah. up and then shoot straight back down, bonk him again, get yeah. what's in the hidden boulder, and then shoot straight out the ladder. Yeah, I try to do that at Jevon. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's not a place I go into very often in this generation, so. Yeah. I thought initially that Thief was going to be very useful against Misty because it's super effective mm -hmm. against the Starmie, but it, it tends to be mm -hmm. the case that if you need super effective damage against the Starmie, you probably are going to just have to level enough that you don't really need Thief anyways mm -hmm. and hit it with something else. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. And like a lot of times, like base 40, it's not that good. But in this case, it makes a lot of sense because then you can hit uh, Onyx and Geodude that pop up. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess what I'm grabbing? What are you going? Max Ether on the grab that we just found out about. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Where's that Max yeah. Ether in again? Uh, right, like right beneath the center in Vermilion. Did I get the center? Did I actually buy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I did actually buy it, because I, I went and got Thief, so I had to buy that extra repel mm -hmm. to have my, my three repels for, what's it called? The other place. Yep. Rock Tunnel, that one. Yep. <clears throat> oh, All right. right. I forgot to do that. I only, oh, I bought nine, but that, I, I'm being really inefficient here in Mount Moon, so. Uh, nine is fine, honestly. Like, they're, they're so cheap that, like, it's, it's, you don't take a huge loss buying extras. Yeah. I just wanted to line up perfectly. Yeah. It's oh, not, I know. I it's know. not about like, <laughs> and I, like I just wanted to like look beautiful in my inventory when I use the last one. Just like that's it. That's yeah. all I need. Yeah. Oh, Chinchou has static. Okay, so I have used it before. Um. Yeah. No, for mm. sure. I'm. Yeah. I am so genuinely worried about this run. Yeah. I really I'm like. Gonna... I'm just gonna be to positive for deck. a moment about Raichu. 
I really like yes. the greeny blue Thunderbolt that I put behind it on my overlay. I think it looks yep. just perfect with the Raichu uh, orange. With the orange, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mine ended up a little bit less rich, I think, than yours in color, but uh, yeah. I, I had to go with the tropical background. <laughs> yeah. I always... Uh, I always turn up the saturation. That's my trick. I I, I saw that um, just the other day. You were screwing around with your over, with your yeah. overlay on stream, and you were showing the saturation. I was like, oh, yeah. oh, oh. And then for the background texture, I made like a hue slider so that I can change the color. So that each Pokemon, like even if I use the same like electric thunderbolt for a bunch of different yep. Pokemon, I can at least change the color to make it look more interesting and a little bit more yep. unique. Yeah, I've uh, I, I saw that and I was just like, oh. <laughs> not yeah. generating an entire new image every run i used to do that we were talking about that yesterday yeah yeah, yeah i used to do that but it, um, originally yes. i remember alakazam versus gengar mm -hmm. i redid my overlay like the oh. styling of it to try and update it back then it took me yes. eight, eight hours to make the gengar overlay because i wow. started from scratch and did everything again mm -hmm. whoa use thunderbolt we're okay yeah, I think I've only, I think I've only done a full overhaul of my overlay the one time, and that was when I introduced um, the live stats. Okay. I I think aside from that, like there was just yeah, like I I from the start, my my biggest goal was giving as much screen real estate as possible to um, the gameplay itself. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. And uh, I I don't need to worry about escape ropes this time. Thank you, because I have a dig user. Imagine that. So nice. So uh, nice. I didn't even need to get secret power, did I? Also, I can just go brick break. Right. Over Mega just Punch, yeah. destroys the rival. Oh, I know. It's so good. Eh? This feels like so good after the last one. Get out of here. Uh, oh, I know. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it's My true. Is doing. Okay, so I want to draw everyone's attention once again to my EVs here. 88 HP, 94 defense, and then 37 speed. Only 6 special attack, 4 physical attack, and 0 special defense. 0 special zero. defense, yeah. Do you know the first Pokemon that gives special defense? Tentacruel, I want to say, like somewhere in the SSN. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like on a trainer, as far as wild battles. Yeah. Oh, no, Drowsy, maybe? Maybe the Drowsy, yeah. Maybe the Drowsy, I'll check. Yeah. I'll check on the Drowsy fight, yeah. if I remember. Remind now, me, the chat. thing about Drowsies I keep having to remind myself is that... Um... Oh, by the way, definitely picking up the Versus Seeker in this run. Um, <sighs> yeah, good Vermilion. idea. Um, where, where is it? Shoot. Sorry, where is the Versus Seeker? Uh, Vermilion Poke Center, like right next to the Heal Lady. It's the little cool trainer that sits there. Right next to the heel desk. Okay. Like right next to where you're yeah, Like you yeah. talk to her, you turn left, and there's the lady that Got gives it. you the versus seeker. seeker. Um, yeah, but with that versus seeker, uh, speaking of the magnetons, actually, this is, um, what am I doing? This might be, uh, or this is, I should say, one of the first runs I'm genuinely considering EV grinding those magnetons. <laughs> What do they give? They use special defense or special attack? Two special attack per. And Two there's a guy you attack. can rematch with the Versus Seeker just outside Vermilion that has three Magnetons. So you oh, can just yeah, get yeah. like yeah. six over and over and over. But um, Got it. it is using the Versus Seeker, so it is slower. But, you know, maybe. maybe Wait, we might necessary. need it this time. I don't, I don't know. The other part of me that's just is just like get to level 100 as fast as possible yeah. and and hope that Scott does it slower. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the play. There there might also be a play though of like you you can actually do everything riskier and then you'll just beat me cuz I'm being quite conservative at the current time. Like I'm not yeah. really pushing. Um yeah, I'm also making sure to heal in the route 10 because if we want to come back for the thunder TM later or for PP items anything in the power plant, uh this is definitely one of those times that I'm grabbing that fly location to make sure it's unlocked. Mm. Oh, that's smart. Oh, nice dodge. I I didn't think about that. Going in the center there and healing actually has an added advantage when compared with Gen 1. Because in Gen 1, there is no advantage to going into the center. You get off your bike, and it actually requires more menu time than to get back on the bike. 
But in right. this gen, going into the center sets the waypoint so you can come back to the power, point, power plant mm -hmm. faster later on. Yeah. Hmm. And especially like, any Pokemon that I foresee potentially needing um, protect... Oh, not protect. Um, sorry, thunder. Um, or in the odd case, PP restoring items. I, I generally make sure to get that... Uh, tag that fly location on the way by. Even even I think if you just walk into the building and walk immediately out, it should be fine. It gives yeah. you the fly, fly location. Yeah, Drowsy is the first special defense de uh, EV that is mandatory. I don't know if there's another non-mandatory one somewhere, but that's the uh, first mandatory one. I'm trying to one. think. A non-mandatory Drowser before that guy. I'm not sure if there is. Where am I? Oh my gosh, lost myself for oh, a second there. <laughs> there's a, there's an Venonat on Route 12. Where's that? Uh, Route 12? That's way down. That's like south of Snorlax. Is it? Is that Route on the 12? way to Fuchsia? I'm pretty sure that's Route 12. Yeah, because that's where that rare candy is. The the Sorry, rare route, uh, 12. route 12 rare candy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I gotta learn my route names better. Oh gosh, Soul Silver. It's just like yeah, it's on Route 30 something. I'm Over sure because everything is on Route 30 something. It seems. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's a heal bed. Cool. Oh, look at that, eh? Yeah. Did you know that there's a heal bed in that room? I did. Good no, one. but like in, in every Generation 1 video, did you know that there's oh, a heal bed? there is? Oh, yeah. I should really go there more often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how <sighs> many times do you think you've had that comment in your tenure as a creator? Um, Shoot. Only like one video. I made the Venomoth video and then it was like 30 times on the one video. <laughs> It was <laughs> genuinely like everyone piled on and was like, actually, there's a bed. Just go and heal. Like, I definitely know there's a bed. I remember yeah. using it. There's no bed. Yeah, yeah there's it. no bed. There is no bed. Getting but it was Mandela like all that one video. Between generations. Yeah. Yeah. And then ever since then, uh, ever since then, I've occasionally got it. And every time it bothers me a little bit because I got it so <laughs> many times on one video. Yeah. And That's like, so funny. I, I think the. Like, the longer I do this, the more I realize that I'm not actually frustrated in myself. Like, I'm more frustrated that I didn't put in the video and, ex like, I didn't anticipate the fact that this would be the most common question that right. would be asked about this portion of the gameplay. So I'm trying more and more when I'm making my videos to think, like, what will viewers most likely need to know or want to ask about the footage that I'm currently showing them? And then right. just preemptively answering those questions rather than waiting for people to comment and then answering in another video. And then it doesn't feel like as creatively satisfying because everything isn't all wrapped up together in one video. Nice bow on top. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I um, I am not as refined. Like, I, I think I remember you saying too that like you will watch your videos like start to finish three times just to like fact check and error check everything. Yeah. Um, it's not something that I do. I've been trying mm. to in find ways of incorporating more, um, I guess, just checks against myself. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely one of those time versus worthwhile yeah. kind of arguments. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it feels like it's not worth it because I check <clears> it a bunch of times, then I put it out, and within like the first 30 seconds, people have commented like, hey, there's like all these <laughs> mistakes. Like, did you notice this mistake? Did you? I'm like, oh, gosh. Like, yeah. I looked through it uh, so many times. Like, I, I yeah. can't believe there are still mistakes. Yeah. I just kind of accepted the fact that I... Like, I might be able to unle like release a video at some point that has no errors, but, like, that's just that's just part of my charm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's that's what we're going with <laughs> but uh I, i'm not i'm not um like i don't i don't play myself up as the best or anything like that like clearly i have a lot to learn in both of these games and my execution is not top level i just love playing them and love telling yeah. people about my experience playing them and uh yeah just kind of constantly competing against my oh shoot this guy uh constantly competing against myself to uh to get better to play better yeah nice yeah there is it's no gentleman a... candy oh on the ssn yeah yeah there's a candy on the ssn it's moved to just uh between the two cities now oh the right next to the citrus there yeah that's the one yeah i have a weird set what are you running right now 
Uh, right now, I've got Thunderbolt, Thundershock, Thief, and Brick Break. Okay, you didn't teach Dig then. I have not taught Dig, no. Interesting. I, I tend to stray away from it on my main runner, and I don't know if that's yeah. necessarily the right call or not. I'm ah, just so lazy. Enough. I, I preferred it. Like clearly, you saw what happens when I yeah. don't have dig on my H on my HM cheerleader last run. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you can if you can get out of a place with dig and just have it there and know that it's there all the time. But you can buy another one. You can buy another one in uh, the Celadon Mart. You I can. Always, yes. I always oh. forget that that's a thing. I should yeah. definitely be doing that. Uh, same with Brick Break. Very very useful. Um. This is where the hello? gentleman candy is. Hello. Oh my gosh. They gonna get you? The sand slashes. If I black out, I'm blacking out. Oh yeah, you gotta take it. Holy take reset, moly! The blackout, yeah. Okay. Again, like, see, the second I start getting more invested in the conversation, all of a sudden I'm like at <laughs> okay. zero health and paralyzed. All right, I gotta keep you talking. <laughs> How do I keep you talking? <laughs> gotta catch up. It's the only way. <laughs> oh man. Still have PP on brick break, right? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now here's the question. Against Kangaskhan, do I go for the Brick Break or the Thunderbolt? I only have one Brick Break, so I don't think it's going to matter. That does about half. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Thunderbolt goes this away. Guy yeah. Because I think he's going to give me a defense EV. Oops. Yeah, you can even tell that uh, on my Rattata, because usually I'm using Meowth for this, uh, for yep. my HM cheerleader. Yeah. And uh, you can even tell on um, like how my muscle memory is working trying to like get to dig. I'm so used to it being in the second or the first slot instead of the oh, second right. slot because you have to teach yep. it to Meowth as opposed to Rattata who just straight learned it. Yeah. Oh gosh, I am speaking of PP, I have zero 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 and some thunder shocks. Let's uh, uh -oh. maybe not do this gym right now. The chop give attack. Okay. Oh, yeah. I do you want that rare candy? Oh, yeah. Every rare candy. Every rare candy, yep. What do we got? 13 that I know of for sure with that 14th in the, uh, lost, the lost Cave uh, or Lost Whatever. Axu can tell which means, us where that is. Yeah. I, I was going to say, which, yeah. which means that we're grinding to level 84 or 86, sorry. <laughs> yeah, full EVs is 255. But only the first, um, the first, uh, what's it called? Only the first 252 actually make a material difference. Yes. Every four points, it increases your stat by one. Yeah. So having the three extra at 255 is redundant. Oh, Gyarados, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. That feels good every time. Another case in which the math operation floors it divides by four, and then floors. Uh, which divides by four? Uh, the calculation to create stats. Mm. It takes the EVs, divides them by four, and then floors. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's a term I'm still getting used to with the flooring. Floor, yeah. I'm so used to saying truncate, or just, you know, bye-bye yeah, decimal, round forget down. about it. Round yeah. down, yeah. I should probably just say round down. Yeah. Be clearer for everyone. It depends on how much of a nerd you want to be called, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too funny. Can you skip this trainer in Rock Tunnel? There's there's two trainers that I wonder if you can skip. There's a guy with two Pokemon, Machop and Onyx. Machop and then and Onyx. someone else with four Pokemon after you go down the next ladder. Um, The four guy, I ha uh, both of them I have not found a way to skip them, but I have found alternates, so... Okay. The four guy after the ladder is usually the one I fight. Uh, the guy yeah. beneath him has three Pokemon, but he's a little bit scarier. I'm saving ahead of this Marowak, by the way. Um, yeah, Marowak, terrifying. Yeah, and wow. then, oh, I lost the lost the plot for a second there. Marowak okay. is scary. <laughs> oh, yeah, Boomerang misses. Gosh, I'm saving again. 
Um, oh, yes, and then the other guy that has two Pokemon, I usually go down the lower route, because uh, there's a guy with a single level 25 Geodude as opposed to two Pokemon on the lower oh. route. Oh, oh, I don't know where that is. Interesting. Uh, we can if we there's time or like you know we, we could I can always show you at some point. Sure. You'll, yeah, we 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 have time. You can explore the game. There's there's yeah, options. Yeah. <laughs> Go do the work, Scott. Look at look look through the cave and find all the places. I know I should do this. These are the kind of Not, things where it's like I should actually spend the time and like just go through every area and just really, mm -hmm. really, really like evaluate my decision making and go, am I actually fighting the trainers that are correct? Whereas sometimes yeah. I get a little bit in like a like a holding pattern where I'm just like, well, like this is good enough, and then I'll just not ever it examine ain't broke. it. Yeah. 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 No, no, I just had the perfect idea. I'll go and I'll item hunt everything i'll take screenshots it'll be beautiful i'll lay it all out and yeah. uh while i'm doing that you can update all of my code yes okay that sounds fun <laughs> i'm up for that oh no please oh. hey i'll knock this out defense um i oh yeah and if you want to see a full item collection of sylph i will likely be doing one this time oh sweet so I'll, if you want to just kind of come keep, back and watch this. Yeah, or keep stream, half yeah. an eye open on my screen so that you're playing worse. That'd be good, too. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're not competitive. We're not competitive. No, not just a little. Just a little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> you get a black belt in the meantime? I could, actually. I Oh, why am I using Thunderbolts here? Um, I do intend to get the black belt here. I see Brick Break being a pivotal part of Raichu's late game strategy. And the fact that we can chop and change out Brick Break as many times as we want. Within limits, but of course, I don't think oh. we're going to run out of money before we run out of need for Brick Break. <clears throat> yeah, Brick Break seems pretty pivotal. Yeah. I don't know if I want to... Health is not doing a great... <laughs> Not gonna make Egg is so desperate to win one of these. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This was supposed to be my game, guys. <laughs> Getting my butt kicked. I was surprised. I've been surprised that I've been able to beat you. It's been awesome, honestly. Like win lose. Like I'm I'm having a blast regardless. Oh, I'm glad. That's I'm that's learning what some stuff. You're learning some stuff. The chat's having a good time. You're having a good time, right, chat? <clears throat> chat who I'm trying my best to not ignore as much as last time but is no. still missing a lot <laughs> Don't come here. am i going return for the rival undetermined yet i'm scared of using a return because i don't like you can't get it back mm -hmm. and i, I don't want to exactly. accidentally use it too early and then need it later and have to have flexibility yep no that is exactly the path i'm following there's like so much to be scared of i feel like in this run <laughs> especially late game like it, just like the the odds just stack up against Raichu mm -hmm. oh especially in round two like the the number of earthquakes is just ludicrous ah oh, so close to the one shot I'm so curious as to how our natures are going to affect how we like what kind of time we both have yeah. in this run yeah I'm really curious too it's a cool little use case. Oh, darn. Uh, cute, cool little uh, comparison case. Because, you know, I'd say that, like, you know, given a few playstyle differences and methodology differences and things like that, like, I'd say, like, execution-wise, we're within the same ballpark of skill. So, like, yeah. the nature, like, I think it's going to be a really cool nature comparison. I think so, as too. Well, which is something that I definitely need to get better with. Don't worry, I'm sure there's five other natures that are way better that everyone in the comments is going to tell us about. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> how it always feels. Every time I pick my nature, I'm like, yeah, this one definitely seems like the best. And yeah, then there's no way I'm getting this one wrong. Yeah, yeah. Immediately, people are just like, actually, um, <laughs> you definitely did not think this through. Can I use yeah. this? Or will it only increase use. the HP by one? I think it will only increase the HP by one. And there we go. All Sylph items collected. At least the ones that I care about. Sweet. 
You know what would really change this thing? If we got access to bulk up. <laughs> that would really or help. Combine, or Nasty really, Plot, really or help. Sword Stance, or... Hmm. Insert move that isn't yeah. what we have here. All right. Should I attempt? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Let's try it. This is this is usually how I play a first round. I just go charge heads uh head head <clears throat> excuse me. Charge heads headlong into uh rival 5 and just see how it goes. Yeah. I think rival 5 is going to be okay. I don't think the rival is going to be that bad in this playthrough. <laughs> maybe I'm Apparently wrong. Thundershock does not one-shot Gyarados, so maybe oh, I should just that's be relying on Thunderbolt. A little bit concerning. Right. A little bit concerning. A little bit. That's a that's a lot concerning. Oh gosh, just keep going for Thunderbolt. What you, am I doing? Just you go for the did, Thunderbolts. Did, did you do special attack boosting? You did like Naughty or no, Mild. No. Um, I did special attack boosting. Yeah, yeah. So mine's going to be worse. Got it. TMKs. Oh, not TMKs. I want my berry. Oh, I forgot what I was here for. Yeah, well, oh I yeah, the Black Belts. I need to go get myself yeah, I'm, a I'm uh, get it now. Black Belt, yeah. Do, 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 do. How is Pidgeot faster than me? I guess I am minus speed nature, and we're pretty close in levels. Ah, uh, that feels better. Oh, that feels so much better. Okay, yeah, I was... I call myself a belt. <laughs> I was, um... Ah, the Razor Leaf, man. No, Rival 5 might be a bit tricky right now, just out of a sheer power standpoint. Okay, is he? He's getting you. He is getting me. Oh, okay, yeah, interesting. Um, I'm just not dealing enough damage to Venusaur. Uh, actually, make it, go get uh, get my black belt. It's not going to help in that fight, but it's XP. Yeah, there's five trainers in there, so it's decent. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a max. Am ether. I holding something? I'm holding something right now. So hold on, because <laughs> you can't thief stuff when you're holding something. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, well, there's two out of the five battles completely wasted. What happened? Oh, I just, I have something equipped in my oh, held yeah. item, so I can't thief. I I realized at the very last moment that I, I had not been using thief. I was just defeating all the trainers, and I'm like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 you gotta get the item. Don't let this opportunity yeah. go to waste. And, like, there's just this small part of me that's wondering... Nice, got the black belt. Um, Small part of me that's wondering if... um. Trying to go out and find a magnet might be worth it as well, but I, uh, I feel I'm not convinced. So, yeah, my like thought around that was like, I, I think that Raichu has enough special attack and like the same type of attack bonus with mm -hmm. uh, Thunderbolt will be enough for that move to hit hard enough. So I'm I'm thinking that like the coverage is where the investment needs to go, but I might be wrong. That it, no, that's that's the exact train of thought that I was on when I was considering going for the uh, attack nature instead of the defense, or um, special attack, excuse me. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. All these so intimidates are really annoying when you're using a lot of <sighs> physical moves. Yep. It's like intimidates with ground users. Right, she doesn't like yep. to see that. <laughs> just exist to mess you up. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, and like, they just... They they made me hate earthquake in this generation, and that's 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 something I just cannot forgive. Like it it's it went so from good. one of my favorite moves. Like it's it is it's so, yeah, it's good. so good. Before this, um, but then uh, it became heavily used against me, and all the fights that I heavily relied on it for, it no longer works in. So <laughs> I feel like it might be the second best offensive move in Generation One. Yeah, like Blizzard is obviously the best. But I think that it might be second best. Yeah. It is really just so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Erica. I this is why I was avoiding facing Erica too, is just I, I without the coverage you need the damage. And I just don't Oh, so this is going badly for you? Um, I don't have a move that hits her for neutral damage aside from Thief though. So like, should I should I back out right now? <laughs> it's like that's where I'm, I just went. <laughs> I'm thinking about it myself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I'll go do. I, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I have to do first. So yeah, well, cause, yeah, I, I know that that Koga is not going to be too much of an issue. Oh yeah, I didn't get 
I think it, like, I haven't no. done like anything. Yes. Okay, there we go. Whew. Secret power is better than thief at this point? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I got that black belt before I got rid of thief. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> First or second playthrough, uh, this is my first attempt ever with Raichu. This is Scott's second with Raichu, however... I was Pikachu last time. Yeah, and Started. plus, like, what, a, a year plus ago that you ran it? And... Yeah, it's been uh, around a year, yeah. Yeah. Ran it. Um, second run of the stream, HP Water, we are not using HP in this stream, unfortunately. In order for me to line up with Scott's rules a little bit better. The pain. <laughs> Seriously. This one this one would benefit from hidden power much oh. more than most Pokemon. HP water. It's right there in my chat. I want it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, calciums I want. Zinc I don't want. HP up I don't want. Carbos I don't want. Ugh, Hyper Beam is conditionally the best. Yeah. Yeah. Hyper Beam is quite good. Uh, what am I at right now? I have 37... 67, so I need three calciums and three you proteins. 10 each, I'm, right? I'm going all out offense. Uh, they give 10, 10 each, each on what, yeah. sorry? On the EVs. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. They uh, they give 10, capping at 100. Yep. Do you know if you use one when you have 99, if it puts you to 100 or if it puts it, you to 103? It, it does. So, um... Right now, I have 97 attack or special attack. If I had bought and if I had purchased the additional calcium, I'd have 100. Okay, so, so it, it, it does not threshold. overflow, unfortunately. It overflows in Generation One. Gen One. So Maybe if I you should use, just start playing Gen One. Yeah, if you use the uh, <laughs> the vitamin, you can be one yeah. stat uh, stat experience point lower than the threshold, and you can use a full vitamin. It takes okay. you up much higher, and it takes all the way. Yep. Yep. That was something I was looking into is it's just like, yeah, is, is this worth the time investing? And then once like, I've, I've got some pin stats in front of me so I can see my EVs and it's like, I, yeah, I, I think I did. I went from like 98 to 100 on one 98 poke dollar, 9,800 poke dollar purchase. And I was like, well, that was not worth it at all. Yeah. Yeah. It can sometimes feel like they don't do mm -hmm. that much. Yeah. I also like, this is the first run where I'm, I feel like my brain is really starting to like digest the potential of EVs because up until mm -hmm. now it doesn't seem to make sense to spend any time thinking about them because you're just going through the game really quickly but adding yeah. the second league attempt and then adding the extreme struggle against Brock those are two factors that like adjusted my thinking just slightly mm -hmm. yeah for sure um it took me a while to really get the EVs, um, like that thought process to be more present in my planning. Mm -hmm. um, and really, a lot of it just boils down to I needed it in this run, so now I'm aware of it. I needed it in this run, so now I'm aware of it. It's yep. like that's pretty much what it boiled down to. And just over time, like over the last year, just playing the game over and over yeah. and over. <laughs> that's why I've been trying to um, just like give HP. I didn't see. Um, that's why I've been trying really like as much as possible when I'm playing a new game to play a variety of types. So every week it's like making sure that I'm playing the game with a different type Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing the game with the same like dual type too much. Like, so if I do a like yep. ground poison type, then alternate to something that is not ground or poison. Just get as much experience with each typing and each kind of like mm -hmm. different style of Pokemon as possible early on into the run so that it, when I come up against the similar problem, like I'm running a defensive Pokemon and it's like a water type, let's say, then I know yeah. sort of how defensive water types approach the game. Right, yeah. Yeah, and it definitely, yeah, like it definitely comes with experience for sure. Um, just kind of getting like a natural knack for like, e even within like the damage ranges and everything like that, like you, you start to get a very good feel of like, oh, I know that Koga should be easy because there's no way my Thunderbolts aren't two-shotting Muck and he's the only one I'm worried about. Yeah. Like, that that kind of... You just kind of get a sense to that over after many, many times playing the game. <laughs> I just realized how I can show the enemies' EVs. When I go into the EV display, 
in my stats on the bottom left. If I open up that menu, then all of the enemy stats on the right hand side of the screen cannot show current stats anymore, but EV yields. Mm. So then we can toggle back and forth and check out, be exact about which enemy Pokemon give which EVs. Gotcha. I just go on. Uh, actually, that one I usually go to uh, PokemonDatabase.com.net. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I like their layout much better for figuring out who gives what I EVs. Yeah, Bulbapedia I find a little bit confusing with, with the EVs. Yeah. Uh, Raichu does have a lot more coverage than some electric types, but that does not make it good. Yeah, this is like actually, yeah, we haven't mentioned that. We've just been like whinging on about how bad Raichu is, but <laughs> actually we should we should spend a moment just RIP every other electric type in this game that like yeah. the exclusive coverage is like electric and normal moves. Yeah, it's okay. so brutal. Um, somebody mentioned earlier that Giovanni is going to be a, uh, a really difficult battle. I agree, but I do not think it's going to be the most difficult in the run. Uh, Giovanni, the, uh, gym leader, that is. Oh, any of the Giovannis, really, but, uh, especially the gym leader, who mm. I'm pretty sure every member has he's gonna, Earthquake. He's going to be, like, annoying, but I don't know if he's going to be difficult, because mm -hmm. his team is so much worse in this game when compared to his team in yellow, so I'm used to him on, like, extreme mode. And today, I feel like he's yeah. going to be less. I am going to respectfully disagree and keep my mouth right. shut until you until you eat your words. Sure, no, no, because I know he has a lot of earthquake <laughs> in these games, so I I could be very wrong, and I or am. or I'm wrong. It's entirely possible. Ooh, thief only for Nido Queen. How do you think this is gonna go? Let's just reset now. No, I uh, I I feel, and this might be just based on my experience with Magneton. Um, Giovanni is gonna be bad in okay. many ways. <laughs> um, when did you do Magneton? What was I doing? Oh, this was... Excuse me, this was an early video, so... Okay. Oh, jeez, excuse me. It's been um, a while. It has been a while. Let's get secret power. I'm not quite willing to teach Return yet, just because I'm terrified of not having that move if I need it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Yellow Giovanni is definitely the strongest Giovanni iteration. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they gave that guy Machamp in the remakes. It's really cool. Mm hmm Yeah, on Cycling Road. Oh, not gosh, this Needle it. Queen. Oh, my gosh. Angus gone. Yeah, this is bad. Giovanni is bad. Even uh, Sylph Giovanni. You're fighting Sylph Giovanni? Okay. Been quite bad so far. I'm so behind. Break, break. Yeah, that's out. I might have to go do more training, honestly. Um, actually, no, behind. I'm going to, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I figured it out. Hey, Chris Quinn, thanks for making it. All right, I got a plan. I got a plan. Is it a good plan? We'll find, find out. out next time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Find out on the next exciting episode of Scott Kicks Matt's Ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Matt's much better than me. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> uh, I think I think if I, I, yeah, Matt, oh gosh, in Gen 1, he would destroy me if, if we did a <laughs> races like this. Ugh. Uh, sorry, are you saying gym leader Matt or gym yeah. leader Matt? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, in Gen One, no way. I'd be, you'd be done the league, and I'd be like, how do I? Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, what? we did. The, yeah, but you don't play Gen One, you, so like, wait, wait a minute. You you don't need to get the self scope in this game. Yeah, you don't. You don't. <laughs> it's okay. We can argue for a really long time about if that's actually intended play or not. So, <laughs> uh, what is it like? It's um. It's no longer the badge boost glitch. It's just the badge boost feature. Is yes, that, uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> speaking truth now. Also, I know yeah. I can go the other way, but I'm going to fight all these people because they give good experience and I want as much experience as possible right now. Yep. Um, somebody was asking earlier if you and I are ever going to do any backported runs like uh, like I did with Speedrunner last week. Um, mm. I'm not against it, but uh, I definitely... 
Stepping outside into like the backports is something that I really enjoy doing because it's it's a really fun what if question. Yeah. But uh, I also really enjoy just playing, yeah, Raichu through the game as intended. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, I just I love playing this game. It's so fun. It is. I, I think like <clears throat> like uh, I don't have the technical know how yet to do the backports in Generation Three, but mm -hmm. uh, I guess like two, a year and a half ago I did my first backport on Halloween for Mischievous. And then last year I did a bunch of crystal backports and I streamed those. So I feel like mm. there is a trend now emerging as <laughs> to what happens in October. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let's see. What's a, what's a fun ghost type I that I know? Uh, Sh Shanda, Shanda Lure or Sh Sh the yeah, that's a good fire one. ghost thing. Yeah. That's a really good backport one. That one. Yeah. I know, I know things from new generations. Look at me guys. Not much, though. I know quite... A, I, I know a decent amount about... Like, obviously, I'm not, like, a competitive player. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing competitively, but mm -hmm. uh, I know a decent amount about the new games because I play them casually for fun, but... Yeah. I don't take I, uh, them super serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, playing Soul Silver and then Pokemon White on stream is as far into the franchise as I've gone. I just, I, I hit Fire Red and I never left. I love Fire Red. Yeah. I it took like my Gen favorite game and added a run button. What more could I ask for? Yeah, the run running is nice. <laughs> um, I do feel like uh, in Generation 3, it, it does feel like they got a lot of stuff right. Like it just kind of mm -hmm. like they dialed in a lot of things that weren't working particularly well from a balanced perspective in Generation 1. And then in Generation 3, it just feels like they they dialed all that in and everything just, just works a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, I also think It definitely that, feels like it has that, that little added layer of polish. Yeah. And something I always uh, maybe put too much emphasis on is like the pacing of a game and like how does it feel to play like does it feel like you're wading through molasses the entire time or do you feel like you're mm -hmm. having fun and you're able to just like kind of go at the speed of your thoughts and like oh I want to go over there so you just go there and on the way there's tons of stuff that's interesting uh, I think that Gen 3 does that quite well mm -hmm. whereas a game like Generation 4 I would say is a little bit more of like you're going to be here for a while it's not going to be yeah. that interesting <laughs> um, just use Thunderbolt on the Cubone. Well, didn't. Oh, that I've very good. used many electric moves against ground types this run so far. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I uh, I would agree. Yeah, I'm also um. Like when I'm when I'm running my first run, second run, typically I'm not doing them back to back, and this is why. Oh yeah, you um, get tired. Well, not well tired. A um, and B because not only are we playing two different runs, but or um, yeah, yeah two separate playthroughs, 100%. but two separate Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm confusing my what have I done and what haven't I done yeah. already. This is something that I tried to explain in Electrode vs Magneton uh, because. I used to, and a lot of people have suggested to me that to be as fair as possible, I should play like until Brock with both Pokemon, then alternate. Play like Electrode to Brock, then Magneton to Brock, then play Magneton to Misty, then play Electrode to Misty, and go back and okay. forth so that I'm not like yeah. having overall more experience in the first run when compared with the second run. And right. my feeling about that, and I did used to do that, like that's what I used to do back in the like Pinsir versus Scyther days a long time ago. I actually think that my play with both Pokemon became worse because my brain was having to so quickly switch back and forth between I see what like you're the saying. concept I I of thinking, each run. I, yeah, I was I was thinking very much in the sense of editing it in that style, not playing yeah, it no, in no, that style. No, no, playing it in that style. Ooh, no, I, d I don't think I could do that. Yeah. It would, it would, it would frazzle me way, it would scramble me way yeah. too much. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that, that is what I found. I felt like it, it really does scramble you and it the, made the play with all the Pokemon substandard. And definitely yeah. the way I currently do it, there is an advantage with the Pokemon that goes second, undoubtedly, right. which is why I try and do the weaker Pokemon second so that it has more of a chance to learn from the mistakes of the first Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do follow-ups anyways. I, I just do like to be as transparent as possible with the first runs so that yeah. it's clear yeah. like what my approach is. And where is this? You said there's a PP up somewhere. 
Um, okay, so, so in the plant. Oh, it's um, in the power the plant? plant right, the, okay, so the elixir plant and then the yeah. plant right when you walk in. Right when I walk in is a PP up. Should be. Cool. As oh, I sweet. sit and just yep, watch your correct. stream for a second. <laughs> uh, this is how I do it. Yeah, there you go. Gaining advantages. Uh, unfortunately, I did not watch where the item was in the berry forest, so I just won't get it. I uh, hope that that's right, okay. Right, uh, you know like when you get to the little lake right before yep. you go north? There is another lake, lake just south of that lake. Surf across okay. that and then cut through four trees. Oh gosh, okay, maybe, maybe next time. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, uh, it was like when I cut through all the trees, I was like, I don't actually know if this is ever going to be worth it. Like, yeah. maybe in the case that I realize that I have, uh, like, used way too many in the first league and I absolutely yeah. am, like, desperate for a, a PP restoring item, but with yeah. all the other ones we, we found, I, I don't think that that one's going to be that impactful. Mm -hmm. Just wastes too much time. Yeah. Well, and yeah, like, having... Okay. Two in the power plant is yes. definitely a lot faster than... Do I need to heal? I should heal. Um, two in the power plant is definitely a faster grab than, like, going through all the way to the islands, cutting through a bunch of bushes. Like, yeah, yeah. definitely. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I already beat this guy. Okay, right. Uh, Giovanni, Giovanni. Okay, Giovanni round two. Oh, gosh, you're so ahead. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm really hoping you get walled in the league somewhere. That's like my whole strategy in this has basically been like invest early on and then be better set up for the late game so that I can uh, catch up. I just, I just love your transparency of just, I hope you suffer and like, in, in the leagues. Yeah. Like I really, yeah. I, I, like that's my only way of winning now. I think I'm no, it's uh it's the eighth gym badge is the one eighth I'm badge, most, yeah. Um, scared of right now in my upcoming fights because at least there's okay. some grinding opportunity um, yeah. leading up to the leagues, whereas a decent true. grinding opportunity, whereas like right now I'm actually debating Sabrina's gym. No, I'm going to skip it. I might regret it, but... Okay, I think my EVs are maxed, everyone. Um, oh, yes. So, speaking of EVs, another reason why I um, went towards the plus special attack nature is because there are like innumerable attack EVs as compared yeah. to special attack EVs within the game. Very true. And I figured that uh, my training would lead me down attack EVs and maybe they'd just be balanced. Yeah, just know. to back up your point uh, with yes. some data, I currently have 118 attack EVs and 34 special attack EVs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a dramatic difference. Mm -hmm. Egg is ahead this time. That's right. Respect. <laughs> it only took me five races, but you know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <clears throat> Been distracted by work? No, it's fine. I'm uh, very, very much distracted from chat these uh, these last couple of streams. I uh, appreciate everybody still showing up and putting up with it. Come on, come on. Fight me, fight me. There we go. Yeah, thanks everyone for showing up and... I'm not being as active as I normally am with chat, so. Yeah, I've uh, definitely hit the point of the game where I'm now, um, like you said, that you were trying to do a whole bunch of grinding and like get ahead, get get an early foot up on the on the rest of the game, yeah. and now I'm I I'm not even stepping foot into Giovanni's gym until I yeah. clear out the sea, until I clear out like. <laughs> like put the time in now before. Yeah, like yeah. why why bother? I'm still making EVs at this point, so I can still target which EVs I want. Right. And because um, I did the training earlier, that's why mine have capped out uh, mm -hmm. earlier than yours. I've got to be close. Um, Thundershock I am keeping around for power points right now. It is absolutely the most sacrificial thing on my moveset. Wait, Th Thundershock. Oh, you still have Thundershock. Okay, yeah. I still have Thundershock, yeah. I've been stubbornly holding on to it. I have a coding question from Thomas. How easy would it be to remove the limit for EVs? Uh, I think that would be fairly easy, Ooh. honestly. I would think I so. I haven't looked at like I haven't looked at the like I have no idea what it looks like, but uh, I think it would be fairly straightforward. That sounds opinion. like something. Um, figuring out like absolute max level EVs. Like I'm, I'm willing to do a Magikarp run with like nine 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 attack. I beat Silk Scoop. Giovanni on my first attempt, but it was oh close. nice. He was not that kind to me. I definitely backtracked uh, to come back to him. But you have yeah. cleared more of the game. What are you at? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah. I, well, I haven't even fought Erica yet, so. Yeah, got... her I held. Yeah, I, I kind of attempted and then failed and then came back to. Yeah. <clears throat> I I went to her gym, but then I was then you were like being a little bit stressed fighting her. I was like, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just backing out right now. <laughs> It's not that it was horrible. Like it was definitely achievable. It just wasn't the smart call. Plus, I don't yeah. think I had power points. That's fair. Or no, that was the first time I think I went in there. I don't know. Mixing up my runs already. But yeah, like right now I'm using my thunder shock because I can, and I'm one shotting anything anyway. So like yeah. it is here exclusively for PP. Um, because I knew that there would be grinding. I like there's no way Raichu is not grinding. I think I'm a higher level than you will ever. Are you? You are a higher level than me. I'm 55 right now. Well, wait oh, for it. Wait for now. it. Oh, never mind. I'm 56 now, but you're 57, so fine. Never mind. Oh, you can dig out of Sabrina's gym. That's yep. cool. Yep, yep, yep. I, yeah, uh, see these streams? I, every time I learn something, mm -hmm. that's really good. Did you remember that. the Koga shortcut? Uh, yeah, but I didn't take it because I just fought all the trainers. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have restored my PP before coming on this route. Fine. <clears throat> the University Magikarp Scott made. Oh, oh um, yeah. is that when you gave? Uh, what did it have? It has a uh, uh, what's it called? That uh, Dragon Dragon Rage. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dragon Rage Magikarp. All right, so you're good until like Surge. And then what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, to be, so you receive it, but uh, the best information that I believe we have on it, because there was only mm. 10 distributed or 20, they're like very rare. That's it? Yeah, they're probably gone. Wow. There's probably not a legitimate one left in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, or if there is, the cartridge is long since broken. Yeah, so then it's gone <laughs> anyways. It's been erased. Yeah. Um. Anyways, because of that, uh, we don't have a lot of information on them, but we, I, I think that the trainer ID was already set. So when I started, I it was disobedient, and then oh. it hated me throughout the entire run, and it was like the most painful thing I've ever had to do. Believe me, uh, would, even though it can one-shot stuff in the early game, it doesn't want to. Would you prefer to do that, or... Oh, shoot, I lost it again. Never mind. I'll come back to it. That or a different awful run, but I, I lost it because I was healing yeah, and thinking about power points. Like Weedle, <laughs> Weedle and Ditto are the other ones that are bad. Metronome. That was the question. Oh, I would rather uh, do would Metronome. Rather do... I think Metronome would oh, be yeah? hilarious, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will do it at some point. People always request it, but I, I want to make sure like the, the tech and everything is going to look really good so that we yeah. can have like some bespoke Metronome graphics that are showing oh, us all the moves gosh. and we can like really yeah. dig into each move. And I want to play it with animations on as well so that we can see all the mm -hmm. different animations at yeah, certain points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't fight that. I had, okay. Uh, I have not cleared this path. I've not cleared any trainers on Cycling Road. Okay. Yeah, I'm just full grinding right now. I'm probably going to grind all of Giovanni's gym as well. Um, mm -hmm. I just, I need all of it. This is where you start realizing that in these games, there actually isn't that much experience available. Because mm -hmm. you, you get to a certain level and then it starts feeling like, oh, it takes a lot of, like a lot of resistance to get to the next level. Yeah. You have to yeah, do that, like that five curve. trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Which um kind of speaks to the point where like now I'm back here defeating these trainers. Um it might have it probably would have been more effective to defeat these all on the first pass down cycling road because then I yeah. would have had more levels for uh Giovanni, I would have had more levels for well everything really. That was what I did. Yeah. I've learned this in yeah. my yellow runs that it's like if you want to train, you need to train the first time you're in the location and never come back. That's mm -hmm. always going to be the most efficient game time uh, and real time. Yeah. Uh, whereas if you yeah. if you constantly backtrack to areas, you're bleeding little bits of time here and there. Yeah. Yeah, and that's something that I definitely enjoy with the second playthroughs is that like I I pretty much just rip through with the first ones, hoping that yeah. I can yeah, get yeah. through, and then once I figure out what grinding I need, I can do it on the first pass in the second playthroughs, yes, and that exactly. alone saves. Yeah, that that alone saves a huge amount of time yeah if like if like people think we're amazing because our second runs are always better like no no no. second runs should always be better unless you do something very wrong um My, like uh, 
Because like yeah. it will occasionally happen where you'll do a second run and it's worse for some weird reason, but like they should almost always be better because just because of that principle you were speaking to. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Did you fight all the oh. people in the mansion? Ah, the mansion. Those are where those burglars exist. And like, if you're hurting for cash, it's it's a good place to get some experience, but uh, or some cash and some experience. But like, yeah, yeah. I don't I'm know. Fighting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just like fighting everyone. Yeah, I'm terrified of Steelix. I, I just like have nightmares about mm -hmm. Bruno's Steelix. Uh, with yep. Charizard, it was so bad, and I <laughs> do not want this to repeat again. Yes, and it's so did, funny uh, because like you would expect like Charizard. What are you talking about? Just flamethrower, man. I but, deleted like, flamethrower because I'm you bad. You didn't have flamethrower I'm yet. Bad. Oh. Yeah. How many how many moves do you think in these two streams that we've done have we gone? I deleted this and wish I hadn't. Uh, I try very much now to play without doing that. Uh, yeah. So like my play is very like cautionary uh, because I've done that way too many times in the past. So I try mm. to make sure that I'm not doing it currently. Okay. So. I think I only that was the one major play like that that I can think back to and go like oh, I really should have just had that move and I didn't. Yeah. 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 And that's why um like I, I don't mind grabbing a whole bunch of additional money with Raichu right now because I like having the ability to buy an additional Thunderbolt TM and have that moveset flexibility oh, might be the case. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. It yeah. That's it, so I don't smart. know if that's yeah. gonna happen, but like yeah. yeah. yeah My Gen right 1 you. brain over here is just like hold on to Thunderbolt at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> that's very yeah, smart. No. Yeah, I bought another I bought another dig in Brick Break and Secret Power, I think. Or I, I only yeah. have one. I used the secret power already, but I just wanna like make sure I have that flexibility. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely hitting a point with my grinding right now where I, I can't determine how much is going to be enough, you know? Yeah. Oh. Like, at what point do I stop? Am I aiming for, like, yes. 63 for a damage rounding threshold? Yeah, or yeah. am I just, like, going until I run out of trainers and, you know, or out of PP and then continuing? Yeah, like, I... In in cases like Oof. this, do you estimate the level? Like, because, like, what I do is I'll go, like, I'll think, like, okay, I have 12 rare candies right now, so my level is actually virtually 73. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah. if my level is 73 right now, and then I gain, like, six more levels, seven more levels, I'll be, like, 78 by the end of the game. Is that going to be enough? Or 79? And right. In this case, I'm like, no, no, that's probably not going to be enough to get through yeah. uh, Bruno and stuff like that. So, I'm going to keep training no. and go to, like, 85 or something like that. Then I'm then try. honestly... Okay, so with Rock Tombs coming from Bruno, that does give us a small advantage in the fact that we don't... Like, we're not weak to the Rock Tomb, but the fact that we're weak, I find um, when you have a type weakness to his Earthquake, he will use yeah. more Earthquake, so it becomes just that little bit more RNG. But um, yeah. I feel like it won't be absolutely painful in the first round um, simply because we can just boost our levels higher but in the second round that Steelix is going to be absolutely yeah. oh no. it's the rest of the league I have not even thought of really like Gyarados all of that or not Gyarados obviously it's not going to be like, an issue yeah it's not going to be as nearly as much of an issue nope. as that Heracross that Tyranitar like I know we have four times super effective Brick Break but oh <laughs> Or Raichu, like uh, I'm so scared. Yeah. Um, limiting the EVs. I actually just thought of this. the The reason that limiting the EVs will be hard is because while we can just remove the limit to the EVs uh, without an issue, the EVs are stored in a single byte, so that can only hold up mm. to 255. So the entire Pokemon data structure will need to be expanded by six bytes. To hold more values that sounds immediately more complicated than yeah just adjusting a, a value limit. yeah 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 unless i'm wrong i could be wrong but that's like the first thing that pops in my mind now that i thought about it just a little bit more no and that makes sense for it to be stored optimally for like the size that it needs <clears throat> yeah yeah because yeah. the data structure in generation three is 100 bytes of data right and then there are how many? 48 bytes of those are encrypted. And then the rest are outside of the encryption block. 
and the EVs are six bytes, one for each stat. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I, you I'm wanna, trusting your answers on this. <laughs> if you want to max every stat to two, 255, then yes, you can just remove the limit and it will be no problem. The 510? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. That I could see. Yeah. 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 But actually, like having the EVs <laughs> roll over past 255 is more complex. Yeah. Look at that PP management. Zero out my Thundershock and Thunderbolts right as I level up and like run out of trainers. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love when that happens. Uh, feels good. I'm still not convinced that I'm ready for Giovanni's gym, so I'm going to train on every trainer him what on level in are his you? gym as well. I am approaching 60. What level am I? 62. Mm, we're both 62. Seven more. You're catching up because I'm having to do plot stuff now. Yeah, whereas now I'm just like fully forward. grinding on like whatever's giving me the most experience. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's also interesting to see like the kind of the paths. Well, they will converge at some point, I feel. Um, oh, I'm watching where this candy is. Oh, never mind. Um, or not candy, elixir on your side. I skipped it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, I'm, I was not, like, I'm not going down there. Like, <laughs> it's going to take too long right now. I don't um, have time. Yeah. Oh gosh, um, Iron Tail is definitely gonna have to be a part of this plan. Um, Do you oh think so? Boy, maybe not. Giovanni, no Brick Break, brick break. covers a lot of it. Yeah, I'm just thinking about. Oh no, Agatha, we've got Thunderbolt. Mm. Okay, Speedrunner told me, and I think Speedrunner was on your channel for a little while watching. Um, yeah. Speedrunner told me that I should make a gym leader intro for Warren, the trainer inside the gym, Giovanni's gym. And I'm <laughs> for gonna, Warren? <laughs> I'm going to do it, yes, because Warren is so good. Also, sand attack right away. That's not very good from the Oh, sand you slash. love it. But, yeah, um, like Warren, I'm going to make him a gym leader intro because he deserves one. He's <laughs> terrifying. You're reminding me that I need to make a red intro for oh, Soul yeah, Silver. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those ones, though, where, like, I really feel that I, I want to, like... I want to do something special with him because it's red, but yeah. I don't know what to do special with him. And that's just like, yeah. I've, I've <laughs> been thinking about this for more time than it is worth, but I really want there to be a way to insert intros into streams. The problem with oh, okay, that though yeah. is that the intro either has to be so short because the intro animation is so short or the intro has to somehow pause the gameplay progression and the timer yeah. progression which is definitely doable uh with the setup we have behind the scenes uh but it's just like then is that going to confuse people i'll be like wait like you just like the timer yeah. just didn't keep going like what like but i just don't want to have that ability to like make things dramatic uh yeah yeah And I could just do it where it's like it shows up on the sides of the screen and the, the gameplay just continues, but I right. thought like I don't know if that's like necessarily really capturing this kind of like I, I used to watch a lot of Star Trek Voyager as a kid, and I don't know if you watch any Star Trek, but the uh the feeling I always got was just this like when they go into like red alert status, they're like red alert, and then mm -hmm. like the ship gets all dark, and it's like oh, like I want it to feel like red alert status when it's like a, right. a an important battle in these in these yeah. runs. Yeah. So in what way can I pull off that? Uh, what do you need all that? Uh, what do all the Minecraft runners do? They add those like um those lines on the side of the screen, like nope. those speed lines. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> nope, 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 not doing that. Nope, nope. <laughs> I, I used a dig against an earthquake. Don't do that. Yeah, that's another yeah, reason why yeah. I'm scared of dig because uh, double damage underground. Yep. Scares me. Are you against Giovanni right now? Yep. Oh wow! Fine. See, there you go. We converged. Like, doing how it. did that happen? Yes. And I'm a level higher. Interesting. You can do it. I know you can do it. Yeah, I beat him. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Oh, Snowy, mm. we got to do a Star Trek Voyager watch party while uh, <laughs> coding stuff. That would be so much fun. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, okay, my gosh. okay, okay. All right, Giovanni. So, 
This electric type had brick break. Can you imagine that battle without brick break? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, <laughs> no, it would be awful without brick break. I don't know what I would do, honestly, in this game. Like, Honestly, and that that's the point that I hit with Magneton, is um, luckily at that point, I was still using Hidden Power in my first runs, and so, yeah. like, honestly, I have absolutely zero idea what I would have done in that battle um, if it weren't for HP Ice, I believe, is what I went with. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm sorry that I like I, <laughs> this stupid song has been stuck in my head for a week, and I just want to keep singing it. But oh my! <laughs> oh, did you just? Oh yeah, I see back at Giovanni. No, uh, rival. Oh no, I mean like yeah, the, the rival the, wiped you and you... yeah, yeah. I was going through the screen, but yeah, I still don't press B for that. I really should. Venusaur, can you stop synthesizing, please? Oh my. Okay, so it's serving double no purpose but to annoy me. me. Oh my gosh, you... That was terrifying. This Venusaur? Terrifying. Yeah. It's Use terrifying. Iron Tail? <laughs> Mimic Earthquake from Rhydon is the next best, next best play out of Hidden Power. Yeah, yeah, I could maybe uh, mimicking an Earthquake, but it means you have to tank an Earthquake, and for Magneton, that's four times effective. <laughs> okay, you, you've done a bunch of runs now with Hidden Power. And I've I got some a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got some questions about it. So, sure. do you think that it increases the interest of the strategies you're playing, or do you think that it over centralizes the metagame and reduces interest? I feel overall it has a lot of potential to reduce interest. Like, if you're going mm. for the same strategy constantly, like, oh, oh my gosh. Um, if you're going for the same strategy every time, like, obviously, that's just going to get stale, right? Like, there's just yeah. no way of avoiding that. Um, hidden Power Ice. <laughs> yeah, hit, Hidden Power Ice and Hidden Power Rock, like... <laughs> yeah. Actually, this, the special the special HP, I tend to bounce around a fair amount, but uh, if it's physical, it's generally Rock. Yeah, I used to say Ground yeah. in Gen 2, um, but I'm coming around now to the fact that Rock might actually be the better typing. It just, it covers, like, everything. Oh, I want that, um... I want strong PP pee -pee this time. Where is it? Where is it? It's on this island. No, it's at the bottom. Oh, I made it so that I can move your screen around while I'm playing, and I've been forgetting this entire time. <laughs> so I'm starting to do it so that people can see the Pokemon on the um, enemy's teams. Hello? Is there not an item on this beach? Am I just losing all of my time here? Beach there. Oh, there it is. There is. Oh, my there gosh. There I found it. It only took 10 years. It's there. Wait, when did Scott get in front of Egg? I don't know. <laughs> it just keeps happening. Uh, Giovanni. <laughs> it was the training for Giovanni. I just cut my training oh, yeah. slightly shorter and, and went. Because I had been, like, I think what happened uh -huh. is, like, you lost some of the backtracking time. Yeah. And then I didn't have as much backtracking time. And then I just cut the training short. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Uh, oh, how many times in the uh, boulder puzzle in the first part of uh, Victory Road have you been going for the rare candy and then accidentally push the boulder into it? Uh, not very many. Now. I'm pretty good at that now. Uh, oh, yeah? Sometimes, though, it happens occasionally where that, that, that happens, but uh, very, very rarely now. Yeah. I'm, yeah. More often, actually, I bike out of the door and then have to go back inside and move the boulder around again. Yeah, that's always what I'm scared of. I uh, I actually do all these pu uh, these boulder puzzles I do off of the bike, but the Sevi Island boulder puzzles I do toggling between game speeds. Don't ask me why. I, mm. I I have no good answer as to why I make the distinction, but that's just the way it works out. Yeah, the Sevi Island's boulder puzzles. Um, in Mount Ember, going after the oh um, yeah, yeah 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 I remember now yeah 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 after the ruby yeah got it yeah. All right, and another hidden item that we now know about right there. Oh, and it's a Max Elixir, too, which is just like, mwah. Which one's Max Elixir? Oh, yeah, the one uh, in the... Oh, you're ahead yeah. of me now. How did that work? Well, I'm did I just training. pass you in Victory Road? Yeah, oh, did. I see. I'm training, in the... I'm training against all the trainers. 
Because I'm a Raichu, I'm making the gamble of skipping that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm hoping that simply training against Lorelei and wiping against Lorelei will be the faster way to go. This is likely <clears throat> the way that this run is fastest. I'm likely playing this over safe. It probably makes sense to figure out the level to beat Giovanni, like minimum level required to beat mm -hmm. Giovanni. Go there, black out like three or four, t or uh, reset three or four times just to get the luck you need to win. Then continue with the game and uh, go into the league and then just like fight Lorelei over and over and over and over again, gain a ton of experience. Yeah. Which will prepare you for everything else because she gives really good experience yields and you're super effective against most of her Pokemon. And Brick, Brick Break is neutral Jinx. on the Jinx, but you can also it return is. it if you need. Or Thunderbolt. Like, yeah, it's probably, probably going to be enough. Um, I wouldn't if I were you. Uh, my Thunderbolt did not one shot, so okay. yours will definitely not. Don't do that, yeah. Uh, I did not check out what Brick Break was doing, though. Break. That's not bad damage against Onyx, honestly. How much speed do nice. I have? 117, so I still... Oh, shoot! Go for Thunderbolt against the next Onyx. Take myself to five hit points? No mock punch on Hitmonchan in this round. No... Oh, of course. Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah. <laughs> um, 117 speed. I should... What? What's Hitmonlee's speed? I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's like 116. It's not very high, I don't think. Yeah. If it's is it one sixteen? Let me know what the speed is. That, that oh, sounds it. about right. I forget that in normal gameplay you cannot actually see these things. <laughs> I've gotten so spoiled with game hook. <laughs> yeah, to see anything. Oh my gosh! No way. A miss from Hitmonchan and a miss from Hitmonlee. Come on, Machamp! Show me the money. Oh, three hit points survive. We're moving on. Come on, Van Reynolds, you got this, buddy. I don't think I need this Max Elixir that I just picked up, but I'm picking it up because I want to really cement in my memory that that exists there so that I remember it for future runs. How many redundant items do you feel oh, like you many, pick up too many, too many. in order to Way learn the location properly? Oh, I, well, I, it's... I more have the... Pro the problem is better phrased, I think, as, like, how many items should I remove from my current route, route because they are redundant? Mm -hmm. there's yeah. a lot like I'm not picking them up anymore to memorize their location I'm just picking them up because I picked them up because you need them yeah. yeah yeah or I think I need them I, I'm like I probably need this right so I should just get it and it's like no no, yeah. no I should just actually leave it it's not that important right yeah 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 Stop. feels really bad when Onyx's earthquake does a lot yeah <laughs> <laughs> I still have Thunderbolt I wonder if I should do or some Thunder Shock excuse me I wonder if I should do something about that <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> Thunder Shock in the league. In the league. Yep. That's how you know a Pokemon doesn't have a lot of good moves. It's like, uh, I was playing Abra the other day for my Gen 2 video. And. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. I just like looking at it and it still has teleport by the time it gets to the <laughs> league. It's like, that's yep. how you know a Pokemon doesn't have a lot of options. Yeah, that's, that's, that's great. That's awful, but that's also great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Hitmonlee has uh, 113 speed. 113? Okay, yeah, 113. so definitely okay, fine. He's missing after. everything right now. Um, yeah, so you can safely take one Rock Tomb in that fight, no problem. Yeah. All uh, right. Yeah. Lance. I'm on and this, excuse me, this is kind of the situation that I was hoping that Stab Thunderbolt would just kind of work. <laughs> yeah, that's like my strat for the like whole first portion of the league is just like I hope the moves just kind of work. Like there isn't a lot of like play around anything. You just you just go in and you're like I hope this is enough damage. Also, I yeah. hope I don't run enough PP because also I, I hope do, I don't get paralyzed and beat up by a Dragonair. Oh, <laughs> I, I do not need the black belt in this battle. No, let's get us not that it has levitate. Oh, that did a lot. You're on, oh, you're on Agatha lot. right now. Okay. Yeah, Sludge Bomb did way more than I was expecting. Oh, Sludge Bomb? Yeah. I was actually... I um, I did not give Agatha's Gengars enough credit yeah. for their... um For Stab Sludge Bomb. Maybe Magnet. This, like, my damage range here is, like, the Magnet would help a lot at the current time. Oh, and you've... Have you used some Rare Candies? You must have. No, none. Oh, you haven't? So you're no. a higher level than me now. Yeah. 
Okay, my, come on. My goal has been to get to the champion Shh. with no rare candies. Because I, yeah. I really... Oh, no. I'm oh, dead no. again. If Dragonair paralyzes, that's it. Oh. <clears throat> Should oh, probably use return at this yes. point. Yes, yes, yes. I got lucky, <laughs> Agatha. I think, I'm pretty sure that's how I got through Agatha, but uh, Lance isn't going well. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm feeling... Um, my problem with going for return right now is if you look at the damage that Shedskin is doing, if I increase that by, like, 30%, I still don't think that's doing half to Dragonair, which would be the motivation to get pick up... Um, yeah. What is that? Do, like, nothing to the Dragonair. Yeah. Um, the Rare oh. Candies as well, I'm... I'm in Scott's camp with that one where I definitely want to be saving them as late as possible. Woo! Oh. Lance, bye-bye. Nice. I think I may have just changed my opinion on Lance with the rare candies, because... <laughs> oh, wait. Am I... No, the air duct is going to kill me. Yeah. Okay. So um... I did it at 68, so you... There's there's hope for you. There is hope. Uh, I'm not... I'm just jumping straight into this battle. Um, Am I worried about anything? Ride on? Eh. Oh gosh, I'm kind of wondering if I should have substitute in that final slot because <laughs> Rhydon is a clean one shot with Brick Break. Um, no, Rhydon is half damage with Brick Break, while he responds he with a one clean shots. one shot. Yeah, lovely. So sub <sighs> substitute. Yeah, I'm. I'm not burning my rare candies. I'm blacking out. I'm just leaving. There is no point Ooh. in banging my head against that. Things are getting interesting. Yeah. I am pivoting, and I'm hoping that I'm making the right call here. <clears throat> Very interesting. I'll be interested to see what you come up with against that ride on. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, because substitute, or sorry, um, you said brick Thunder brick Shock. Are you black belt? So useless. I did not have a black belt okay. at that time, I think. I think I was still holding a berry or something from All Lance's right, let's battle. See. Let's see. Thundershock. There we go. Oh, it's so funny. It just scary faces me and I too hit it. Are you serious? God. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, How are you kidding me? Like... Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's frustrating. I still, I think I'm going to lose though, because I've taken too much damage and I have like no yeah. chance against the Venusaur, but uh, even this Arcanine, because I lost all my speed. Uh, Go for the crit, yeah. Shenanigans, yeah. Everybody get your brooms, calling shenanigans on this one. Yeah, I might. <laughs> yeah, the crit might be the play, or secret power turn one if it does enough damage into paralysis into it not attacking. Oops. Okay, I survived right. with 69 HP from the nice. right on's hit. Really? Yeah. But remember, Why did it one-shot me? Because I got all my HP and defense EVs before uh, Brock. So I had I significantly okay. more health and defensive stats. Do you have the ability to see your EVs right now? Yeah. Um, What are they? Attack, speed, and special attack. Or no, yeah, just list, list what your EVs are for me, uh, if you wouldn't mind. HP is 105. Attack is 118. And uh, defense is 153. Okay, so you have significantly more defense than I do. <laughs> I definitely went more, um... What? Did I... Why am I back at the champion all of a sudden? Did I... Oh my gosh. Did you reset okay. the champion? I guess I did. Hey, look, I survived uh, Earthquake this time. Um, anyway, yeah, my EVs are much different. I'm much less defensive than you are. <laughs> Why? Oh gosh. Um, so I have... This is the funniest champion fight I have ever had. He spammed solar just, beam did against you just me. Win? Yeah. He spammed solar beam against <laughs> me and I dodged everyone with dig. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, oh, that is hilarious. Okay, if I crit the ride on, that's that's that changes things. What the heck? What is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh my. So you made it Scott Okay, you reset. 80. Yeah, you didn't use your candy. I, I you used did my use candies. candies. I used my candies. I have not used my candies. As soon as soon as I uh, saw the damage ranges against Lance, I used my candies. Mm. Put the black belt on. 
Um, it's still, it wouldn't matter against Rhydon. If I don't crit, I, do I don't one-shot extreme speed. Yeah, that's still out. All right, I will suck it up and use my candies as well because I'm all of a sudden behind again. <laughs> Clearly Scott is hacking. No, Scott is just... I don't know, he's doing something other than I am and that seems to be the right call, so... <laughs> Magic. There we go. Magic. That's it. That's it. The only thing. Um, I think, well, like, but like, we have to remember. I think that it's worth noting. Like, right now is not the time to make uh, dramatic decisions because no, I I think that like all of the pain is still ahead. Like, mm -hmm. we think that it's like wow, we bit the right on. It doesn't matter. There's like, like there's like twelve Pokemon left that still have earthquake. It's like 400 ride on. Yeah, it's like we still have to get through <laughs> all of the earthquake users. So yeah. I'm not confident that my decision to get through the league very quickly was necessarily the best long term play. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling like I don't have a TM for dig though, um, because I did not buy an extra copy. Oh yeah, dig was like I don't think I would have won if I didn't have dig because the I I made it to the Venusaur with like 12 hit points. And then yeah. every time it's just like solar beam, solar beam. And I'm like, I can dodge that. I can dodge that. And then occasionally yeah. when its health gets low, it uses synthesis. And that gave me another turn to attack with Thunderbolt. Yeah. Even like 80, even level 80. Iron Tail would mostly one hit ride on. I yeah. disagree. Iron Tail? Iron Tail, 100 versus 75 base power. I, with the damage I'm doing, I don't see that. Unless I get a crit, like, which I did again here. So, Super de Duper, please let me beat him. I don't think that I can do it. Shh. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't, like, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that here Iron Tail one hit the right. Yeah! Maybe I'm wrong. Got it. Um, I don't feel that Iron Tail would one-shot the right on. Not at this level. Not with the amount of damage that Brick Break was doing. I can't wait till I get RBY XP router working so we can get actual data on this kind of thing. And <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. It was like an 85% chance to one hit or something like that. Right. Yeah. I want to know those things. Oh my gosh. Okay, round two. Let's get into this. Let's catch back up again. He's coming for me. I am. And I have Dig this time, so... Okay, I yeah. Won't be losing as much time. Oops. Um, no, I, I'm not debating the fact that Iron Tail wouldn't. Um, or not debating the fact that Iron Tail misses 25% of the time. I'm debating the fact that it would be no better than Brick Break because a two shot is a two shot. Is how I feel like uh, feel with it. <clears throat> Uh, oh, my music has ended, or has ended. Good grammar. Um, I'm going to have to start that up and again. Also, <laughs> okay, I'm, do, I'm doing it again just out of my habit, but I do want the rare candy on Route 12, so I'm grabbing that as well. What's which the one just... on Route 12? Where, where is Route 12? Oh, yeah, I need to get that. Yeah. That that, that makes like no sense to skip with Raichu. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes it's nice to just avoid that location entirely. But with this Pokemon, with an electric type, I don't think it is oh. wise. From ninety-eight or from ninety-nine to a hundred is going to feel good from a rare candy instead of another few battles. Oh, get out of here, Pidgeys! I never repel here because, like, it just for four tiles. Of yeah, grass, I know. It feels like such a waste, but yeah. Sometimes I do that a lot of the me. time. Then that's when I get like two encounters. I'm like, oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I think there's actually a it's, timer, though. I think it's minimum three per encounter. Yeah. Three steps per encounter? I think so. Well, like, when you finish a battle, I think it resets, yeah. like, a thing to a three, and then you count down three steps, and then you get your next encounter. If, like, you can get your next three encou your next encounter after that. Mm-hmm. I believe that's how it works. Oh, gosh. Sand attack again. Or, um, Thunderbolt against Sand Slash. Get tagged with a sand attack. That's always fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot this for a candy. Unless I got it the first time I was here. Is, oh, these the runs two are, island one? Yeah, these, these uh, yeah. runs are blending into each other for me. 
Yeah, they they are for me as well. I I think now that I'm in round two, they they're they're back straightened out, but uh, okay. no guarantee. <laughs> yeah, this is where I get confused because I don't, I don't have yeah. as much experience with this. This is like the fourth time I've done this section. Fifth time. Yeah. Fourth. <clears throat> Beedrill. Sorry. Okay. Beedrill, that other run that I filmed that no one has seen yet. Charizard. This is the fifth time. Ooh. This time? Okay, yeah. No, sixth time. Sixth time. This is my, like, 132nd on YouTube. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. I can't, I couldn't even tell you how many times not on YouTube over the years. It actually, as a kid, though, I never ventured into round two because yeah, I could not either. figure out the uh, the Sevi Allen plotline. That was the same story for me. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. I guess uh, if my chat um, during my white playthrough noticed anything, it's that I, I could definitely spend a little bit more time reading dialogue. But Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you find white? white I... Too? I really enjoyed it um, from a music standpoint, like absolutely mm -hmm. incredible. Like the amount of, um, I think I think I praised it on our last stream talking about like how I'm, I, I'm not super familiar with like audio engineering concepts and all of that, but like the fact that they have so many things and like they have different audio components lining up on the same beat kind of thing. Oh, and that's yeah. not stuff that I see a lot of in the earlier generation. So that was absolutely great. The music, or sorry, the music, the art and everything was gorgeous. Beautiful game, but um, I don't know when the next time I'll play it will be. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but it's it's not, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I was definitely feeling very stretched thin trying to branch into another game as well. Yeah. Um, plus it just, um, I don't know, I just, yeah, I think if something I had... about this this more old school RPG feel yep. is more my uh, my realm. I think if I had gone back and <clears throat> done everything again on my channel, like if I could start over today, and mm -hmm. I get to choose the route that gets me back to like a similar place to where I am now. Yeah, I think like the one major change I would make is I would not branch into new games as often. I would be right. like maybe once every two years there's a new game, but even then it's like preliminary series i'm doing like fun runs where i'm not like trying to rank stuff or trying to get too scientific right. too quickly and behind the scenes just making sure like i can build out the tech the tech in a sustainable way right. and not like m p making myself panic because i think i've uh i've kind of got myself into that state where it was like this year at the end of like around september i was just like we have to move faster to get mm -hmm. this stuff working for the ds or we are not going to have time to both get the DS stuff working and me film the runs and produce the videos. Yeah. Like we have yeah. what, four months now? Like we, we got to go cause December 25th is coming and that's when the video comes out. Yeah. Um, and that was uh like, you just put out how many, was it almost a week's worth of videos all? Um, yeah. Seven, seven platinum? videos yeah. in platinum. Yeah. It was the starters, then the first, the early root bird and the early bird, uh, early root electric type. And then, um, two legendaries. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> I felt like that was a good like way to kind of we see some strong Pokemon, we see some middle of the range, middle of the road Pokemon. We also get to yeah. see the Pokemon that I would naturally play with if I was starting the game. Right. Um, oh shoot, I didn't mean to come in here. Um, for my Soul Silver, I've, I've been trying to follow a somewhat similar method okay. but I, I pretty much just went through the decks and i just went this is my first water yeah. type i'm running that this yeah, is yeah. my first electric type i'm running that <laughs> yep yeah <clears throat> uh so yeah luxray star raptor lucario there's a bunch of runs i'm really looking forward to in that but uh yeah one thing at a time um oh i've got a question for us um sure. for both of us do we watch any anime and if so what are we watching right now uh, I do not really watch anime, but I did get really into Attack on Titan last year. I was feeling kind of down about a bunch of stuff. And then my wife was like, we should watch this anime that I watched a while ago. It was really good. Like, mm -hmm. it'll probably cheer you up. And then she put on Attack on Titan. And I don't know if you know, but Attack on Titan is like quite serious <laughs> and very depressing. <laughs> I was like, why are you showing me this? But yeah, I got really into it. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a great one. What about you? I wonder. Um, 
Well, first of all, I'm wondering just how long I've been wandering around without my eighth gym badge being activated. Speaking of how many times do I forget that? Um, we'll but for that. Yeah. <laughs> for um, anime stuff, I, I haven't watched a ton of anime over the years, but I have seen a few so like dragon ball pokemon obviously i've watched yeah. um the pokemon as it was coming out excuse me you don't need to listen to me burp um the pokemon as it was coming out when i was goodness uh younger mm -hmm. and uh i have seen dragon ball dragon ball z dragon ball gt and dragon ball super in their entirety i haven't seen all the offshoot movies but i'd say that that's the one i've wow. seen the most of um recently i just started watching what's it called demon slayer um and the only other stuff i've really seen that has like left a lasting impact on me was sword art online and the other one um with the seven deadly sins uh it had the brotherhood gosh full metal alchemist that's what it was and wow. that uh so you've seen a lot more than i have yeah, no, that's the extent of it, though. Like, cool. I have not seen a lot of it. I always enjoy it when I watch it, but uh, I have not seen a ton of it. <clears throat> yeah. I cannot train. What about that? Um, what would be your television of choice, I guess? Or, like, I guess Netflix oh. slash whatever. That's a tricky question to answer. Mm-hmm. I used to really like TV. Growing up, I watched, like, I watched so much Lost. I loved that mm. show, like a good mystery show. Lost uh, was, like, the, the thing that really got me into TV. Then I watched The X-Files and Star Trek Voyager. And mm -hmm. then after that, I went and uh, watched Battlestar Galactica. And that one I was, like, really, really, really into. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then since then uh in the early 2010s i started watching less and less tv and now that we've gone to like shorter seasons I, i'm a little bit less engaged i preferred mm -hmm. when budgets were a little bit lower and it felt like people were um like well, it they felt invested like the, more in, in well, like it, a, it was more like a were... like the writing and like the character <clears throat> development was the central focus rather than like oh let's just like make like some like really epic like six episodes with like a or, huge yeah. battle and like that'll be like yeah. the million dollar budgets that we have for this this year i preferred right. when it was like more like you have these little stories here and there and there's like 20 or so so of them per season and by the end of all of it it kind of builds to something right uh, which yeah. is great because i feel like i'm kind of creating something that's like almost similar to that now mm -hmm. yeah yeah i get that yeah. Uh, you hope my subscribers grow exponentially, eh? <laughs> Me too. Uh, apparently not, though. Um, I guess uh, talking more with Scott, there are some challenges that you face as your channel grows that uh, I have not faced up to this point. But uh, yeah, things to look forward to. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what challenges I was referring to, but... Um, managing people, I believe. Oh, yeah, managing people is like... And, like, the community and everything, like, yeah, if, you know. Unless, like, because like, I, I don't think that, like, everyone, like, the like everyone does not have the exact same path on a platform like this. That That's mm -hmm. just not how it works. There's so many different ways to, like, approach doing this and so many way, different ways that people do do this. Whereas, like, if you, if you hit, like, a viral trend and you, your channel blows up, in, in a case like that, I think that there is it's going to be more likely that like you can just continue doing everything yourself for a while mm -hmm. because you'll be so good at doing everything yourself and you'll have like so much so much uh, resources behind the scenes because of the explosive growth that you won't have to necessarily like focus attention on like getting a bunch of other people to help you Right. Um, but I think, like, if you're small and the growth is moderate or, um, yeah, if the growth is just moderate, then you're like, oh, if I want to go to the next level, I should probably just, like, get some more help. Like, right. I, my time is clearly, like, all m maxed out right now. I, I, I'm not going to be able mm -hmm. to put in more effort and, like, get more reward. So I need oh another gosh. person. Right, yeah. No, that makes sense. I'm, um... 
I decided to do a little bit of training on Seven Island, and I it's am blacking idea. out again because I don't know when I lost or when I last saved. Um, but no, for sure that uh, that 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 does make a lot of sense. Yeah, earthquake abuser. You're right. This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm not even. Bruno. I'm not even attempting until I'm level ninety. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I am genuinely terrified of uh, pretty much everything in that league. All right, everyone. So everyone that's like thinking about how much we were training, there was a reason. Like the reason is this: by like fifty repels. Yeah, round two is um, gosh, change my buttons now. I can't get on my bike. Um, round two is going to be significantly more dangerous. For Raichu. <laughs> yep. Oh gosh. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Navigating areas. Oh my gosh. Um. How is the league going so far? I blacked out. I'm gonna fight oh. Lorelei a bunch. Instead Lorelei of, bunch. Yeah. Instead of continuing that. <clears throat> That's... It's like right now. What I'm hoping. Oh what? Okay. Well. Take the dugong <laughs> experience. <laughs> That's where I'm hoping that uh, what I'm doing is going to pay off for me because uh, I'm yeah. hoping that these two trainers are able to give more XP per hour, minute, whatever time you want to go with um, yeah. than grinding Lorelei. I don't know. I've never tested it. This I, is fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that this will be faster, but I'm, I'm not sure. That's my like assumption right she, now. She gives you something like, I think it's just over 12,000 experience her battle 12,000 I guess she does because her Pokemon um, are quite high levels at this point in the run she gives she actually gives more experience than Bruno and Agatha I believe oh, I, don't, I don't think any, anybody gives more experience until Lance with all the dragons yeah that makes um, sense because like the the Pokemon species it has a base mm -hmm. experience each species each species has a base experience yield so yeah. depending on the species that are on their team will determine the experience yeah. yield. And Bruno's are yeah, all think, bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Lapras is worth like something just over 3k, which three, is... Like 3,096 3, or something like that. Yeah, which is, it's a rare thing to see somebody give you more than 3k, at least in the base games. Yeah. Uh, Max Repel... Yeah, I'm not having a lot. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm just going to show this to you um, because I think I, I think you're making the right call against Lorelai. But this house right here, this is the Chansey house. Oh. So you can talk. I talk to this guy, and he's like, "Do you want to do the Chansey dance?" And I'm like, "Heck yeah, I want to do the Chansey <laughs> dance." And you're fully healed. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> so cool. Um, that's a what is it? A lucky punch, I believe, on the egg or on the table there. So like, I don't know. Eventually, when I run Chansey, maybe that's something I'll grab. Maybe. Yeah, what does it do? Uh, it increases critical chance. Oh. Similarly Only to like with the Chansey? stick. Only with Chansey. <laughs> That's such a weird item. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What made them think like, oh, like let's put this? Is is there like a like a backstory behind that? Some trivia that like makes it make sense, or is it just like, hey, like we have this item? I'm not sure, but it feels so like. It feels so. It feels strange. so unfair that that Chansey gets. Uh, oops. Um, the Chansey gets, uh, the lucky egg seems very thematically Chansey's item as well, right? So, yeah, yeah. why does it get two? I don't know, yeah, it's weird. Also, I'm like, ugh, oh, I'm half regretting coming back and grinding here now, because, like, now that I've done it, I'm realizing that my XP bar is slightly ahead of yours, and I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. should I not have done this? Yeah. Oh, I should be wearing that black belt because you one shot Pilus Wine, right? No, no, I don't. Oh, you don't? Okay. I don't. <clears throat> I wish I did. Okay, yeah. So we're about the same range on that. How many oh, resets break, break. do you have? I have 20 at the moment. Okay. And you're still running Thundershock, which is hilarious. Oh. Yeah, I still have Thundershock. I, I need to replace that. I'm definitely grabbing at least Substitute before I actually attempt the league. Mm. Um, also, I just realized no. that I just lost 10k, so I'm going to go grab that extra copy of Thunderbolt real quick. I'm actually going to do a bit of item collection, just in nice. case I need it. Yeah, I got Iron Tail and 
and uh, another copy of Thunderbolt just in case. Yeah. Also, did you see me accidentally misclick on uh, the Lapras? <laughs> and then it froze no. me with Ice Beam and beat me. Oh no! <laughs> I missed. It's really that. silly. That's painful. Now the question is, do I also want to run out and get Thunder? Oh, no, 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 do, do not buy Ice Beam. Oh. It will make someone really happy if you get Thunder, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, how did Venusaur go? Well, you'll never guess who lost. <laughs> uh, nice. I should actually fly. I'm going to pick up Substitute now as well. Crit? Just do it all while I'm out. Boot and a boot. Boot and a boot, yep. Yeah. Um, no, Scott won Venusaur. It was a. Uh, it was another one oh. of those cases where I just kind of painted myself into a strategic corner, and I was just being stubborn. Yeah. Uh, apparently, though, we chose to do both of the harder runs today. Yeah. I feel why like did we do both? Of the why did I don't? Runs well, today? actually, we 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 just planned to do Blastoise because it was an easy one. And then, that's true. And then on stream, people were like, "Do another run," and then we did a poll, and then we're like, "All right, let's do two. And then. Uh, Last night, I think, I was thinking, I was just like, wait, we should just also do Raichu too. So then I sent you a <laughs> message. Yep. This is my bad idea. And like the second I got the message, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you immediately signed up for it. Yeah. Like, this is going to be awful in every dimension, but let's do it. <laughs> oh, Jinx, you're such a pain. <clears throat> Lorelai gives you 12,345 experience. That sounds right, yeah. That's a beautiful, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. I love those kind of numbers. <laughs> Wait, 12,345? Yeah. No. Is that right? I don't know, maybe it's not right, but like, How have I that's not what someone just that? said, which is just so cool. If that's the case. <laughs> I have to mention that in a video if that is the case. I have to look up. I have to like look it's it so up. So beautiful. I love when stuff like that just like lines up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, so many earthquakes. I know. Gosh, Bruno, it's very bad. Steelix, can I take this out? No, it's gonna be a wipe. That's fine. We're grinding. And see now, now that I came back and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go like do a little bit of like move collection, set myself up, and I'm behind again. <laughs> um, uh yeah <clears throat> got stuck at the champion forever yeah well it's because i had no powerpoint restoring items again last time yeah yeah um no this time as well with this uh time? venusaur oh oh, oh yeah, was, with venusaur. Uh, yeah with venusaur yeah, yeah. No, against the champion you, just like i have one sludge bomb i cheated on elixir i won yeah <laughs> that's it that's all it took it's okay, we found more now he uh, PP healing items. Yes. Some that are, I think are quite good. They're not too far off the path, but... Mm -hmm. The best part to is, too, up. with Raichu, is I don't think I'm going to need, like... I think I need, like, one. <laughs> Whereas Venusaur needed, like, seven. Yeah, it's true. We also yeah. have, like... That, that, that ends up being the case when the Pokemon you're running has more attacking moves uh, instead of setup moves. If you have a lot yeah. of setup moves, you need a lot more PP items. But if you have, uh, like, four attacking moves, then it's just like, well, I'll be fine. Yeah. In theory. <laughs> okay, this is getting better. Oh. Okay. Uh, the Lucky Egg does increase XP, yes. Uh, by one and a half times, if I'm not mistaken? I think so, but we have to catch a Chansey in the Safari Zone. Yeah, I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's going to waste more time than it's worth. Yeah. Ah, uh, the first turn Earthquake. Okay, knock me out, Steelix. Yeah. Because it can go for Rock rock Tomb. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I did set up a substitute just in case he did, just to get that oh, little yeah, bit of extra experience. Some. But um, I did. I went. And, I went and finally replaced Thundershock. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> it's gonna be a mm. difficult one to use in this league, simply because of the sheer number of earthquakes. But I'm thinking with the Rock Tombs incoming from Heracross and Steelix, hopefully it gives us uh, enough of an ability to kind of dodge stuff. Yeah. 
That's an interesting theory. Also, um, someone hard hat lunch pal said, uh, or not on the pilot swine one hit. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting a better range at night, uh, 89. Like I just one shot it there, but uh, it's gonna be significantly easier now at 90 over a damage rounding threshold. Like I bet I'm gonna be hitting it the majority of the one hitting it the majority of the times now. Yeah, what's really interesting to me is the fact that um, like your attack stat or like you went with the attack boosting nature, but yeah. mine, I find that I'm hitting for about the same ranges as you are most yeah. times. Um, in physical moves anyway mm -hmm. special I obviously have the advantage okay EQ. this level changes everything <clears throat> uh, gets the lucky punch yes we were uh, discussing the lucky punch a second ago oh yeah I should be like let's just add like four resets arbitrarily because I wasn't between these league attempts <laughs> So oh yeah, I I, yeah. I'm counting blackouts in a separate metric, which apparently is not accumulating today because I've had a bunch. Wait, Austin yeah. and I will have to look into that. Guess this <laughs> is not actually the level that I need. Pile of swine. Oh, so close to one-shotting pile of swine. Uh, lucky punch increases crit chance. Yes. Oh, why did I go for thunderbolt? You idiot. We just won't take out Pilus One this time. Yeah, see, like that range that you just hit on him at 90 is the range that I'm getting at 89, I think, right now. So, I uh, may, maybe, maybe that, maybe the EVs are going to be what determines this race. Maybe, I don't know. yeah. John, how is Raichu? Not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> we are doing our best, but unfortunately. It's just, it's just grinding. Like, how quickly can I hit level 100? <clears throat> uh, maybe. Lucky Punch is useless on Chansey without the I'll 105 special. Out. Yeah, the split hurt Chansey a little bit. Or the splitting of special attack and special defense, I should say. Yeah, it hurt, uh, like, Hypno, I think, is the Pokemon that it hurt the most. Hypno is so good in Generation 1, and then in Generation mm -hmm. 2, it just becomes this, like, special wall, which is, like, nice. It was really good in my Nuzlocke, but it was not particularly good, uh, not particularly good in a solo challenge anymore. Right, kind yeah. Kind of gutted it. Oh, muscle memory almost kicked in there. I almost reset with that, and, like, uh, mm. when you Are you trying you to you beat lose? him now? Uh, no, no, I'm still just grinding. I'm still just grinding. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm like, I'm, I want to beat him. How now. are you at 93? I like, had what am candies. I doing that is so inefficient? Oh, okay, I was I like, what am I doing candies. that is so inefficient? Like, so ugh. I didn't candy entirely to level to, for the champion the first time. I went to 80 yeah. over a threshold and then saved one candy and then I picked up uh, candy when I was yeah the. The Route 12 one. Yeah. We're in the same. Uh, oh, We're in the I did not get boat. the Route 12 one. Oh, you didn't? Okay. I got the one that was uh, on the two island. I already had that one. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, one of the ones that I, I tend to just grab as a staple. Staple item. Yeah. So, how is everybody enjoying watching Lorelei over and over and over and over, and over again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Turn one earthquake. The battle is over. Yeah, I shouldn't even be bothering. Mimic was nerfed in Gen three. Was it Gen three or Gen two that they nerfed Mimic to needing um to taking the move that was used last oh. instead of the selection? Say that again. Uh, Mimic was it changed? Gen what generation was it? Did it change in Gen two? Was it two? Okay. Yeah, Gen yeah. 1 it's broken, then Gen 2 it just becomes bad. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Hey now. I use Mimic Mimic today. I feel yeah, I know. You, you made good use of it actually. I'm <laughs> I'm really impressed with what you did with it. I was yeah. surprised when I figured that one out. Yeah, that's fun. I love when weird quirky stuff like that works. Mm -hmm. Like uh Electrode versus Magneton, the fact that Bide is the answer is so fun. <laughs> Bide, gross. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to not even bother healing. Yeah, the reason Hidden Power is banned in my current Gen 3 challenges is because I didn't want to allow the use of pickup users uh, 
because they're kind of RNG based and I didn't want to have like RNG influencing the results so I just took away pickup users entirely unless the Pokemon that I'm running has pickup in which case I will allow myself to use it. Uh, but I don't know if this is the best rule. It won't probably won't stick around forever, but it's it's going to be here for at least a little bit. I in 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 Emerald, I don't think I would use pickup, but in Fire Red, because it's the only way to get to get pick or uh, to get TM ten, um, I'm 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 fine with using it because most of the other stuff you get is berries, and so like because I. I'm usually decent enough with my berry. I don't know why I say there. Um, I'm usually decent enough with my berry usage that I don't need the excessive berries. So yeah, generally speaking, <laughs> that is not the case every time. Um, but yeah, just kind of like it. It adds. It does add an RNG aspect, absolutely. And in it, it was actually I can't remember which run it was, but uh, I've had one run where I was unable to find uh, find it in a, in a timely manner, and so I was grinding trainers for the random pickup chance for TM10. Yeah. That's happened once. How, how often does it show up, like, would you say? Um, I would, like, generally I have a copy of it before Blaine Giovanni roughly in the game, generally speaking, but that's um, because in the second runs, okay. like, usually it's Cycling Road or something that I'm doing my grinding on. Yeah. Um, so I'm increasing the amount of opportunity to pick it up. Yep. Um, I think the most I've ever picked up in a single run was three. Oh, I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, that was pure muscle memory. Shoot. Did you reset? I reset. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's easy. It, it's like so many Especially people are I'm like, talking. yeah, yeah. Like, why don't you reset? Like, or like, why don't you just black out? You should black out. Take the experience. Like. Yeah, yeah, but like the muscle memory is so ingrained now that like yeah. when I just see the faint happen, it's like immediately press the button. Just instantly, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, I Thunderbolt. Not so good against Pilus Wine. I'm going to try to diverge from what you're doing. So you used your rare candies a little bit earlier. I'm thinking again that that was the smarter choice given how many times I'm dying to Pilus Wine here. I should have a black mm. belt on. Why do I not have a black belt on? Black belt's good. Where is my black belt? Hello? There are a couple. Other I do ways have my black belt on. Never we mind. Could play this too. The potential for um, silk scarf to grab the silk scarf when we were in the islands, but I don't really know where it is. I think it's on Seven Island. You have to like surf down to like the memorial pillar or whatever to pick it up. Uh, or, that's no, another no. one I don't know. No, it's in the cave. It's in like the lost cave or something. Which probably would have made sense because then we could use that for uh, the rare candy as well. One more level with a rare candy would have been it would have been helpful. Definitely faster than this training mm -hmm. at this level. I w I I was thinking that yeah I might try and I think that you using the rare candies that little bit earlier to give you the better damage ranges was the way to go. I was tr well am because I'm just sticking with it at this point. Um, trying to grind to level 93, then using my candies to 95, and that's when I'm going to start making attempts. Yeah, that I genuinely care about, and and just hope. <laughs> please, please, if I could avoid going to level 100, that would be so nice. Gosh. Uh, to beat the hiker. I'm not overly worried about Bruno, honestly. It's the champion that I'm most worried about. Like, Bruno's yeah. tough, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he's surpassable. It's the champion. Yeah. Uh, even Lance has some pretty nasty potential against us, because I do not suspect we're going to be one-shotting him. Mm -hmm. So I he's going to be laying some pain back on us. My fear is that... My, my fear in this run is that we... The, like we get by everything else in the league but then the final trainer's too hard then I have yeah. to black out from the whole league and then do the whole thing again and waste a bunch of time doing that yeah 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 yeah. Bruno's come a long way from his gen 1 days you should see him in uh, the gen 2 or sorry the gen 4 round 2 battles he's uh, he's actually got like a team kind of why am I using body slam instead of return I'm using it because I want chance to para paralyze because I'm not going to want to hit them a champ but I understand well, the yeah, I have you do body have body slam. slam. Yeah. Ah, where? All oh, right, we looked it up. Yeah, we looked up where that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the, uh, the house with the two dudes. The top yeah. house I have learned now. 
I, yeah, I, I, I looked up a quick video while you were saying which guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm 93 now with Lorelei down. I'm using the rare candies. Let's just go for it. I'm yes, I beat no! Bruno. They only have one rare candy. Oh gosh. Okay, <sighs> you know what? If you beat if you beat Bruno, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta just go for it. Let's do it. Save. Let's start making attempts. Oh my gosh. Uh, are you guys worried about Tyranitar in particular? Okay, Definitely Tyranitar the right because play, of his... everyone. <laughs> return. Just use return there. <laughs> Body slam stuff. Uh, I'm trying to be too stylish. Yeah. Tyranitar is scary because uh, he's bulky and the champion team in general, everything is scary because it all knows Earthquake, pretty much. This Arbok knows Earthquake. Arbok knows Earthquake, yes, be aware. I didn't one hit it with Thunderbolt. <laughs> the first damage range was like not good enough. I can't believe that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Attack raising nature, yeah. Yeah. That's, oh gosh, are the natures and EVs gonna be what sets this apart? I think it might be, honestly. Gosh, I'm too stressed for this right now. Like, <laughs> I have to pee. Oh no, it's I just bad. Venus. That's a mistake. <clears throat> yeah, Venusaur is going to be a problem too. And Venusaur knows Earthquake. Does it? Yep. My strategy is <laughs> foiled. Sorry. The Dragonites know Earthquake. Dragonites, one of them for sure. I don't what know is how this? many of them know Earthquake. Seriously, two thirds of this league knows Earthquake. <laughs> yeah, like just everything gets it as coverage. Oh my gosh, yeah. okay, beat Lance. Oh, it's silly. Aerodactyl has it. Yeah. Oh gosh. Terrifying. At least we're fast. Like in this case, the speed is actually mm -hmm. helpful. Yeah, 247 with the speed reducing nature. Like, Aerodactyl is 208. We are so far beyond what we needed for speed. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm taking a reset here, and I'm going to set up a sub against that Gyarados just for a layer of protection. Because uh, I wasn't watching how Lance went for you. You seemed to go through him pretty quickly, but... Yeah, he wasn't a problem. I had enough health to survive. Like, I survived the Earthquake with more than half, so I was just like, yeah. that's fine, like... He's not going to be able to do enough. Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, goodness. Excuse uh, me. Intimidate is bad. Maybe I do need substitute. Ooh, even with my nature, just barely missing a few one shots with Thunderbolt. Yes. It's so painful. It's like, yeah, I am oh, just barely not powerful no. enough right now. Oh my gosh. Are you doing it? Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna do it. No oh way. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No way. Yes, yes! No way! Yes! <laughs> oh, two hours, 20 minutes, and two seconds. Oh my gosh, I oh. cannot win a race to save my life. <laughs> I crit the Venusaur. Okay. I crit the Venusaur. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, oh a ridiculous way to win. That's oh. so funny. Ah, Professor Oak's hanging out in my chat. Hey, Professor Oak. <laughs> oh, wow. man. So, I oh, I got no PP. But I have, like, seven max elixirs this time. Let's see, I have three elixirs, three max ethers, and three max elixirs. Do you think I had enough PP items this time? <laughs> yeah, I had, I had too many as well. <laughs> Gosh. Yep. That that but when you overcompensate for something, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The uh this is this is uh the first level one hundred finish I have had in Fire Red. What was my first? I actually can't recall. Gyarados, yeah. The clock stopped last time. Why didn't the clock stop this time? Four times brick break does not bring down T Tar. I might have to go grind more. Wait, it doesn't? Oh, I got it. So maybe that that like is the attack nature. Um What were your attack EVs again? Uh I can find them just a second. Yep. Attack EVs are 118. So you had more attack EVs. Okay, so that's hundred percent nature. Yeah. Um, because I've got 113 and oh, so we have very similar. neutral attack. Yeah, yeah, and your attack stat is 255 and mine is 295. 295? Holy. 
That's a difference. Yeah, that, um, that's not going to work. Though. No, oh, but I, but you're getting hit by Intimidate. I am. So, oh, so like, okay, I'm not so... actually attacking with 295. Yeah. But, like, it looks like the, like, the range that you have is, like, a, like, that looks like if you did 10% more, that like, you might be able to finish it off. And maybe I got lucky oh, and, yeah. and, and one hit, and I shouldn't have one hit when I, when I did. Like, or maybe it's, like, a 10% right. chance to one hit the tire Ranatar, and I just got lucky. Yeah. Did I? I didn't pick up all my items, you muppet. I was going to pick up Rain Dance and Thunder to have here. His sub Rain Dance and Thunder feels like it might be dirty, but. Someone says, are you running Pikachu now? <laughs> no, no, enough. <laughs> enough no, no, electric no. types. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, can Raichu learn Bounty Slam? Yes, but it's a tutor move that is off on the Sevi Island, so I'd have to leave the league. In order to yeah, that's the that. really annoying thing about uh, tutor moves, is that if you want to learn them, you oh gosh, you have to okay. learn them before okay. going into the league, so then you have to keep them on your set until the trainer where you want to use them against. Okay. I'm not getting intimidated this time. Brick break. Okay, Venusaur, what you got? Thunderbolt's got to be best, right? No, it's not. Um, return 105, Thunderbolt. Return. 90, uh, 135. Yeah, return is more effective. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the... Yes, 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 Did you yes, crit? Yeah, no, no, no. He crit, but it doesn't matter because oh. I had a sub up. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Alakazam. Shoo, shoo. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. The uh, different... We're also a different level. I was level 99 in the champion fight. Yeah. Extreme speed. Oh my gosh, am I? Uh, no! <laughs> no! The sandstorm. I, I'm a little delayed, but... Uh, uh, yeah, sandstorm is good. It's really good. And the fact that it lasts yeah. forever? Uh, oh, that's painful. That was so close. That, that was so, so close. close. All right. I'm going to try and bait Heracross here. So, yeah. Oh, never mind. He missed. Um, if you go for the physical move with him, he is more likely to go for counter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you kidding me? I know, that was a rough loss. That was that was, that was painful. Then I can see my move set at the end. Um Heracross. let's go for this. I'm realizing. Uh, did you now. pick up focus punch? No, I did not pick up focus punch. Uh can we learn focus punch? We can, we can. learn focus punch. That would punch. have been something. No, but like don't you, you move second and if they attack you you don't do anything. Behind a decoy. Oh. Can uh, you hit the decoy and then you can hit them? They might they might break the decoy, but the focus punch will still go through. Oh, that's sweet. All right, Arcanine, you dingus. 130 health and a sub up. What are you going to do this time? Full restore must be nice. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, the sun was still up. That would have been bad if I got hit by an overheat. I, that would have killed yeah. me if I got if I took an overheat. Would you die already? Thank you. All right. Game over. Nice. Woof. That was a lot closer than the uh, than the last yeah, couple of races. Yeah, way way closer. Yeah. It was like it was also like uh, I feel like um, fighting Lorelai, the fact that I did that, just like a little bit sooner than you did. Yeah. I think that's the thing that made the level the level difference because you finished at what like ninety uh, five ninety five and I finished yep. at a hundred. So. I. I think I should have stuck with my guns and finished training in the Seven Island or on Seven yeah. Island because then I could have looped back, picked up substitute and then shot straight into the league. Yeah, I think that yeah. would have been better. Um, yeah. I, I felt immediately once I started feeling the um, the resets and the time that it took to go to Bruno, take one shot and yep. then reset. It's quick. Um, it's quick. It was quick, but I almost... Uh, I, I gotta test it. I should just, like, record myself for 30 minutes. Oops. Doing each and seeing which is uh, more XP per hour. Because it's it's something that I just yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it'd, be good, like, it'd be good to know. Yeah. Record yourself <clears throat> fighting Lorelei to Bruno once, and then blackout, and then take that time. 
that amount of time, allow yourself to grind against wild Pokemon for that amount of time, and then just like compare. And if they're wildly mm -hmm. different, then you know that one's better than the other. But if they're yeah. very similar, then you need to collect more data. That's like yes, how I would yeah. approach it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, if it's within like five, ten percent, like that's human error, hundred percent. If it's yeah, yeah. like yeah. forty percent faster, then you have your answer. Or it's like, or it's like <laughs> encounter luck. Like you're getting the Pokemon that are always, um, like you're getting the Pokemon that have worse experience yields or something like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well. Yeah, we this go. was, oh, I'm tired now. This was almost a five hour stream. So thanks for being Holy. here with me and, and playing these games. This was really fun. Yeah. Um, um, thank you. Yeah, of course. This I hope everyone great, um, had a good time. Yeah, I'm kind of just realizing that it's been five hours. Um, streaming with somebody else is so nice because I don't have to talk the entire time. <laughs> yeah. It definitely yeah, keeps yeah. my voice in better state. Yeah, a five-hour um, stream by yourself is, like, punishing in a completely different way. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I feel like I definitely kept my head about me a bit better on this one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. We didn't lose the plot quite as often, but I don't think we were asking quite as many questions of each other. Yeah, no, it was more focused on the gameplay. Yeah. All right, everyone. Uh, that's, it for, that's it for things on my side of things. So if you've made it this far, you're incredible. Go check out Exceptional Stuff. There are links in the description. He does a lot of fire red content. It's great stuff. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And then on my side, um, we've got the premiere, uh, another Soul Silver run of Piplup coming up on Friday. Next Tuesday, I have zero plans for the stream so far. So uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you want to see because uh, I got nothing. <laughs> um, but yes, that um, tons of fun playing with Scott. Hope to do more in the future. I can't think of anything else. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, thank you for your donations throughout. It helps the channel a lot. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff to help uh, help the channels out. If you like Scott's content, there's a chance you might like mine because it's heavily inspired. And uh, before I start rambling, that's all I'm going to say. Magneton run when? Never. <laughs> no, uh, before I get lost in my own chat and lose the plot on the outro, I'm going to stop now. I will see you all at the premiere on Friday or next week.